Welcome, 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 and happy Monday! Happy Monday! The daylight has changed and it's fucked me up! <laughs> Good morning! How are you doing? Good morning! Good morning! Good morning! Good morning! Ah, how are you doing? Go jet! Go, 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 go gadget! Like, go jets! Like, oh my goddamn, um... What's the things where you, like, freaking... It's like a little disc thing, and you, like, pull it back, and then you spin it, and then you throw it, and it's like... It's not Bakugan, it's like the little spin it things, like... Phew, and, like, one of those. What do you call them? Happy... <laughs> Frisbee? No, 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 Like, you have a little disc... Beyblade! Yeah, 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 like, I'm a fucking Beyblade! Yeah, boys. <laughs> exactly. You raise the Necroidian prices again. Oh, shoot, I didn't even turn back on audio alerts. We can turn audio alerts back on today. We're just doing pseudo game. I'm sure you guys won't spam hot Macedon bodies and 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 everyone's gonna be like oh god oh no oh god oh no go on hit me with a real old Dr. Freeman and I'll go ah uh because it's way too loud I keep saying I'm gonna turn it down but I haven't but I haven't ah <laughs> let her rip how you guys going don't give them ideas. I mean, I don't even have to. I don't have to give you guys ideas. You already have them. Also, Jets, we won the Hell Divers one. Wait, what do you mean the Hell Divers one? What do you mean the Hell Divers one? What do you mean that you won? You won. Hell Divers is over. Finished. It's done. Mission accomplished. Wait, what happened? What did I miss? We haven't won yet. Uh, automatons. Are go you guys wiped out the automatons. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Game's over, serves are shutting down, it was a good one, boys07. Thank you guys for the scam train this morning. I will go through and say thank you. I'll do it right now, I actually want to. Um, Oh, Rasnia, thank you so much for 11 months of support, and with your primer, what the hell, dude? Thank you for supporting that long. Also, I want to say thank you to Griffin for supporting for six months, dude. That's massive. Atsus, thank you so much for supporting for two months. I hope you enjoy your emotes. Automatic, thank you so much for tier three of support. Massive, um, seven months. Thank you so much. And also, I saw another one. Oh, well, nine months of support, tier three. Holy shit, thank you for supporting the stream, bros. I sincerely appreciate your support so, so much. It means the world. Thank you for rocking up this early Monday. Well, it's not really early. It's, it feels early for me because of daylight savings. But, but welcome in, uh, Eleanor. Thank you so much for for eight months of support. Fuck. Thank you. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Um. Uh. Sorry. We were talking about hell divers, and I'm just getting distracted by the kindness and support of the community. But, but, but let's get back on topic here, gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> let's get back on topic. Uh, hell divers. So we've wiped out the uh, robot menace and they'll never return. Is that kind of what it seems? So many chab packs. Thank you guys for supporting. I really appreciate it. Topic. There's a topic. The topic is... The topic for today's stream. The letter of today is... But Can you say but No, um, the letter... The topic of today's stream is... God, I'm tired. Oh boy, I'm tired. When will I sleep? I don't remember being this tired as a kid. Maybe one day I'll remember what it's like to have a proper sleep schedule. That's what today's stuff. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Welcome in. Community shmoonity. No, community cool. More like cool immunity. <laughs> more like cool immunity. <laughs> Sorry. Um, how you guys going? <laughs> how you guys going? I hope you're doing well. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Happy Monday. Or oh, oh, should I say end of the weekend? I was, I'm sorry. I was watching Barry's stream, which is still live. Please just exit out the tab. Why are you watching this? Go watch Barry finish Metal Gear Solid 4. It's absolutely fucking incredible. I was watching Barry play Metal Gear Solid 4. And I was like, oh god, I gotta go live. But I'm gonna watch the board. I'm gonna find out if she cries. I hope she cries. I wanna see Barry tears. In like a good way, not in like a creepy, weird way. Not in like a perverted kind of like, yeah, she had a Miguel tears. But in a like, no, that's cathartic and good, and you should cry at the end of Metal Gear Solid 4 kind of way. I wanna see. <laughs> I, <laughs> not in like a weird way. In like a very normal, like, that's a very normal thing to say kind of way. Um, 
uh, <laughs> look at some more. It's so cathartic. Cathartic. You need to kind of have that, you know, emotional. You need to have that emotional catharsis and then the solid for It's good for the health. It's good for the soul. It's necessary. How do you feel about your new daughter that's met the universe with praise? We'll get into that. Yeah, we're definitely going to chat all about Marco. The weekend's been wild, and this week is going to be wild. So we'll get into all of that and catch up on stuff, all the boring housekeeping, groundskeeping. I'm goddamn groundskeeper. Willie, is that the one from The Simpsons? I wouldn't know. I never got to watch The Simpsons. We're going to do groundskeeping. We're going to prune the roses so, and uh, catch up on everything. I was so good. I think, yeah. Working with three hours of sleep. Let's go. Mimo, get some rest. Dude, I thought the Nemo. Thank you so much for six months of support. Hello, Jets. Have you ever made a Gundam tier list? I saw someone else make one, and now I'm curious on your spot thoughts. Dr. Mimo, I don't think I've done an official Gundam tier list. I think I would be better at doing an Armored Core tier list, including the suits from Armored Core, than I would at a Gundam tier list, because I'm still, I will admit it, I can cross my um, hand on my heart, I will admit that I am, unfortunately, not as Gundam... Uh, fam pilled or familiar as I would like to be. Uh, <laughs> I've, uh, I've, I'm still, I'm still behind on Gundam. I know it suits more than I know actual series is. If you're asking my opinion to do um, series is, I might be a little behind. But if you want me to do, uh, range suits, I could have a pretty decent understanding of the suits from Gundam. Saratin, dude, thank you for using your primer here. You got one of them used it here in the stream. I really appreciate it. Please enjoy your emotes and thank you so much for supporting for two months. Um, thank you everyone for supporting today. Is it is it is it resupport time? Well, thank you for it during this resupport season for choosing to resupport this stream. <laughs> I appreciate it a lot. Just a TLS of mechs in general. I would love to do um, anime Janai. I would love to do a mecha anime tier list in general, but I still have a lot of catching up to do with mecha anime. My 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 familiarity with mecha anime is like I've, I've seen a decent chunk, but it's like not as extensive as it could be considering how immense the mecha genre is. In general, there's a lot to get to uh yeah there's a lot of gundam a lot of gundams feel and then there's a lot of like mecha tok tokokatsu anime all that kind of stuff that's also just filler and there's just like a lot of it uh so i've barely graced the surface like i feel like there's like a darning kruger scale definitely when it comes to gundam of like you i'm at that point where i'm like i don't know gundam and then i'll get to that point where i'm like i'm delusional about knowing gundam and then i realize holy shit not not just gundam i mean like mecha uh, holy shit, there's so much mecha content, and then you're on that constant uphill battle of getting familiar with it. And the, if you want a, a streamer who is like that, like, person who's on the uphill battle of there's so much Gundam, Tsukumi Bandori, I adore her. You should, if you want a, if you want a streamer who, who I aspire to be when it comes to knowledge of Gundam, you should check out Tsukumi Bandori. She's incredible. Mecha and Joya, and I got a lot to learn from Sukumi. I want to, I should do some like watch alongs with Sukumi. It would be very, very fun. I'm um, extra bouncy, am I? I'm sorry. I'm, if I come across as energetic this morning, I apologize. I'm not. Why is the hag messaging me? Clean! <laughs> Should I, um, is this wrong if I expose our DMs? No, I, I, can, I think she'd be fine with me saying this. Cleo's messaged me and she said, there's a match at WrestleMania between a 41-year-old man and a 46-year-old man. Would you like to see it? <laughs> um, what do I, how do I respond? <laughs> how do I even respond, gentlemen? Gentlemen, how do I respond? Uh, um, I'm live on, on the internet, but that does sound... Does, does, how do you spell, fuck, how do you spell, does, does sound kinda cool. Cool, though, uh, have fun with your old men. For me. <laughs> I don't respond, yes, I'm sure it's happening, like, right now. Uh. <laughs> It would have been there earlier, but you stream too early. I, I, I don't stream too early, do I? <laughs> Clear responded with all caps. Oh, I will. <laughs> I appreciate her honesty. <laughs> oh, God. 
She's in a service living at her right now. That's incredible. I hope she has a lot of fun with WrestleMania. I don't know a lot about it, but Cleo has dragged me into a few of the WrestleMania things, and I will say I've enjoyed them. I really like the women's WrestleMania that she uh, did. I thought that was pretty, pretty cool. Well, maybe it wasn't WrestleMania, but it was like the pre-wrestle tournaments, uh, and I never properly sat down and rocked wrestling up until that point. I sat with that uh, with, I think, with Yozo and uh, Cleo, and it was... Honestly, quite a lot of fun. No, I think it was just me and Clear. It was quite a lot of fun. It was the Royal Rumble. I'd never seen anything like it before in my life. And I genuinely thought it was a really interesting time. Uh, like, so many women just getting thrown around a big ring. I was like, what is going on? It's gladiatorial as hell. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> have fun clear have fun and say hello to the hag storians from me say good morning to the hag storians from me please 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 those those cheeky hag storians and see because i unlike some streamers am nice and kind to all of the communities of Ashayan. hmm <laughs> this hag this hag no genuinely say hi, hi say hi to the hag storians for me please 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 uh, Cleo has become one of the most online streamers I know. I will see her everywhere. She has brain rot. She has very brain rot. She hasn't brain rot full stop. Why are you insinuating, Jess? Oh, nothing, nothing at all. I would never insinuate anything in my life. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna sip my coffee. Bros, bros, I'm gonna be real with you guys right now. I'm gonna be so real with you right now. This morning, I, I made toast with cheese on it and I, I cooked the cheese in the microwave. And then I, I took a bite out of the cheese toast and I burnt a layer of skin off the top of the roof of my mouth and I am in like immense discomfort. You know when you like eat cheese too quickly and then you burn the entire layer off the top of the skin of your the, your mouth? Yeah, that's me right now. Good job, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I can be like, I can't, I'm like, I'm so consciously aware Oh, that the, top, the skin on the top of my roof of my mouth is just just gone and it's so uncomfortable and I'm like, ah! And so like, it's I'm just being honest right now because I'm trying to talk normally, but in the back of my head, I'm like, oh God, the top of my mouth feels so weird. Um, so I'm be having lots of water to try and cool it down and like soothe it. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. As always, we were going to talk about stuff. We will talk about stuff. It's going to happen. I can't wait for the Vashayans four-way rage in the cage. I do think we should do a Vashayan wrestling thing. Isn't there those like wrestling um, games which you can make custom characters and have them fight? I think there definitely should be like a Vashayan WrestleMania kind of thing. Where we do custom characters and fight each other. I think it'd be a really fun stream. Uh, we could like do our own characters and then like maybe do ones which like themed after our community. I think it could be a real a real fun time. I would love to do that eventually hello let me let me say good morning to you bros uh jetpack sit comfortable i'm gonna say good morning to each of you guys and then we'll get into catching up on the weekend and what's planning for the week and all that good stuff uh so good morning griffin manaki artichoke pete evil blood savior bleen dark noble todd's on a time Mergivin, ice burner mac biddy i hate decaf derek fake exchange dunkle funk quiet foxhound uh severant 10 corridor crepe as automatic TR, Spooji, Fuzzy, Kans, Ami Savior, uh, Raznia, uh, Kazman, Ulthur, Mumu, Kularon, Vengeful, Hello Feel For Now, Not Touch, Rain, Yump, Sam Goldman, Eliana, Yasso, JPG, uh, Asgard, J5, Recluse, Tamaka, hi everybody, and if you are uh, lurking, please take care of yourself. Uh, hello to Atsta and Monotracity. Good morning, good morning. Thank you for saluting. I hope you are doing really well. Uh, welcome to the stream. I know it's just a very simple Suda Monday here today. It's not like we're not doing anything fancy or anything crazy this week. And there's a reason for that. And we'll get on over into it. First of all, I'm so out of it right now because daylight savings has happened. Um, uh, daylight savings has happened. So, what time is it for you, bros, right now? And I'm, my, I'm sorry, my condolences. Stream might be happening at a weird time for you right now. You're like, what the hell? Why is Jets live right now? It's because daylight savings has happened in Australia. We're now Australian Eastern Standard Time, I believe. 3 p.m., 7 p.m., uh, 5 p.m., midnight, 8 p.m., uh, 1:20 here in the UK. 3, 3 a.m. I'm so sorry. Um. 1 a.m. Oh god, Max Stupid! Thank you so much for four months of support. Yeah, my chance, Max Stupid. Thank you so much for supporting, for supporting for four months. I really appreciate it. 8 p.m., 4 p.m., 5 p.m. Oh, it's just bad. It's terrible time. 7 p.m. That's not too bad, right? Central Standard King. God. 8:20 p.m. It's just quiet in the afternoon, isn't it? Game guy, hi, welcome. I didn't realize Oz observed any diet savings. We do. We definitely do. <laughs> CST gang. Well. I would say, 
Uh, we'll see what happens with these, day with these time changes. I'm sure it'll take a little bit. We'll get used to it. See you, Stegan. Can I get a yay whore? Any, uh, any cake, uh, cake corners in the chat? Any Texas uh, is in the chat? Part of Australia. Yeah, not all parts of Australia do this. And uh, did you know Australia has different time zones? I know that might surprise people, but we do. We have different time zones for different states. And some states do daylight savings, and other states don't do daylight savings. It's a lot of fun. Uh, <laughs> sarcasm. Uh, I could have said that way more sarcastically. It's a lot of fun. That's that's that was that was better. That was way better. I think that I kind of putting a little bit more thick that way. Really, like icing the cake. It's so fun. <laughs> it's a whole continent. It makes sense. Thank God Australia is not real. You know what? Every day I wake up, I'm like, thank God Australia is not real. I don't sound like this when I speak. And then I look in the mirror and I'm like, Dore me. Um. K2 Spain, good morning, welcome, how you doing? Also, it's getting cold in Australia, boo! No, I mean, yes. <laughs> Rub my tiny little salty mitts together. I don't know if my mitts are salty, but they are, and I'm like, mm, yes, cold weather, cold weather, ooh, yes, warm heater, mm, big blanket, mm, electric blanket, ooh, big socks, mm, slippers. I'm getting so excited. I'm getting so excited. Oh wait, why is the sound alerts not working? I'm sorry, I'll turn those on. Oh, I must have muted them the other day. I muted them because we were doing the collab. My bad. Sound alerts back on. Let me do it. <coughs> Real old Dr. Freeman. I think I am. D you, demand a refund. You're a bot. You can do. <laughs> you can do it yourself. <laughs> uh, uh, I won the call weather sad. Yeah, how's it getting for you, bros? Uh, even the Stevensons are reversed. Uh, hi Jess, did you end up buying XCOM? I haven't bought XCOM yet, oh, but also good morning, how are you doing? I'm considering it. I'm con oh god, the hag's still messaging me again. Stop si Oh, I will. Oh, she's sending me clips of old men. Cle clear. 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 Clear what? Wrestling is not better than anything I like. Wrestling doesn't have big robots. Fuck you. Fuck you. Shut the fuck up. Wrestling doesn't have big robots. Uh -huh. Wrestling could never. Mm. Wrestling could never have no bust or bleed. Wrestling could never have a big guns. Okay. Okay. G get out. Get, get out. Out. Be gone, hag. Go back to your sweaty old men. You go back to being like, oh yeah, I like wrestling for the plot. Clear. You go back to enjoying wrestling for the plot. Cause that's what. That's what. That's what you. That's why you want. Mm, I see. Mm -hmm, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but what if wrestling was a mix? I, sh I, I, yeah, a robot. Was it called like Robot Wars? Is that one? That's pretty cool. Where like they fight robots. It's pretty crazy. Wrestling's pretty crazy. I will admit, wrestling's pretty crazy. I never would have given it the chance if not for Cleo uh, doing the the Cleo special, which is forcing her hobbies on other people. While I sit in the group chat with my fingers together, going, oh well, oh well, could we? Maybe please try out um um of course six multiplayer and everyone goes, Yeah, sure, Jet. We'll definitely try out um of course six multiplayer. Oh yeah, we'll definitely do that. Meanwhile, this hag, she's so powerful. She's so powerful. Um uh but no, honestly, uh wrestling's actually um quite impressive. I would never have thought to give it a chance. But uh, checking it out, it's it's quite interesting. It's a very interesting piece of media, um, and it's I can I can see why a lot of people enjoy it. Um, Forced them to play the cult mod. I you should have seen the messages I sent in the group chat when the cult mod came out. I like was just like please, please, I'm on for all fours. Please, please, can we please play <laughs> Armored Core Six co-op? <laughs> and I'm gonna try and convince them to do it. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and be as gung ho. I'm gonna try and have big Cleo energy. I'm gonna try and bring my big Cleo energy and whop it onto the counter and be like, we're playing um, Armored Core 6 Corp. It's happening. It's happening. Yeah, I need the grumption. I don't have the grumption. <sighs> Uh, you played Dota 2, the least they can do is that- Well, the Dota 2 was for a bit. So Dota 2 is like, there's no- Here's the thing. After Dota 2, there's no, um, stakes on the table. Because the stakes were fulfilled with Dota 2. You know, it's like, it was like a- It was a bet. It was like a- Clear did hor um, horror. We did Dota 2. The bet has been leveled. The playing field is currently leveled. We have to add more stakes. That's what I'm saying. We had to add more stakes. 
Come on, Jess, force your hobbies on them harder. I'm, you first know me. I'm so bad at like, at least these days. And it's because I was an insufferable teenager. And nowadays I'm just terrible at having confidence about the things I like. I'm just like, I like the things I like, I guess. If you like something different, that's kind of cool too. <laughs> Until I get drunk. But talking about getting drunk, we're not doing that again. God, the freaking, um, uh, Mario Kart stream was wild. Why not doing that again, boys? Not for a while. Who? Uh, <laughs> you're lacking the hundred and the eight hundred and fifty years of age and experience to have Cleo energy. That's true. That's true. That's true. Uh, hi, welcome in Isopod. How you doing, bro? Welcome, welcome in. I was schmunkied, bros. <sighs> I wish monkey. I'm down with having a singular beer on the stream, but we're not gonna go that crazy for a little bit. I felt fine the following day. I don't know if I mentioned that. I guess I haven't really, really streamed since then, although I was on Marco's stream, which we will talk about. I felt fine. I was very surprised. I drank a lot of alcohol, but I like also ate four pieces of toast and like chugged like a liter of water and then like passed out on my bathroom floor. But then I woke up and then I went to bed. So I did. I didn't wake up in the morning on my bathroom floor, but but I felt fine in the morning. I really did. I did actually. I was quite surprised by that. I just don't understand how. Me too. Me too. They switched my clones out in the night. They could never. They could never. Hey, don't say gross to my bathroom floor. My bathroom floor is very, very, very clean. I'll have you know. It's like one of the spaces I keep very clean. I'm a little weird about keeping things clean. If you watch the stream for long enough. You'll probably you can you can pick that up. I I mention it. I mention I'm. I, <laughs> if you're in the Discord, and you watch the stream for long enough. You kind of realize I'm a bit weird about things being very clean. Um, I was toasted. It was a bit embarrassing. We're not gonna do that again. Uh, for quite a while, I think. Like I wasn't like didn't say anything too embarrassing. I just was drunk, and just being drunk is quite embarrassing. Um. So we won't be doing that. But it was fun. I had fun with the girls. I had lots of lots of fun with the girls. It's just it's more of the the what the situation of having you're having fun with your friends and being an embarrassing drunk. We're like, oh my god, I love you. Captured on the internet further. That's that's less of the fun part. Cause like honestly, like if I was out with girls at a at a at a bar, being like, oh my god, I love you, and like there's no one recording it, I don't care. But the fact that it's on stream forever, it's like, ah. Uh, it's a bit like having to see yourself be um, an embarrassing, lovable drunk. It's, you know, it's a thing. <laughs> it's a bit much. <laughs> it's a bit much. Can I play the Zemo more comment? Here's the thing. I don't even remember. I don't remember. I'm sorry. I wish I did. I don't remember it at all. I don't remember the last like hour and a half. Almost don't remember at all the last two hours. That's bad. That's very, very, very bad. Um, there was no xenomorph comment. I don't know. Was there? I'm not aware. I'm not aware if there was. <laughs> I'm being very honest right now. And I'm, I'm not exactly happy about that. And therefore, we're not going to do that again. To be genu genuinely um, honest. Uh, there's a... Wrestling has kaiju. That's pretty damn cool. I will check that out later. Cleo, thank you for sending that to me. Uh, I sung to each individual chatter. I did? Well, if I did that, that's kind of based and cool. And good for drunk me. Good for drunk me. <laughs> uh, you, I did not do those things, mind you. You can't say that. That's terrifying and horrible. I've literally never felt fine after drinking. I'm surprised that I felt fine, uh, considering I was objectively sloshed. <laughs> and to an embarrassing degree, uh, that made me go, yeah, we're going to probably hold off <laughs> on that kind of behavior. Uh, but, but that being said, I, you know what, genuinely, I feel worse this morning after daylight changings than I felt after drinking like, like a, like a, a almost like over a liter of beer on stream. Was it like, it was more than, it was like two liters. It was like almost like, it was like more than that. Daylight savings has fucked me up more. You said two, two liters. Yeah, I like, <laughs> I feel, I feel worse today, which is bizarre. Like I genuinely feel really groggy and out of it today. And it's just cause like, I'm not been getting good sleep. And talk about that. I'm talking about the week and the schedule uh, and all of the nonsense. Um, so this week, less streams because, and I'm, and I'm going to, I'm gonna sit here boys. I'm gonna sit here boys. And I'm going to do my best to not get. Ooh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna like get sad about it. Less streams this week, but it's not a bad thing. 
it's a good thing actually we're doing like positive brain stuff right now gentlemen it's a good thing no it's a good th because 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 i can't stream because they're doing inspections and they're doing maintenance on the facility and i can't freaking get out of it despite what i want to I might be able to do evening streams, maybe, but that will be like, depend on, on the fact that it's because, of course it is, classic maintenance stuff, it's like, oh yeah, we'll be there anytime, don't worry, you'll be pretty convenient, anytime between 7am oh, and 7pm. I'm like, that's not convenient, and then I have to wait around, I can't do anything, because I don't know when people are going to rock up to fix stuff, but anyway, I'm getting ranty, I'll stop. Um... So, but I'm, what I'm thinking is since I have to freaking allocate that time to the side, I'm going to take this week with an, a few extra days off to work on stuff. Because genuinely, there's a bunch of things I need to work on for Vashion, for stream, for projects that I can't talk about. I wish I could, I wish I could talk about with you bros, but I, I can't talk about, you just have to trust me, you have to trust me that there's things that I'm currently still planning and working on that I'm like, I want to talk about it, that I'm going to use these, these, these days off to make sure I get on top of a bunch of things that have kind of had slip, I have to, I've got commissions I need to finish for people, I've got things I need to do, I've got secret projects, um, and then next week we'll come back with like a full week of streams, a full week of normal good streams. Uh, it probably, it's probably good for my mental health to be forward. And this might be too forward. This might be too honest. I might be too tired this morning, but like, I don't want to burn out. I mean, the way my brain feels today and has been the last few weeks and everything with just like not getting enough sleep, it could be inevitable. We don't want that. Bad, bad. The streamer burnout, not good. We you, we you, we. We don't want that. None of that. None of that. Um. <laughs> so, uh, I think I'm gonna be smart for once in my life, which is very rare. So I'm gonna give myself a round of applause. Wow, I'm being um a mature adult individual and not overworking myself. I say as I spend every single day I have off this coming week uh, <laughs> working. <laughs> Yeah, burnout is hell. Be good. She's gotta be smart. What the fuck? Burnout is bad. <laughs> Normalize talking about mental health. What the hell? In this year of our Lord 2024? No, we should. We should have a chat about it. It's like an easy Monday. I'm assuming a lot of you bros that are hanging out here this morning are fine with chatting about this kind of stuff. Um, yeah, no. So I'm gonna try and be in this economy. <laughs> what the hell? I'm genuinely going to try and be. Um, a bit smart this week and work on a bunch of stuff get stuff done like so for those that don't know i still have like so many things i'm still kind of living mostly in some capacity out of boxes um oh my god it's the berry bug <gasps> berry 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 <gasps> raiders <gasps> did she cry raiders did she cry i need to know i, I couldn't watch the <gasps> she died from peak <laughs> <laughs> she didn't cry. Oh, she almost cried. Oh, I remember that. Thank you so much for screaming Prime. She screamed when they kissed. Yes, I was there. I was there when they kissed. I was there when the yaoi happened. Uh, <laughs> I was there when the yaoi happened. Hi guys. Sorry, I'm. Already, I'm. I just want to talk about Metal Gear Solid. I just want to talk about Metal Gear. I will try not to. I'm sure you guys are fully Metal Gear out. I didn't cry. My brain was broken. Barry, if you gotta head off because you gotta rest because you just experienced like back to back to back hour of Kino, please take care of yourself. It goes the exact same for your community. Please take care of yourself, bro. It's nice to meet you. My name is Jets. I'm also an old man. Enjoy it. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's not how I should introduce myself. I'm sorry. No, I'm a Kojima enjoyer. I love Kojima. Let's scrap that first part. Sorry. We got off on the wrong foot. Let me shake your hand. I like Kojima. The other part we'll just forget about. Hi. <laughs> Prism, Shy, Yubadi, welcome and thank you for following bros. Jetpack, if you don't know Barry, she's incredible. She's been playing all of Metal Gear. She's even went back and played the MSX games like I did. So if you want to see a streamer go and do like the whole playthrough, Barry's playthrough has been incredible and so different to mine. And I've been loving seeing her react. Like I'm very, I realized I might be a little bit too forgiving of Kojima's bullshit. I'm going to be honest right now. Because at times where like I was like, oh no, actually, Kojima, you doing that make makes sense. Barry's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, maybe, maybe I let him get I maybe I let him get away with it. Maybe I let him get away with it when I really shouldn't. Uh <laughs> Web, how did we arm oh, speed teacup? Thanks so much for following Brace. Welcome, welcome in. Welcome, welcome. And you watch your playthrough. Barry, I'm like, 
that the scene with a uh, uh, freaking uh, 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 Meryl and, and and Raiden, and you're like, kill her, kill her. She should, she should die, die. This bitch, this bitch, this bitch. I'm like, oh no, maybe it's okay for him to see his son. It's like, it was night and day, night and day. Darjling, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Barry Bug. <laughs> oh, Rose, I'm getting confused. Rose, yeah, yeah, yeah. The scene with Rose and Raiden. <laughs> Sorry. I'm like, oh, wait, no, maybe this is emotionally health healthy. Uh, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> anyway, go take care of yourself, Barry. Thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. Um, Raiders, if you're still around, hi, nice to meet you. My name is Jets. I am a, a tomboy from Australia. I love Mecca. I love Mr. Kinjimbo. I love freaking. I blessed Kojima. Uh, I've played like a ton of his games and stuff. He's he's great. He's great. Barry! Barry! Okay, we real question, Barry. When are you playing in Penguin Adventure? Barry! Barry, before you go, when are you playing? <laughs> when are you playing Penguin Adventure? Oh yeah, true me. True, call me out. I haven't watched I haven't played pl police knots. I do have to play the police knots. That is true. That is true. Um, but anyway, sorry. Uh hi guys, nice to meet you. My name is Jets. I uh, made my own model art, but it's rigged by the incredible uh, Krampapa, today we're playing Suda game. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Suda. Suda is like who's done uh, um, No More Heroes, Killer7. We're playing one of these more uh, obscure games, I guess for the lack of a different term. Uh, we're playing Flower, Sun and Rain. It's a very, very, very interesting uh, uh, DS game. We only have the DS port in English. It's also a PS2 game, but we have the, we're playing the DS port of it. Uh, did you play Silvercase? Dude, I loved Silvercase. I loved Silvercase. Silvercase might... I, I also really liked Killer7, uh, Killer but Silvercase, it's just nothing like it. It's so good. I repeat, just really, really like Sad Old Men. <clears throat> anyway, uh, what else was you guys saying in chat? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> Nani, thank you so much. Okay, so here's the thing. Alla okay, if, if I'm allowed to defend myself for a brief second, if I'm allowed to defend myself for a brief second, I I would like to say, uh, let me get on my milk crate. Um, I like saddle men in in a different way than respectively. Barry likes saddle men, and I think that's good because it's the diversity of appreciation, right? Barry. Um, and this is g good and maybe based actually, um, you know, uh, 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 likes him in that way. But I, um, I'm more into like, okay, I'm more, <laughs> I'm, more <laughs> I'm, I'm listening. I'm more, okay, I'm more, okay. Uh, okay, I'm really good with words. Give me a second. Um, I'm more into, you know, when, no, let's be real for a second. I'm more into like when, old men uh have like you know the uh um <laughs> the, the um the, the 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 like okay they're like colleagues and and but they're not in love and they have this kind of like brotherly dynamic where they appreciate each other in a way that only two men who have been through a war can appreciate each other and it's not like they don't actually like love each other but they like uh, they, they, they they have a bond that only two guys who have been through absolute war can understand. Like that's the kind of the kind of uh, dynamic um, the camaraderie. Yeah, that's the kind of camaraderie. I really yeah the camaraderie. That's the kind of battle brothers. Yeah, yeah. I really appreciate that dynamic in media. Uh, they don't have to kiss. If they kiss, it's just a bonus. <laughs> Um, but before that, uh, it, it's mainly it's mainly about the mutual respect, you know. It's 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 just mainly about the mutual camaraderie. Uh, <laughs> have you seen Generation Kill? I don't think I have actually. I don't think I have to. All I'm saying is I wasn't a Fujo before I watched before I played Metal Gear, and after I played Metal Gear, I don't know anymore. That's all I'm gonna say. I don't know. Uh, I just don't, I'm not sure, I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't. <laughs> History will say they were the best of friends. I have a shot, hi, welcome in, how you doing? Anyway, um, we were talking about other stuff, we are talking about the schedule. Um, 
uh, interlinked kiss of pack. <laughs> yeah, don't catch the berry bug. I've gotten off the topic. I, 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 Raiders, if you're still here, I I do have like a full mech pilot suit. I have a mecha, I'm a mech pilot. But today we're keeping it comfy. We're doing a kind of retro, um, you know, a little bit of a unique game experience and a lot of voice acting and funny sequences. And it's, it's going to be really chill. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, but before we get to the game, I do have a few things we're going to catch up on. Specifically, let's talk about Marco's debut and we'll look at the memes. But before we look at the memes, sorry, I got hiccups. Before we look at the memes, we do have to look at... For those who don't know, Marco Fukusame, my good friend Marco, debuted her new model on, uh, on, the, on the weekend. And for those that don't know, on top of her debuting the, debuting the model, I uh, was the one who made the the model R. I didn't rig it, I didn't rig it, but I did make the model R. So let me showcase this one that she posted on Twitter, so you guys can see if you missed out. So here it is. Here's Marco's um, model. I did the art for this. It's also rigged by the same person who rigged my model, Krumpapa. Uh, and it's pretty impressive. Specifically, it has this insane toggle if you haven't seen this before. Okay, check this out. This uh, It blew my mind when I saw it. Uh, ready? What? That's so insane! The craziest thing is it's not an animation, it's a toggle! She can do that at any point. It's genuinely like mind-blowing live 2D studio technique. Like I don't know how Hamster Comes did it. I have no idea. It's it's so well done. He's like a master in live 2D. Because it's not it's not an animation. It's uh, what the amount of physics that his brain has to comprehend to make that work is insane. Uh, Mods, can we get a shout out for Marco for those that don't know Marco? Uh, I think, here we go, this is Krumpapad talking more about it. As you can see, this is this will show an example of how it kind of works. So this is like, in Live 2D, and as you can see, it's actually a, it's a toggle. What? What? He's so powerful, bros. I don't get it. But yeah, uh, so that happened on the weekend, which was very, very exciting. And I got the opportunity to stop by Marco's stream and play Content Warning, which I actually really liked Content Warning a lot more than I uh, even um, thought I was going to. I, I kind of uh, righted it off a little bit when I saw other people playing it, but Content Warning was a lot of fun playing it with the girls. Um, hi, Cole Bolton over short. Welcome and good morning. Your art always blows my mind. It's absolutely wonderful. I think it's it's only part of it's my art. A lot of it comes to the way Marco's piloting the model. She's just absolutely um, embodying it. I mean, I kind of designed so much of Marco's model to really have the essence of the Marco Fukusami that I know and I've met and have the privilege of being uh, a friend of. So it's so rewarding as the artist to then see her be able to bring that to life. It's it's kind of a surreal thing the more I think about it. Uh, Tunkit, thank you so much for following, bro. I hope you enjoy your stay here. Uh, the drip's immaculate. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, get into the model, Marco. <laughs> uh, yeah, and, and of course, hamster crumbs, always working with hamster crumbs is an absolute privilege. Uh, what do we say about underselling ourselves, Jets? No, I'm not underselling myself. Um, I, I, um, I, I hate to be honest. Um, I, I, looking at the model, I could see a thousand things I'd fix. You know, like looking at Marco's model, I, I could see a bajillion things nowadays that I could do better. It's the same thing that I could see with my own model. You know, it's just classic artist self improvement, wanting to improve, but it's good. Uh, I think it's, it's good, it's healthy, and then at the end of the day, I also think, I also think, uh, I'm still, I am very proud of it, but I'm more proud, I'm more happy with how happy Marco seems to be with it. That makes me happy, you know what I mean? Um, stop bonking me! I'm being sincere right now, I'm being sincere, I'm more, I'm, <laughs> the most important thing is that Marco loves the model. That's genuinely the most important thing, um, and, and I'm, I'm super happy to see it all life and it's super cool and seeing us all in live to d together in our new models made me so very 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 happy uh and then, and then i'm going to follow that all up by getting a 3d model and make it so we can't use live 2d anymore <laughs> it's not true we'll probably still use live, live 2d for um 
Well, probably st I still use Live2D for group collabs, but I am going to be getting a 3D soon, which is going to <laughs> throw a massive uh, uh, spanner into that works. Uh, your Marco trades perspectives. Exactly, exactly. It came together beautifully. It's good you want to improve. It's also important to see everyone's quite happy, especially exactly. The happiest thing to me is that Marco is happy. That so awesome uh talking about seeing all of us together i have to show off this actually insane art which um automatic made this is so incredible i cannot believe this it's it's perfect dude you absolutely nailed it um <laughs> jump back check this out check out this amazing oh this is so good <laughs> talking about the amazing girls in Vashine, exclamation point Vashine if you've got no idea who I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> Dude, you didn't need to go so hard. Automatic, you did not need to go so hard. Like you, these are, this is genuinely a quality, like high quality stuff. This is way too high quality. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Like the, all the detail on my plug suit is ridiculous. I like Fashion Jetpack! I like Fashion! <laughs> this is so premium. Also, perfect choices. All the characters are just the most perfect choice. It just makes sense. It makes, like, having Hanya be the little. <laughs> it's so accurate. Oh wow, thank you so much for making this. I can't believe the quality you put into this. What is like, it's objectively like a silly meme, but it's not, it's not, it goes so far above and beyond. It's beautiful. Level men, Charlie, level. <laughs> stop that. I'm gonna stop that. I'm gonna stop that right now. Cause I can, and I should. I'm gonna stop doing that. Yeah, Glep Hanya makes perfect sense. Just perfect sense. I I've all the, um. Have the new episodes come out yet? I haven't uh, obtained them legally and uh, correctly. I have not obtained them uh, currently. I watched the puppet version, the um, the versions they did where they did like claymation and paper mache. I watched those. Brilliant, so brilliant. Uh, it all comes out sometime this month. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to it. Really looking forward to it. Silver Wolf, welcome and how are you doing? I think it's only one web episode. Okay, I'll I'll hold out then. I'll try and avoid spoilers up to that point. Wait for the wait for everything to come out and then just binge watch it. Which I which I think just is the way to to, to watch Smiling Friends, because it's kind of like it's a certain feeling it feels a little bit like junk food. It's so addictive. Because the, the way the jokes are paced and everything about it, it's just it's it's like junk food comedy. It's so good. Um, this is probably a childhood ruin of fact. Oh my goodness. The it's about Yu-Gi-Oh. I never watched Yu-Gi-Oh. The Shadow Realm doesn't exist in the original Japanese version of Yu-Gi-Oh. The reason is because American network television, anytime someone was sent to the Shadow Realm, an American version was actually just being killed in the Japanese version. I never watched Yu-Gi-Oh! So that's not hit me uh, like a ton of bricks, but I'm sure some jetpacks in chat have just kind of went <laughs> What? What? Uh oh it, it goes even deeper than that, does it? What does it? Pirate, hi, welcome in, bro. How are you doing? 505, great, great name, Pirate 505. Wait, what? Okay, you've just, you've just like emotionally destroyed one of the mods. <laughs> you've just stun locked one of the mods. God damn it. We need those mods. They've got to sand people's balls off. Um, They better have made it canon after that point. Oh, it's like, is, is there like some canon to it? You motherfuckers didn't assume the Shadow Realm meant death. I never watched Yu-Gi-Oh, so I'm sorry. Zachary, thanks so much for following, bro. Would you stay? There's like finger guns and stuff. I know that, see, I never got to watch um, like early uh, edited to TV anime where they like replaced things with like, you know, onigiris with jelly donuts and guns were replaced with finger guns. And there was like a lot of censoring in American and like public broadcasting of anime in the West. I never got to watch that. We didn't really have a lot of public broadcast for anime in Australia. So my earliest encounters with anime as an Australian was, um, yeah, we didn't have Tanami. Tanami wasn't a thing in Australia. So my earliest encounter with anime was watching uh, five part episodes of Lucky Star on like old ass YouTube back in the day. Like that, that ages me as being a Zuma. I'm sorry to break it to you that I am a Zuma, but that's the way I, I first kind of had my encounters with anime. Uh, the four kid versions. Yeah, so like I never had four kids. That wasn't a thing I got to experience. Lucky stuff. Dude, dude, 
I one day I want to learn how to do the Lucky Star OP as karaoke, uh, but it's probably the most insane uh, OP to want to learn as a person who knows like very 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 little Japanese because it's 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 goddamn uh, rap god levels of speed talking that song. Uh, Nickelodeon, yeah. So I I moved around a lot growing up as a kid, and I did have uh, access to Nickelodeon for about like two or three years of my life growing up. But it was such a short period of time, and it was also time where I wasn't probably watching YouTube. Okay, but did you watch anime in three parts using Google Video before they owned YouTube? I don't know. I I did. I did, I mean, I remember using YouTube before Google owned it. I remember back in the day when it was such a massive controversy when Google bought YouTube and it was like a, all the drama because then you had to add your Google Plus account to YouTube and that was a whole thing. Like, I've been watching YouTube for as long as I can remember. I'm genuinely, I'm, I'm of that subset of, of, of Zoomer uh, where m my entire adolescence has been through the entire evolution of YouTube and I probably have what they call YouTube addiction. Uh, so cool. Thanks so much for following, bro. I hope you enjoy your stay. Uh, like, since OG. Since OG YouTube. I, like, uh, to date myself, like, like oh yeah, no, I I, 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 I remember Ray William Johnson. I remember all of that shit. I remember <laughs> I was there in the trenches. <laughs> um, uh, Lucky Star was, my, uh, was the first anime would have been... A uh, way to turn people away from anime? You think so? I remember watching, so my introductions to anime were 100% the Tell Your World Miku music video, the Bad Apple music video, uh, I remember watching uh, freaking Caramel Dancing on YouTube back in the wet day, and then watching Lucky Star in episodes, uh, episodic, like five part series on YouTube. That's 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 where it started. That started. Jetsu will never feel Zuma to me. I Chocolate Rain, yo! <laughs> <laughs> um, let's get Jet a Jets bad apple video. Imagine that. What would that even be? How could you turn a Jet stream into a bad apple video? Like, what would you? What kind of computer sorting algorithm would have to be used to turn a Jet stream into a bad apple music video? <laughs> I only got into anime because of a girl I was dating. Really interesting. I wish I feel like that'd be like the other way down around for so many people because it's like. Like, no, I mean, I used, no, I was, I was gonna say because there's like more guys that knew anime, but as a kid, I knew a lot more girls that like anime, weirdly enough. I don't know if that was an Australian thing or if that was just like a thing at the schools I went to. Drunk Jet's bad apple cut? No, 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 no. <laughs> Jet stream, but it's both coded to be bad apple. That reminds me, Annika's talking about Barry playing um, Metal Gear games. It reminds me of um, when one of the jetpacks, I think, was it Little Luxe? I might be wrong. I shouldn't say the jetpacks names if I'm completely wrong. Uh, like, uh, Data sorted uh, my Metal Gear Solid 4 playthrough to sing, uh, to sing What a Thrill. Uh, sorry, to sing Snake Eater, which was insane. Like, we're using words from the playthrough, which was surreal. Um... Jet stream, it's okay to bad apple. Kind of could be cool. Kind of be cool. Your dad got you into that. That's awesome. I mean, I feel old. My entire childhood was seeing the rise of Google. It's, I, I don't know. I, I, I guess, I, I guess, yeah, my generation's just like very YouTube heavy generation. I never had MySpace. I never had MySpace. That was like just too old for me. Uh, I was like young enough to check out a Meagle when I really shouldn't have, but not old enough to have a MySpace account. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's not a good thing. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, I know even Gullion really got me into anime. That's based as hell, dude. Uh, what a thrill. I remember using Netscape in the 90s to browse the web. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I, I kind of wish I got to experience more early internet, but it's no point wishing. It's just kind of like the, I, I experience the internet when I have, and uh, it's, it's, I hope, you know, I like. I don't, like, I, here's the thing, you, you want to be like, oh, internet was before was better, internet now for Zoomers is worse or whatever, but I don't know if it is, I think it's all just the internet's always at a permanent state of kind of bullshit, <laughs> kind of shitty, it's like a, it's in a permanent state of like, this has always been a little trashy. <laughs> um... I know it was my very first anime, but Zero Experiments Lane was very early. Uh, I love Zero Experiments Lane. I didn't watch it that early on though, but it's definitely one of those animes that I watched with alongside Evangelion that kind of cemented my love for anime as a genre. I don't, it's not really a genre, but like anime as like a 
form of art as like you know even though in some ways it's so weird being like no anime is different from just watching a good sh tv medium medium yeah medium that's the word i'm looking for yeah i think it was uh, even galleon and serious moments lane that cemented it as like I love this as a medium. And the same with like uh, Paprika and Perfect Blue, all those, and Akira, Ghost in the Shell, my, some of my favorite pieces of media I've ever made, kind of stuff like that. Which makes me like the things I like today. You know, has like influenced the way I, in, I enjoy stuff. Now, what were we talking about the other day uh, in Discord? It was like, oh, we were talking about really, really cringe music we liked as teens. And how, like, I can acknowledge it's super, super cringe, but it obviously has inferred who I am today in a lot of ways. I remember my dad unboxing voodoo graphics cards and installing it in the late 90s. Oh, that's cool. I never really had a lot of access to, like, contemporary tech or, like, tech enjoyers growing up. So I'm like, I'm like, I always... It always feels like I'm such an anomaly in the way that I am and the things that I like. When like Mechmom didn't really care at all about computers or anything like that. I never, my influence was never inferred by my home life. It was more just me finding things I enjoyed independently online and then going, oh, this is cool. And so my brain was like hardwired to want to enjoy, you know, technology and stuff like that it, uh, uh, counter to my environment if that makes sense does that make sense I, that was a weird way to word it but i think that makes sense like i just seem to be magnetized to tech stuff and raised by the internet and in and it kind of inferred a lot of what i liked without my parents influencing almost anything that i enjoy like there's very little things i can say i like that was like influenced by um my up actual up bringing uh it's like my my taste accounted to my environment in so many ways um hi zem hi did your brother welcome and good morning guys um a self-taught weave <laughs> self-taught weave and magnetism and tech are normally bad together yeah unless you're talking about like some really cool pieces of art uh, robzilla dude oh my god thank you for over 10 months and subscribing at tier 3 bro that's massive thank you so much for that much support I really, really appreciate it. Welcome in. Good morning. How you doing? Also, Brander. Hi. Welcome in, dude. Welcome into the community. How you going? And I was raised with the computers and later the internet. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's the thing. I I think in so many ways growing up, I've always, like, thought that the way I am as a person was, like, a lot more influenced by the tastes I chose to consume than my environment. Doing good, been lurking for a bit. Oh, I'm glad you've been enjoying your lurk. We are going to get over to the game in a little bit. I I do tend to ramble for about an hour or so. I'm not, not going to be here for like a podcast length like the incredible Marco Fukasame is capable of. But I'll ramble for a little bit longer and then we'll jump into uh, Flower Sun Rain, which is brilliant. So please stay around uh, for, uh, to Flower Sun Rain. I give it a chance. I know a lot of people are like, what the hell is this? I know that like the second I open up Flower Sun Rain, a lot of you bros are like, Jets. What the fuck is this? Please, I give it a chance. It's actually, in, in, it's genuinely a great game. It's so good. Like, don't don't write it off because of how crunchy it is. Please, please. <laughs> it's really good. Um, um, the Jets Rogan experience. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> the, I just put one of the images of you guys have edited of me being stoned out of my mind. Why do you guys make constant artwork of me being really stoned? I don't get that. I'll never understand the Jetpack's appeal of like editing editing me into smoking weed. I just don't get it. It's, I don't, it's not funny. It's not. It's not. LeBron, yes. Thank you so much for following. I hope you enjoy this day. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> I said it's an eclipse tomorrow. Is that why I'm feeling so fucked up? Sorry, I was a bit aggressive the way I said fucked up. Let me put the Vishayan friends in the corner here. Actually, I feel like I want to keep them on as like an emotional support characters. Yeah. Um, is that why I'm feeling so messed up? Is because there's eclipse? Isn't that like true? They've proven that by science that people do get kind of weird when eclipses are happening. Um. <laughs> like, isn't that isn't that like a thing? No, lol. I thought they proved that like old people get weird. Oh, it's full moons that that happens. Hi, Saber. Welcome. How you doing? Uh, lunacy is from the moon. Ah, oh, so damn. It's not. It's not the. It's not the magnetic fields. Damn. Damn. Okay. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna take a sip of uh, more of my coffee, and then I'm gonna try and remember what we're meant to be talking about. I swear there was stuff. I swear there was stuff, boys. We got distracted. I think I was talking about schedule, Marco stuff. Yes. 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 
you think old people don't care to hide that they're weird anymore? Or do you think the old people use it as an excuse? They're like, hey, the moon's out. We can kind of get a little crazy and they'll think it's normal, you know? <laughs> the old people are like just waiting for the prime opportunity to act a little, uh, a little zany. They're like, hey, 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 hey. Finally our time. Mm -mm -mm. They're conspiring? Yeah, they're working together. Some kind of great old people hive mind. They got a giant old people group chat. It's like an unspoken rule that the old people decide that, yeah, let's go hug it crazy. <laughs> let's go zany. Um, <laughs> um, uh, gravitational pull of the moon, the tides have been proven to affect the magnetism with the human brain, which is why it affects mentally impaired people who are subsequently affected. That's right, it, it, there is some science to it. There is some science. I've been watching a lot of puppet history. I've talked about this recently. I've been really, I don't know, enjoying watching puppet history as my comfort content. Because uh, Max, Max uh, Miller tasting history is, you know, I've w watched a lot of that now. So now I'm jumping onto a different YouTube addiction. Because, you know, I'm victim of the not being able to fall asleep unless I have kind of interesting content playing in the background. But I've been watching lots of puppet history. And it's very good because it talks a lot about how... Uh, I love being reminded of how just clueless humans have been through most of history about how everything works. It's great. It tastes, tasting history is so, so, so good. You should look into the gold helmet, which is an apparatus that studied the effects of magnetism on the human brain. That definitely sounds like something that I would be interested in. Despite not knowing uh, or having much understanding of science, I, I do, I do... I do like, I can be like, no, that's interesting. I can like nod my head and be like, that's kind of cool. Like, uh, just like skimming the Wikipedia page or something like that. I'd be like, oh yeah, that's interesting. I like, I like having a Wikipedia knowledge vaguely of, of, of bizarre medical stuff that's happened in history. But anything beyond that, it gets too deep for me. But I'm like, I can, I can graze the surface and just kind of be like, oh, they really did do lobotomies? What? And then you kind of scroll down the Wikipedia page and you start clicking on additional tabs and different doctors. And you're like, whoa, like that's, that's, that's enjoyable. <laughs> um, uh, people back in the day did the best they could based on the information they had. They went, oh yeah, no, I, I'm being a little hyperbolic. I will admit we're saying like humans were stupid back in the day. Obviously, obviously there's very, very valid reasons why a lot of, you know, um, science, human bodily like science couldn't be investigated. They didn't have like anesthesia for the longest time. You weren't exactly going to be going doing like a, you know, intensive surgery on the kidney uh, where, when like anesthesia wasn't around. People had to do like grave robbing and stuff just to find out what like human organs look like. So like I understand a lot of history. It's not like they were dumb. It's just time and place and evolving and we learn more as we get access to more stuff. Like I'm, I'm, I don't mean to sound so uh <laughs> uh, um, mentally, uh, so, so bingusy. But no, wait, no, no, wait. I mean, I mean, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a silly, uh, silly animal lady. I, what do you mean they had smuts back in the day? No way. No, that's. Wh what do you mean? I don't know anything. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'll go back to not knowing anything. Um, what were we saying? Uh, oh yes. Uh, I'm getting sidetracked. Oh, talking about. 3D. Talking about Marco's debut. Um, wait, did you know JFK's sister was permanently damaged from her front and the bottom that ruined her life and became unspoken taboo in the family? I don't think I ever knew of that. I've not really looked into the Kennedys that much. I, I, um, I really, I don't, I like, like, I, it's from, apart from like surface level stuff. I didn't know that. That's very sad. Wow, the more you know. We're learning about history here. Who says you don't learn things on the funny anime girl streams? The more you know. Um, exactly. In so many years, we'll... And that's a, that's a good thing. The doctor's questioning what they do now is probably... It's a good thing. Evolving, changing, cool, progression, yay! <laughs> Sorry. What I was going to talk about is now with Marco's debut being done, it does mean I can realistically... That's science, baby! I can, we can realistically start actually planning for Season 3D. See, the stuff that needs to be ready for Season 3D is coming together. I don't think it'll be ready this month, but maybe... Maybe next month. I, I I won't say that. I won't lock. We're not locking it in. We're not locking it in. That's not concrete. That's not concrete. We're not locking that in. Uh, but maybe uh, it's not confirmed. But maybe uh, next uh, month, possibly, if everything does get done, maybe we'll, maybe we'll be debuting season three D. I'm looking forward to it. Main. I'm looking forward to it because I'm really looking forward to doing more VR stuff. 
in VR chat. I'm also super looking forward to finally getting to play Half-Life Alex. We're going to do full body tracking Half-Life Alex playthrough, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, and of course, just showing off the amazing stuff that has been getting developed and working on. Uh, we're getting so close to being done. It's like final flourishes at this point. Um, mainly, I have some very interesting ideas for final, for brand new refreshed stream like scenes and stuff that I've been working on and collaborating with people that I want to make super special because you guys know me I you know me you know me boys I don't have to go as hard but it's it's all for me it's all for my brain it makes me happy I just want to I want I want to make the thing cool I can't help it <laughs> about Marco's view jets perfection I could see all the love and detail and passion put to the model everything oh thank you Saber I really I really appreciate that there's also a laboratory that helped with sieges um, because they know the phenomenon became present the patients the alien hand stream stream with two halves of brain operate one hand Oh, yeah, that's the thing the guy from dr. Strange love has right? That's the thing the guy from Doctor Strange Love has. He has the alien hand syndrome where he thinks that the alien um, He thinks his hand is someone else uh, Jets not go hard blast me. I just I have it's it's you worked on Marco's model? You rig it? I did the art for it. I did the art for Marco's model. I did not rig it. I did not. That was rigged by the same person that rigged my model. Hamster crumbs, the amazing crumb papa. Um, the first surgery and anesthesia, the patient woke up. Scary. Scary. Okay, let's stop talking about scary surgery and we'll get into talking about the scary wow world of Goichi Suda. Um, hi, Kaz. Welcome. How are you doing? Good morning. Welcome, welcome. We'll get into we'll get into the game. We'll stop talking about terrifying acts of surgery from from yonder's past. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's pseudo time. I think it's pseudo time. I'll I'll stop. Also, I kind of want to show you guys a spoiler. The thing is, I kind of want to show you guys a spoiler for the for season three D. But you're like, Jed, stop showing us spoilers. But boys, I kind of want to show you a spoiler. What if it's a still image? What if it's a still image? Can I show you if it's a still image? Can I do it? No. Yes. No. Don't. What? I want to <laughs> do it. <laughs> do not. <laughs> you spoil us too much. Why do you guys know about this? Most, most, most Twitch chats beg. They're like, please, please show us the content. But you guys are like holding me down. You're like tying me down to the bed like I'm in an insane asylum. Like, don't do it, Jets. Don't show off the spoilers. <laughs> there won't be anything left. It's for your own good. Get the duct tape. <laughs> You've already done so many spoilers in the past. Don't do it again. Uh, it's not because it's, it's not going to be. It's going to be different. The actual debut will be different because you'll be able to actually physically see it move. It'll be fine. It'll be, it'll be fine. Right? 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 <laughs> There's so much you guys haven't seen. It's fine. There's so much you guys haven't seen. Don't worry. You guys think I've spoiled a lot. I really haven't. I really haven't. There's a lot of stuff you guys have no idea about. I've been genuinely biting my tongue quite aggressively on a bunch of projects. You're like, why is it taking so long, Jess? There's a lot I'm not telling you guys. <laughs> it's fine. It's okay, fine. No spoilers. We'll go over to the gaming screen. I will, I will stop myself. Let's go get ready to play some video games. We're gonna actually get comfy and try and progress this story. I promise, crossing my heart, we won't go on bizarre tangents, okay? Today, today, we're not gonna go on bizarre tangents. We're gonna actually sit here and genuinely enjoy Suda's amazing uh, bizarre masterpiece, which is Flower Sun and Rain. Let me get into the immersion lighting because it's always good to have immersion lighting on for this game. Uh, because we, 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 we got some good progress. What even happened last time, bros? I'm trying to remember now. What the hell happened last time? Oh, that's a bit that's a bit purple. Let me make it a little bit less purple. Um, what even happened last time? It was a... Uh, it was a uh, certainly... Uh, str was it the angel? It was the angel flew into an airplane and committed a, committed a, a, a domestic terrorism, right? It was, it was, it was, it was the angel committing the domestic, domestic terrorism, and then also, also, what else? What else happened? Uh, we had angel domestic terrorism, and then we had oh, the two comedian brothers, the VTubers, right? They they had like they couldn't find their identity. Yes, that's right. We had we had the angel domestic terrorism, then we had the two comedian VTubers who 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 had to prove that they were VTubers. Okay, cool. So we're up to speed. For people who haven't missed it, but most importantly, what we need to do is uh, start this up. 
and hit with what if I just open Imagine Babies right now? <laughs> I'm so tempted to open Imagine Babies right now. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm sorry. I'm not going to. Um, oh, yes. The French dude was hitting on us. I don't know what that's saying. Are you sure about that? I think we got it caught on candid camera. Uh, time to sit through the five hour long intro. Woo! Bald pack redeem jetpack. You guys are kind of already bald. Like, what? <laughs> like, like you're velvety, but like you're not. You're not like you don't have like a little tuft of hair or anything. Like if I was going to make you guys bald, what would I do? I'm here, I'm here. What would I do to make you guys bald? We're bald. I'm here, I'm here. Like, how would I, how would I draw a bald pack? You guys already have a dome. Give us a luxurious looks back, please. <laughs> well, you guys aren't bald because you're kind of like velvet textured, but you are like, you know, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? This makes sense, right? This makes sense in my head. This makes sense in my head. We put like a shiny. Oh, I, no, I skipped it. But I guess we don't sit through the five minute long intro this time. I'm sorry. Sorry, I skipped the, the five hour long intro. Restart, restart. Sorry. I skipped the five hour long intro, I'm sorry. It's okay, we can we can start. Dead run, dead run. <laughs> Hello, save data. Okay, so we're gonna jump right into this. If you don't know what's going on, it's okay, no one does. Just enjoy the experience, enjoy, enjoy. I don't, I genuinely don't hate the intro. I, I, I really, really like the intro of this game. Air in the G. What does that mean? Air in the G. Music so good. It's so. It's just like it's got such a vibe to it. It's comfy. It's mysterious. All right, let's get breakfast. Good morning, Mr. Mondo. It's morning again. Your breakfast is ready. Let's go. Breakfast time. I still haven't eaten it once yet. Come on, today's the day. Today's the day we get breakfast. I think I might try and get. Oh, come on! Come on. I, bros, bros. Okay. Okay, Jepek, you need to be honest with me. What is your confidence that we get breakfast today? We Come on, we gotta get breakfast. It has to. Today, he's even saying today he's gonna give it a try. Today we have to get breakfast. Zero, come on. Have some faith. Very good. We'll be waiting for you. Have some faith, we've got to have breakfast. Today we will not fall over, today we'll have breakfast. Well, bad start, but we'll still have breakfast. Come on, breakfast. Something strange is going on here. I like that our character's just realizing that. I think we've been at this hotel for now like six, seven days doing the exact same thing. My goal here is to stop a terrorist attack. Yes, that is exactly what it is. But all I seem to be doing is helping random people. That is what's happening. Why is that? Like Sonny said, I guess I'm just too kind a of person. We're a little bit of a pushover. I didn't really notice it until this point that yeah, we are totally a pushover. At like the time, I couldn't turn down the newspaper subscriptions. No, he's he can't. He's like he's. Like, I can't cancel subscriptions, guy. No, you gotta end it. You gotta get off of Netflix. They don't have. They don't make any good content anymore. You gotta let it go, man. Let Netflix has went to shit. Unsubscribe, bro. You don't need it anymore. They were just milking you dry every month. Have you even used it this year, this month? Oh, and I bought five thousand dollars worth of Girl Scout cookies. Okay, that's kind of. It's kind of. I mean, that's kind of cool, actually. It's kind of cool. Like, that's not like a bad thing, you know. Or the four thousand two hundred dollars encyclopedia set I got from salesman. That's a bit rough. That's a bit rough. Ooh. Oh, buddy. The 17,000 VIP club card that a beautiful girl got me in my body. Buddy. 
I want to put six f extinguishers from the fire safety guy. That's responsible. That's responsible. Yeah, five k worth of cookies isn't being a pushover. That's just self indulgence. True. Where this get? You? Actually, you know what? How's he got all this money? You got something you need to tell us? Is he? Hmm. No, I'm just overthinking this. Uh, maybe this seems like a good self-reflection point, actually. Maybe thinking is good. Good. I prefer some... <gasps> He's having tea instead of coffee? What? Maybe thinking is good. You got a source of that. I don't buy it. Fancy. Thanks for following Bro Madrid's tea here. Tea's better. I'm a, I'm a coffee person through and through. I'm sorry. I'm a thousand percent a coffee person. I do like tea a lot in the winter time, though. I really, really enjoy tea in the winter time. Which means uh, soon in the coming months, I'll probably be drinking a lot more tea because it's getting colder in Australia. It's just, I do like green tea a lot as well. As well. The lost and found list. Let's do this. Okay, I'm gonna do a little snip of this one here because. Bam, 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 bam. Oh god, the lost and found music is so good. We've got three here. We've got record, Mr. Carboni's pot. Mr. Carboni's what? Mr. Carboni got a share. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yo, Mr. Carboni, you know what they say. <laughs> uh, we got a, uh, and then pimple token. Okay, we're gonna try and see if we can solve all of these. Okay. Uh, some sleepy- oh, I- wait, I do love sleepy time tea. This is not why I'm getting stoned edits, okay? That was a really good and obvious joke. <laughs> Sue me for, for making the obvious joke. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's go over here. Um... Uh, they have cancelled their good show season one. It's heartbreaking. Oh yeah, the ne the Netflix situation. We're not, let's not get into it. It hurts too much. It's too chaotic. Let's go get breakfast. More importantly, we're gonna go. We we're gonna go get breakfast and then find out the, about Mr. Carboni having pot. <laughs> you know what? Are the French into that? Like, is that saying something about Mr. Carboni? Hopefully, hopefully, finally, breakfast, please. Your minutes are making the obvious joke. Just more stone edits, Jets. No! <laughs> Hi, Wolf. Welcome and how you going, bro? Welcome to the stream. Okay, let's get breakfast, finally. Today is the day. The sun is shining. We're going to have scrambled eggs. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. I'm guessing the breakfast has got to be down in the foyer, right? That's right, that's a dead end. So this is the entrance way to the foyer, level one. The birds are chirping. Maple syrup on pancakes. It's gonna be great. Okay, where is, is it, this breakfast? Is it, please, 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 breakfast, 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 breakfast. No, okay. That's not breakfast. Breakfast? Where, where, where is breakfast? Is breakfast here? Can we leave? Where do we go to breakfast? Hmm. Is this breakfast? No. Hmm. Let's talk to Mr. Cobb. Miss, uh, the, 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 the person at the front desk. Hello, sir. Anything I have you, Mr. Mike? Where is breakfast? Edo, I'm finally heading now. Good luck, Mr. Bondo. Oh, wait, are we actually leaving for the first time in this game? No way. The very fate of this island is resting on your shoulders, Mr. Bondo. No, this is crazy. Please not forget that. I have not forgotten, not for one second. You're trying to scare me? Nothing out of sort. I'm counting on you. We all are. I hope you'll be back soon. So we can leave now, right? Jetpack. After seven days, we are finally leaving the hotel. After seven domestic terrorisms, I'm pretty sure it's, that, it's been that many. We're actually going to find out what's outside the hotel? No way! OK, 
okay, this is actually quite exciting. This, okay, this seems, if this is your first time <laughs> clicking onto the stream, this seems bizarre as a thing to be so excited about. Yo, we're touching grass, Pog! <laughs> huh? Oh no. Oh no. It looks like the X is blocked. Mr. Carboni! You got that you got that stuff, bro? Looks like you're in a hurry, Monsieur Mondo. <laughs> Stefan Carboni! <laughs> Living as a mole for so long is miserable. Even I need some sunlight sometimes. What do you want? <laughs> if there is anything, please move aside. Oh Mondo, that rage, such passion. Why why is he like this? Why is he like this? Inga makes one grow. What does he mean by that, bros? <laughs> what does he mean? Your anger is my energy. What do you mean? Oh, this is pointless. Get out of my way. I can't. Huh? <laughs> I study factories. Have you heard of a condition called plant? Stephen, when they said doing pot, they didn't mean it like that, buddy. Please calm down. I need you to take a seat. I need you to sit down. You're a professor who loves factories, huh? <laughs> professor, nothing of a sort. Oh, you just said you're a professor! Steven! Please call me doctor. No, I don't think I will! I don't know any doctors I've ever really liked. It's quite a generalization, but that is uh, also important. Generalizations can be a shortcut to truth, can they? <laughs> Enough! What is it you want? You're screwed. I expect great things from you, Steven. What the hell are you talking about? So I was thinking I'd give you a little test. I've heard the rumors. You're an impressive searcher. You've been working your magic here in the hotel. Uh -huh. I love that he's completely stunned us. We don't know what to say, but understandably, we're getting a lot of information from Steven all of a sudden. It's quite an attitude you get out there. Now look over there! See that woman in the bathing suit? Uh, what? I, you mean the lady on the roof? How can we see her from here? You're already acquainted with her, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, uh, underage jetpacks, close your eyes. It might get a bit... It might get a bit spicy. What do you think? What kind of question is that? She's a Steven. <laughs> She's a saucy vixen. Don't you agree? What's your point? Not so fast. Uh, something else. Are you a Rominster? No, we've been over this. We did this like four chapters ago. We're not going back to Rominsters. I told you, no. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> well, that's great. I'm relieved. Fully, from the bottom of my heart. All roads lead to Helsinki, after all. That's right, isn't it? I don't have time for this. Just wait a moment. I've actually made a bet with a certain individual. A bet? Huh? What? Wait, hold up. What the, what the hell's about to go down? Allow me to explain. We, are you better start talking! The waiter says to her, Have a cocktail on the house. Compliments of the hotel. Please, choose one. Is this like a red pill, blue pill situation? <gasps> oh my god, is it? 
What? No. Suda. She took the red pill. She took the red pill, bros. It woe is me. Yayoi chooses red. What? Is that what he's doing? Is this what Suda's doing right now? Suda. Foolish woman. What do you mean? read the horoscope section of the guidebook. I bet on blue. The lucky color for today is blue. I'm sure Yayoi would choose blue too. Huh? But she chose red. And now she's fallen asleep. Asleep? Okay, no, wait, so what, so she's dead now? The lady on the before so is dead? What? She's dead? Because, what, soccer? Steven! If after five players on both sides have taken penalties, and the match still isn't decided. We go into a sudden death. A and stop thinking about soccer from a movie. You stop thinking about soccer from a movie. You started it, Stephen. And think what sudden death actually means. No, 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 no. You can't be like it's actually a metaphor for suck, su sudden death, and su no, you can't, no, Stephen. Sudden death. <gasps> That's right. In this case, however, it's not so immediately sudden. All this yapping. The woman is having. Oh, she's. Wait, she's just. <laughs> she's just having a tummy trouble? If you die in soccer, you die in real life. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck this is murder woman is talking about his favorite sport? I mean, I can kind of base. <laughs> we must save her. Wait, in wait, no, 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 wait, so she is dying. Wait, she is dying. In two hours time, she's gonna fall into a critical state. Steven, what the fuck have you done? French moment chat. That's a real sudden death. Why are you? So he's just murdered her because she doesn't like soccer? Just listen to the rest. Steven, I hate you and your weird, sad looking eyebrows. What? If she, if she were to fall asleep, then having taken responsibility for losing the bet, it was agreed that I would do something to help her? There's a way to save her? Do you, want to, do you know a way to save her, Steven? Not let her die in the first place! If you were aware of this! Buddy! There was, there's an antidote that will immediately alleviate her symptoms. Then please go find it! It's hidden somewhere in room 404. Did you put it there? It'd be tough to find it there. I doubt I could do it. What do you mean? Hi, coffee's my god, welcome in. I'm not a searcher like you, after all. A system engineer isn't actually a very useful job. 
Yo, what? Calling out system engineers like that? Wait, what do system engineers do? <laughs> sorry. I'm so sorry to the system engineers in chat. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Steven has just decided to murder a woman and then come for your gutlet. I'm sorry. <laughs> they engineer systems. It depends on the system. <laughs> they engineer systems, obviously. I can't believe someone told me that, like, I'm you. You're scum. Crazy. <gasps> Kill him! Murder him! Hey, now! You won't get anywhere by hurting me. All I know is that the antidote is in room 404, of course, freaking 404. It was hidden by someone only called The Witness. What is going on? It would be much harder to find him than the antidote, however. I guarantee it. Time is ticking away. Don't you want to save her? I don't really care how this turns out. It's more like you want her to die. Yeah, I... Is, does he want her to die? Hurry up, Sumi Mondo. Okay, so let's recap at this. Uh, Steven... Steven Carbone was like, Hey bro, you fuck trees? I'm gonna kill this hot babe! And then we tried to strangle him. Am I correct in saying that that's just what happened? Am I correct in, in saying that, um, that is, that's what we just encountered? For? Yeah, okay, or, okay, all right, nice. Pretty much, great. Let's, do we go, okay, two options here, jetpack. Hi, funny year, thank you for following, I hope you're today. Two options here, do we go to the lady first, or do we go to room 404 first? What do you guys think is the best protocol? I'm not sure, actually. I guess room 404's, first um up the stairs we could check into room 404 first that kind of makes sense to go that way you talk to front desk guy that's true actually we could be like dude do you know the guy in your building is murdering people and, and he's also fucking trees yeah let's go let's go let's go to front desk guy that's a good that's a good call maybe he can do something about this this might- I mean, we've encountered a lot of strange stuff thus far, but this is... Okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Exceptionally bizarre. How bizarre? How bizarre? Oh, turns out we can't talk to the front desk. Okay, well, it was worth a chance. It was worth a try. It was worth a try. Okay, let's do this. I do like that Sumio kind of went for the end, end of Evangelion on uh, Stephen Carboni. Just freaking choke him. Choke him. Choking someone's very, 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 very messed up. Like, I don't know, man. It's pretty, it's like out of all the ways to, well, it's pretty, pretty intense. Okay, level four. The front desk guy has told us the hotel has death penalties. Has he? Did I forget that? Has the front desk guy like in on this? There's 404. Okay, turns out we can't go into 404 currently. 404 not working, a eh, pseudo. I see what you're doing here. I guess we go to the rooftop. Go say hello to the lady and we do get to listen to the really, really banging soundtrack that's in the rooftop area. So, yeah. Oh. Ba -ba -da 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 -da. Ba -ba 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 Okay, maybe we can just talk her out of dying, you know? Maybe all she needs is like a polite conversation. Um, this is not the normal music. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Ma'am, are you dying? This is bad. You don't say. <clears throat> this isn't natural sleep. I need to tell Edo. Uh... <clears> oh <throat> my gosh, sorry, I'm choking on my own. Uh, that's right. 
This is not good. I don't know what to do. We have to find Edo. We have to find Edo. Gosh. Whoa, whoa. That was some kind of like, um, Hylic sounding sound effect. She's not dead. She's just sleeping, but she will be dead if we don't rush. Uh, where's Edo? He wasn't at the front desk, so where the hell will he be? I guess maybe we get, go now, go down back to Edo? Now that we've talked to her? Oh, I don't like that sound. First she deep sleeps and then she perma sleeps. Yeah. It's a fake sudden death, not a real sudden death. I mean, the stakes are still just as high, right? This is like, it's, it still culminates in death. I mean, fake sudden, it, it's still gonna culminate in real death. Okay, so let's go. Let's go down to front floor and see if we can talk to Aldo. And um, maybe now we've because it's we're kind of trying to unlock the path trees. Suda was openly joking about it in the last mission that we have to kind of unlock certain flags. Uh, so hopefully that's unlocked the flag for Edo, and we can now talk to him. Yes, good, it has. Hurry up, buddy, ladies, dying upstairs. Malakoin, hi, welcome, how you doing? Okay. Anything I can do if you miss a model? There's a lady, she's dying, Stephen Gamboni, he did it. And we got trouble. Yeah, your ears collapsed on the roof. Miss Hanayama? What happened? Please, just get up there. And look for the antidote! Very well. Leave Miss Hanayama to me. Thanks, Edo. Oh, and one more thing. What you have for Steven, Edo? Mr. Carbone, eh? He's crazy! Absolutely out of his mind! He settled this up! He did? Who's staying in room 404 anyway? Uh, that's Mr. Carbone's room. I thought I'd been there before. Oh, shit! Shit, what does he mean? He doesn't know who's in room 404, but he, is, it, is this Jekyll and Hyde? Is Steven Carboni got split personality? No, is Steven Carboni like multiple personality? Anyway, I'll leave uh, Yayoi to you. Very good, Mr. Mondo. Do we talk to him again? Will it let us? The music changes are so wild. We'll see if there's any more dialogue. I'm gonna miss out. Okay, room four for the Carbies. Leave Miss Han Yama to me. So, should we talk to Stephen Carboni now? Because we now know that the room is his. So maybe we can talk to him to see, be like, dude, let us into your room, you idiot. Maybe that will be what we need to do. God, I was so hopeful we'd get out of the, uh, we'd get breakfast today, but alas. Time's ticking away. Yeah, no, thanks to you, buddy. Don't you want to save your yoy? Yeah, that's it. Hurry it up, Sumi. He's so rude. He's just standing there, menace menacingly. Okay, let's go. I guess we can break into his room. Do we have, like, cores now? How much... Jetpack, what what the police need to get a, a, a an entrant wait a warrant to enter property? Huh? What the police need to get a wa warrant to enter into someone's place? A cause? How do you prove that you have a cause? A probable cause? A court order or permission from a judge? Do you think this is enough cause for us to break and enter into Mr. Carbone's property? Do you think this is enough permission? I think this is enough permission for us to break and enter. Sure, sure. He's got the 80s frosted hips test, frosted tips hairstyle. The character design in this game is brilliant. We'll say sorry, exactly. We'll go break and enter first, say sorry later. I think that's appropriate. I think it's very appropriate. Hell yeah. Knock, knock, knock. House cleaning, house cleaning. So what are we look? Oh, it's too quiet. I hate when the rooms are quiet. I don't like it. 
I dislike when the rooms are quiet, bros. What the fuck is that sound? S Steven? Why do you have a woman in your... Uh... Ma'am? She wearing shoes on the bed? Honestly, the most, the craziest crime being committed right now is the fact I think she's wearing shoes on the bed. Take this woman away. Arrest her for a long time. Oh yeah, why are you sleeping here? Oh, I'll, oh. Whoa, whoa, oh no, 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 no. Oh no, 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 no. Hello? <laughs> Mr. Mondo. This is Edo. Edo? I can't find Mr. Hanayama. Where exactly was she on the roof? Edo, what is going on? She's Wait, that's Miss Hanayama? She's here. Oh. She is. But she's dressed now! She wasn't dressed beforehand! What the fuck's going on? Yes, me, Miss Yayo is here with me. Are we being framed? Are we being set up? I'm glad to hear that. Is she well? She's breathing at least. I need to find the antidote. Don't. We will arrange for an emergency vehicle. Please wait for us there, Mr. Mondo. Okay, be quick. I'll hurry too. Very good. Guys, I, I, the music in, okay, I, you know, I think I preferred it with. Uh, mushy mushy. You're choking, Mr. Mondo. <gasps> Ragrets, hi, welcome in, bro. You little. Let me trigger a flag for you then. The location of the antidote is written by PDF. If you know where it is, dude, just find it yourself. Why are you? Holy sh bros, this is. What is going on right now? This is the most confusing one we've encountered so far. You just need to open the file. You see where I'm going with this? You got something that can help you that. Have you? <sighs> You're worthless trash! You'll find that even trash has principles. Does it now, Mr. Kaboni? Does it? This is your reward for stealing- <gasps> What?! Now it's a jealousy thing?! Hold up, I didn't see this. I didn't- Wait, he thinks that Yayoi yeah, is in love with us? Is Yayoi in love with us? All those who stand in my way shall be laid to waste. That's right! It's jealousy! <gasps> A very valuable emotional green eyes. Is he like killing her? So he's like, if I can't have her, no one can! Steven! No! Steven, go to therapy! Steven! Steven! Therapy is an option! You don't have to do this! My man had too much ritz. <laughs> Wait, no, you think Starboni's in love with us? So she, he poisoned her to get with- Oh my god, the plot thickens. That's your only reason? Enough chit-chat for now. <laughs> the flag has been triggered. Use the guidebook and you might be able to solve this mystery. However, thank you for the bless use. This riddle of mine's pretty. <laughs> Sorry! Pretty tough. Do you think you can handle it? You'll need an analytical power and acute perception. Jetpack, you guys think I have acute. <laughs> Dumb joke. Acute perception. Uh, along with a smooth, flexible inspiration. What? Acute. 
Smooth, flexible. Wait, this is like a code, right? Wait, wait. Where's my pen? He's, he's doing a code. He's doing a code. Help me out. I need to write this down. He's got something. Smooth. He said, he said, he said, he said, acute, acute. Then he said, smooth. Then he said, flexible. Analytical, analytical, analytical. Like a veritable funny stuff. That's right. Smooth, smooth. Yes, yes, give us funky. Yes, yes, give us flexible. And one more thing. A word of warning. He should have warned us not to wake up this morning. This day has been absolute hell. Watch out for Edo. What the fuck do you mean by that, Steven? What the fuck do you mean by that? He's a cunning one. You'll find he's the one put- No way! Oh, not so quiet. I like it. So we have to go to his PDA? Everyone is actively threatening us at this point, that is true. This is nasty business. I hate this kind of sickening game. Stephen is a real piece of work. If I have to spend another day around that freak, I think I'll lose my head. Ooh, that seems like, um, foreboding. Yao, Yao Yoi is just a victim here. And her life is in my hands. Whether she lives or dies, it all depends on me. That's a lot of pressure. I don't know if the, I don't know if Mondo's cut out to be a white knight. Of course, I'm gonna save her, buddy. Now then, a mystery concealed within its PDA. Hurling into the mystery, mystery calls up more mystery. What's a mystery without mystery when mystery supersedes? Hurling towards the idea of solving all mystery. Open, Catherine. The antidote for Yayoi! I had to step away for a wait. What's up to this time? Okay, so, um... Steven Carboni wants to fuck trees. Also, he's pausing Yayoi because he's in love with us. And we are not to trust Edo. And also, now we're gonna jack into... Uh... Steven's PDA. Uh... And, uh... Get the antidote. I think that, I think I explained that pretty accurately. Holy shit, that's a lot of numbers. Steven, you son of a bitch. How many numbers is that? Ten? Ten numbers. God damn it. God damn it. Okay. Ten numbers. He wants analytically acute, smooth, and flexible. What does he mean by that? God, what does Steven mean by that? Sons, dude! Oh my god, thank you so much for tier 3, 10 months! Woo! I really appreciate it! Thank you, thank you so kindly! Thank you so kindly for supporting the stream, dude. I hope you're doing well. Welcome in science! And also, while I'm here, Jetpack, do, uh, do I, will I need a hint for this one? I need, I feel a little confused. This is the first time I don't really... That one's got numbers, but that's not 10 numbers, is it? about chapel this is the first one so far which I don't really know what we need to do here cave ruins what does he mean stranded ships highway guys I don't know what could possibly be the jumping off point here nothing standing out Architect District, Gateway, this is just the guidebook for the area, Defamation, Restaurant, Dinner, I 
couldn't be... It couldn't be the cocktail again, is it? It couldn't be the cocktail. Because it was like the red or blue one and he said I hope she'd chosen the blue cocktail. But I don't think it's that right. That doesn't make sense. wedding one we've got the he does like the sports stuff but I don't think it's the sports stuff again it couldn't be the sports stuff again is it there's the psychology one is there anything about soccer there is but we've already done the soccer one I don't think they would reuse the soccer or we meant to use the soccer because it's like well, you know Stephen Carboni is going to be crazy about the soccer. Oh, guys. But it's a 10, a 10 number thing. And these, none of these are 10 numbers. I'm genuinely stumped. I'm genuinely a little bit stumped right now with what could this, what this could mean. Any jetpacks have played this game? Yeah, none of the keywords implied soccer. Am I gonna be able to get this first? Cause this is, yeah, but I forgot, damn it. Cause this one just doesn't make sense right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's only nine, not 10. Is it 10 numbers? It's 10 numbers, yeah. I don't know, dude. I'm like totally stumped. You said it was in the guidebook. The words he used were analytically acute, smooth, flexible, but maybe that's just like to throw us off. Something about the Daily Fortune being blue. Oh, true. Wait, there was. Oh, wait, there was a page about Daily Fortune. Haha, <laughs> jetpack. Um, there was a page about Daily Fortune, right? Forest navigated, ruin, story, business, lost highway, stars and rain, hotel information, Starship Hotel, project, the scope, flowers and rain. Flower dinner, cocktails, theatre. I swear there was a page about fortune, right? There's the wrestler page, the who's who's page, the soccer page. Your psychology. Uh. Reveal the secrets of your relationships? Is located the cast of The Last Passenger's Psychological Quidge, named after E. King Electric. Okay. You arrive in your room in flowers on a rain. The beautiful scenery of the window takes your breath away. You see three prominent things around you. Which of these strike your biggest impression? One, A, the brightly colored birds. B, five palm trees glowing out in the garden. Or C, the hand on the clock pointing at seven. Um, for me, maybe. Or it could be something about plants. Oh, true. Let's let's do the quiz. I'm gonna get sidetracked. Let's do the quiz, boys. I'm thinking, let's do let's do everyone's favorite psychology's quizzes. Um, maybe the brightly covered birds. A. Eh? Lock the bartender has offered to make you a special drink. Here are the three he's offered: seven flowers filled with spice, twin suns hot and fiery, an umbrella may be better shared. Wait, they're both spicy. I don't really want two spicy drinks. Where's the option for the sour drink? Wait, what? No, I don't, I don't want to share. I, I know I don't want to share a drink, but I don't really want a spicy drink. Maybe I'll go with the flower one because spicy might be better than fiery. 
Okay, I'll go A again. God. <laughs> double A, double A batteries. Okay. Number three. While out on a walk, you encounter Ken. I'm just Ken. The bike messages tells you about work. He's been busy in the morning. First, I've got a message from Elder to were for the dinner where I also picked up four more. They collected seven more from the post box. In the sp Wait, this is numbers. Hey, Andy. Hotel gave me five messages. That's where you found me. Oh, and he's one for you. So I bet you're wondering how many messages I have left, huh? But who's the message you received from? Eight messages. Two were for dinner. Four, seven. Now these are numbers. I don't know. I'm confused why there's numbers in this. Lady? B? What's the answer? Oh, there's more questions. Oh, crap. We're taking a strong stroll on the beach at dusk. You want to find a beautiful shell to take back to your partner and just know home. Oh, shells are cool. You pick up two shells every three steps and toss one into the sea every five steps. After walking 50 steps, you look down at the collection of shells in your hands. What's the first you see? This is maths questions. I despise this. Two broken pink shells. A lovely whole white shell. A blue stone. <gasps> it's got to be a cool stone. Rock, rock is cooler than shell. We're going to get a, a C. Blue stone. You're eating dinner where Eldo comes in to ask your favor. I'm very sorry, sir, madam. Would you lend me a hand here? Six people have ordered cheesecake. But we only have one 20 centimeter diamond anime cake left. I hate that these are phrased like this. Can you help uh, me work out each exact angle to cut in order to give you each person the same size? Wait, that's an acute though. That's something about being acute, right? And smooth is like, is this what this is? Is this what I'm meant to be looking at? This is really obtruse. If this is what I'm meant to be looking for. Uh, very well, Happel agreeing to help. It's all mine. Eat the whole cake yourself. Sounds like too much Happel. You get up and leave. Hey, I'll, I'll be helpful. I I'll try and help. I might not do it well, but I will uh, try and help. Another day on Lost Pass Island ends, and you're in bed. In order to make the most out of tomorrow, you reach out, set the alarm clock by the bed. Rather than turn it using a chime, this alarm clock turns on the radio. Uh, when the time comes around in the darkness, you're forced to set the clock. By touch alone, there are three buttons used to set from the hour, 10 minutes, one minute, set to 7.50 in the morning. You press the left button three times, the middle button four times, the right button twice. When the alarm comes on in the morning, what's the first thing you hear? The weather, the latest hit song, or the sound of a harp? I think the weather would be nice. I'd like to know what the weather was. Are we playing Professor Layton today? It feels like this. Wait, so... <gasps> this is fortune telling, wait. Guys, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Your lucky color is blue. Your lucky number is seven. We're starting on a new endeavor from a lucky place. Guys. Yet you may get there by accident. I'm, what is going on? I don't know. Is this what it is? Come back to me the question I started the diary and now I'm running the, the, the 1999, the 12th month, the 30 day is going to end today. Why you ask? Because you read this, which, oh, I think I need to look up its guide. I'm confused. I'm so confused. Steven, what have you done? I'm sorry, I wish I could help you with a suggestion. I'm so confused. Bros. I don't know. I'm actually, I'm completely stumped. Analytically, acute, smooth, flexible. Analytically, 
a cute, smooth, flexible. Your psychology. Maybe the quiz answers in that order? Maybe. Yeah, acute applies to angles, but what would be analytical? This one would be acute, right? Can you help with the angle to cut the thing? Which would make it six people. There's a 20 centimeter, but there's two different numbers in the thing. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, we might have to go with a guide. I need at least a hint. This is a pretty hard riddle. I think I might need a hint. I think this is too obscure for me. I think Suda's absolutely stumped me this time. Can I get a hint to at least like what page of the guidebook is it on? Like what number page of the guidebook is it on? Because I am... Stumped fully. I will happily accept a hint. I'm gonna drink my coffee. You guys can decide if you wanna help me, otherwise I'll just look it up in a a playthrough, a guide. Hmm. Wait, so I'm on the right page? It's the fortune teller page? Okay, well then we need to work out. The first one is analytical. 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 Oh. This is, how do I, no, what? Analytical, I get the acute one. Acute's obvious. Smooth could maybe be the shit stones? Flexible. Okay, you know what? I'm looking at the guide and even I don't understand. Yeah, this, I think this is, I think we're just gonna, I'm gonna Google the answer. This is stupid. No, 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 it's not stupid, but it's difficult. It's difficult. It's like if he, he's trying to get me to guess what one it is. A blue stone can be smooth glass, but then he's saying it needs to be the numbers. So it's like you walk three steps, five steps, 50 steps. So am I choosing those numbers? Is it just acute and smooth? This is so convoluted. Suda, Suda, what are you thinking, King? I'm going insane. My hair is falling out as we sit here, jetpack. My hair is falling out. My brain is rotting. Uh, I think I'm going to Google it. Artichoke, give us a number. We're going to just put it in. I'm not doing this. Suda, we're not doing this. Suda, we ain't doing this. Screw you, buddy. What's the, what's the answer? Smooth and silky? My, my freaking bald head is going to be smooth and silky. After this game melts my brain. Are you sure? Yes, give me it. I'm, I'm, there's no way I'm gonna work this out on my own. No way. I, I like fully am aware that this is not gonna happen without the answer. Yep, I was, okay, seven. Seven. Oh, Anonymous, thank you for giving yourself the null sack. That's really nice. Thank you so kindly for it. No, go back. New jacket, probably. So, okay. Seven. Eight. Nine. Six. Three. Oh. One. Five. Nine. Eight, seven. This is like I'm putting in like my automated passcode that I just decided to like have for a web page because I chose to go with strongest possible passcode. 
You have to look in the background images as well as the text in the game's overlay images. The grid has a series of numbers. There are instructions in the text indicating which number to select. Starting on seven, go east. Start no, that's insane. That's insane. Suda, what were you thinking? What? Katana? Katona? Wait, from Halo? No, Kintonia? Wait, what's the... <laughs> I thought it was Quintana for a second. You looking for something? Kantoa. Oh, very good. Kantoa. Just what I expect. Three more minutes. Time's almost up. I don't like this. Wonderful. Don't rush this. You've still got time. The goddess on the bed. Her skin. The beautiful body. Weird. 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 Take a good look. I don't think I should be looking at her skin that close. That's very strange. Quite a view, isn't it? I wouldn't know. I'm a gentleman. I would never peeps. It's almost time. Almost time. I don't like this. Don't like this. Are you getting nervous? Yes. Yes, I am. The clock is ticking. I think I'm aware of that. Oh, dear. Time's up. Take a look at the bed. I, no, I can't. No, this is too much. You monster. I was too late. Was it even possible to save her? No. Jetpack? Is she just dead? Did the lady... Oh, Boris? Oh, Suda! Tricked me? Stefan? <laughs> She's dreaming about. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> and here I was worried about saving her life. She's just fine? <laughs> She's fast asleep. This is messed up. What are you... What? So she's not dying? But I can't leave. Wait, hold up. Why can't I leave? Ah, I thought you'd come back. Because we're not done talking to the goddamn robot lady. The test is over. What test? Explain yourself. Let us check your answers. You're a wonderful student, Mr. Mondo. But there's something holding you back. Your kindness. Are we really too kind? You mustn't trust others so easily. Didn't your parents teach you that? When you were a child? There are many humans in the world who can think only of tricking others. That's right, Mondo. I've taught you something important here. Don't be fooled again, okay? What are you thinking? That I tricked you? So what if I did? doesn't matter either way. What will I gain from tricking you? I'm so confused, Burris. I'm so confused. I did this for you. 
Oh, and just to clarify, there's no secret club. The poison story was a lie too. It was just a sleeping po- he, Stephen Colbert used the day drug on- No, Stephen, you're so fucked up. Stephen. Stephen, you're so fucked up. Stata, hi, welcome and how you doing? Stephen spiked a drink, that's so fucked. He literally spiked a drink. That's beyond messed up. And we haven't even gotten a continental breakfast yet. I wanted to see if you were the real thing. It was all just a test. You passed. But the goal is still distant. Think about it for a moment. Edo never came, did he? Just as I said, he is the one pulling the strings here. Everything is proceeding according to his desires. Truth is not a fragment, not a single piece. If we should meet again, I'll tell you more. Until it happens, I'll be watching you. I'll always watching you. E even now. J jump scare? What? What? That's gotta be one of the most messed up chapters we've encountered so far. That was a mess. What? The plane, the terrorism still even happened. I'm Stephen Carbone. Yeah, and you're a dick. I've locked myself away in this hotel to write my paper. My speciality is system engineering. Ugh. This is like a pink alligator. Hope the gator eats him. <laughs> What's it called? Chris? That's right, the, the, the gator's called Chris. Oh, hello. Hello, <laughs> Steve. <laughs> Can he not be a Can he not? Can he not for like one second? Steven! Steven! <laughs> Have you seen Chris? Chris. The legendary former right wing? What is he talking about? Steven! Steven! <laughs> Trap Bay! Hello, beautiful Maven Maiden. Thank you so much for 10 months of support, Chambe. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so kindly. Thank you. Thank you. What is Steve? Chambe, could you tell me what Steven is talking about? <laughs> you know what, Chris, that you're a tender age. Don't say tender age, Steven, please. You literally just, you just day drugged woman. Please don't say words like that. It's, it's so gross. You're so gross, man. Huh? It was the qualifying round, 1972. 1972, how old is this dude? The week Mondo Island had a chance to get into the International Cup. Huh? The attack developed from the left long ball to the other side. From the perfect trap, Chris cut down the center. Oh, he's talking about soccer again. Oh god, he's talking about soccer again! <laughs> this dude! <laughs> Miss this! Hi, what good are you doing? Oh, those skills. Divine feet. Stop! Steven! Steven! Don't call it divine feet. He's talking. Bros, he's talking about feet again. He's talking about feet again. He's calling her supple. I don't know what's going on. Slice and pass for defenders. Right between the legs of the keeper. He just says things in this way. 
Excuse me? 58 meter solo run. So tell me, what has Chris been doing? Uh, never mind. I liked Stephen Col- I mean, I thought Stephen was weird at first, but I kind of liked his character. The more we talk to him, the more I'm like, I don't know how if I like this character. <laughs> Welcome back, Miss Company seems to have all the qualities of a great stalker. <laughs> Did you know that it's been three months since he arrived here? <laughs> is he really writing his thesis? His desk is always covered with complex looking diagrams and lots and lots of words. I would not even guess at how to pronounce. So I presume his job must be quite hard. I shall be waiting with a smile at the front desk. What do you mean he has seems to have all the qualities of a great stalker? Are you implying it's a great thing? Edo! What the hell? I'd never leave an, an open drink near him. Yeah, it's true. True. Yeah, he drugs women and worse yet, he annoys Sumio. Yeah, that's the biggest crime. Let our boy go do his job. Like, this, ga this game is a series of inconveniences one after the other. Like, if you were an impatient person, this is not the game for you. This is Inconvenience Simulator. Can we just have breakfast? Good morning, Mr. Mondo. Uh, I'm still groggy. Your breakfast is ready. Just breakfast. Yeah, I know. We'll be waiting for you. I also don't trust Ido at this point. I've long stopped trusting Ido. I'll be very honest. <gasps> oh, oh, ouch! That was a really hard fall that, that this day. I've long stopped like trusting Ido. He is definitely, definitely part of this somehow. Stalking's hard word, Jet. Is it? I think you can only say that if you're a PI. If you, I think if you say that stalking's hard work and you're not a PI jetpack, that's problematic. I think that's not good. <laughs> Steven Bicarboni. What a cunt. Just what is he playing at? Darian, hi, welcome, how you doing? I'm even more confused than before. What does he hope to accomplish? What does he want from me? Well, anyway. Pass the time. I'm finally starting to get really sick of this coffee. That's not that's not good. He's been here too long. He's getting sick of the coffee. Will we today finally have breakfast? Well, I'm gonna check the notes here. We didn't even look at them last time. But I'll, I'll grab them for um for a good uh I guess in case we need them. Let's get the lost and found list. And also the lost and found list music's great. Okay. We'll save these. Bum, ba, na, di, da, bi, di, ba, do, ba, di, da, ba. We got Miss Akai's makeup, a yakata, and black suit. Okay. Mm -mm. Welcome in, everybody. All of the jetpacks of PIs don't uh, worry about this. No, you're, you're saying that makes me worry more, Solis. I hope you know that. You're saying that makes me worry definitely a lot more. Gosh, this game's too comfy for the Monday after daylight savings. I am like gonna have a snooze. There's like he can't you can't be playing Jamia Pierce Suda. I'm gonna be It's too comfy, man. It's too good. Okay, let's get breakfast. I'm professionals, don't worry. Mm, making me worry. Finally, finally, finally. Comfy, my brain was overloading a chapter ago. It's kind of it's the one thing about these games is there's so much intensity happening that at some point it begins to just kind of no no Are we time looping oh he'll let us pass thank god oh thank god now that's pure concentration i'm not gonna get in his way I don't want to get kicked again. Okay, well at least we're not like getting the path blocked off by him. I was very worried they're gonna be like, hey, guess what? The path blocked again. We can hopefully, hopefully get breakfast today. Hey. Mr. Mondo, good morning. Morning. 
Have a nice day, Mr. Monday. Well, that was a nice, pleasant encounter. I'm okay with that. We have been looping. Yeah, but kind of like a more extreme kind of looping. That would have been horrifying. They definitely want you to think he was blocking the way again. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm glad that they didn't do that, though. Let us go talk to Edo, which we do not trust. Not at all. Then let's leave and hope today, finally, we either do one of two things. Get breakfast or stop terrorism. We're going to get it done today. Today is the day. I can sense it. I can feel it. You know, what he got for us? Okay, let's, yeah, you know, yeah. do Mondo. I'm thinking breakfast. I'm thinking egg scramble. Maybe a rash of bacon toast. Style with though. Fresh butter. I think I'm finally going to make it to the airport this time, I believe. Very good. I doubt it'll be easy, but still. Okay, Don't back down yeah. now. I'm not backing down. We're doing it. I'm sure something else will just get in my way. You must not forget your real reason for being here. How do you protect the island from a terrorist? Oh, yeah. Mr. Mondo, please get a grip on yourself. I got it, I got it. Okay, I'll get going. Wait, why is Mr. Mondo, like, not... I can see you back here soon. Why is he losing his grip? No, Mondo, don't lose your grip on reality, man. We, you're the last person. You're the last bastion of sanity that we have here. And I'm not fully sure that you're sane. Okay, let's go. Today, today we touch grass. Oh, <gasps> the path's not being blocked. We can do. We're doing it, jetpack. We're doing it. 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 Cross the bridge. Cross the bridge. No, no. Do we just get hit in the balls? Let us go. We have terrorism. We don't care. We don't care. We don't care. We got more important things to do. Mondo, Mondo, Mondo. We don't care. You don't don't beat up the child. Mondo, you do not need to punch the child. Just go. Terrorism. D I am the prize, man. Fuck. We're gonna have to go fight a child, aren't we? We're gonna have to go punch a child. Hey kid, watch where you're kicking that thing. You got a big head. Black shoot wearing dog. Stop playing around! I'm in a hurry! Whoa! You got big hands too! And you need to learn some manners! You just don't come out and say things like that! These things are just... Well, a unique stylized ray representing humanists! Please. You got a big head too, kid. Married Tommy Mom. Thank you so much for following for our say. <gasps> Tell me about married uh, uh okay, this is this is this is related to something jetpack. So the other day, um I, I get notifications for all the comments on the VOD channels and I love reading them. Love the VOD channel comments so so much. Turns out Jetpack put me on the TV while the wife and kids were <laughs> <laughs> we're doing, we're like, we're like uh, hanging out in the lounge room, and apparently I'm a, I'm a shoot with the whole family. I'm a family channel jetpack. I'm, <laughs> apparently, <laughs> and this surprised me because I did not see myself being family content. But apparently, uh, one of the jetpacks <laughs> put me on the TV for their family, for their wife and their kids, and everybody liked the jet stream and. <laughs> And that absolutely blew my mind. It made me very, very happy. I, I think I was like, what the hell? I, I, family friendly content. I'm a delight for people of all ages. This is a great revelation. <laughs> you got a good energy, it was funny. Go ahead, really? Dude, that makes me so happy. I was really, I was like stoked to hear that. I was like, what the hell, man? I was fully assuming that uh, <laughs> I would be, wouldn't be the case. Okay, you got a big head too, kid. I don't care what you adults think. Can't stop me with logic like that. Look, just cut it out, man. 
Oh, cut out nothing! Why do you help all these people so easily? There's a reason for that. And how does that bizarre machine solve mysteries? Oh god, this kid is like breaking the fourth wall so aggressively right now. Now look here, Squirt! <laughs> Yeah, in fact, have any of you guys ever been called Squirt? I don't think I've ever been referred to as like, Hey, you there, Squirt! Like, that's a, such a phrase that's only used in, like, movies. It's a mortal insult? Wait, have you guys been called Squirt? It's, it feels like it's only used in movies. It's not people that use that phrase in real life. Punk? Yes. Squirt? No. Yeah, see, Punk I could see. Squirt I couldn't see people using. That is... Purely a creation of Hollywood. No one says that. Our polygon f faces look totally different from our 2D art. Okay, we have encountered third wall child. Repeat, we we third wall breaking child has entered the the, the the building. Choose your fighter, third wall breaking child. You can't say that. Oh, I got more! Okay, he's swinging. He's absolutely swinging. A terrorist on this island? Oh, wait, it's fourth wall. I'm sorry, I'm tired. And also bad at numbers. It's totally great, jetpack. He's, he's gone so crazy, he's breaking down the fifth wall. <laughs> Somebody stopped him. Like, people are gonna believe that. Stop it! The music is all rips of famous song. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. It is, it, 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 but the music's so good. It's so good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Where is my beautiful house? Where is my beautiful wife? Where does that highway go to? We're having a, we're having a, a talking heads moment. We're on a road to nowhere. Come on inside. That's it. Don't say anything else. There are some things that you just can't say. That means nothing to a kid. I can see through everything. He's trying to destroy the game, pick it apart. <laughs> I can't allow that kill this child. <laughs> Sumia Mondo is like, you're, you're breaking the fourth wall too much and just fucking like, hunts <laughs> the child. <laughs> Just you try and stop me, Shikyu. <laughs> Sumia cocks a gun. <laughs> yeah, I'll try and stop you, buddy. Oh my god. You wearing a black suit on a holiday resort troop. Honestly, Su Sumia should be maybe in like a Hawaiian t-shirt. Can we get this man a Hawaiian t-shirt and some khaki shorts? He's completely out of uniform. Which is it then? A wedding or a funeral? That's it. No, you cross the line, Tricky. Yeah, honestly, beforehand when he was insulting the game's design, that was fine. But he's completely insulting the drip. He's gone too far. He's gone too far. Unacceptable. This is unacceptable, kid. Moron. Kill him. Get him. Get him, Sumio. Kill the child. <laughs> Lex Baker, welcome in Raiders. How you going? How you doing, Raiders? Do we have any mods in chat? Mod check, mod check. Now I'll chat you out, bro. How you doing? Hope you had an awesome stream. Welcome in. Welcome in. Hope it was a good one. He was. Hope you had a great one. If you got to head off, of course, please take care of yourself. No pressure to hang around. I'll take it easy. Get food. Get snacks. Nice to meet you guys. My name is Jets. We're just playing a, a Flower Sun Rain today. It's a little bit crazy. You might not understand what's going on, but that's okay. Sonic Crow. Hi. Welcome in, bro. How are you doing this morning? We're going to go kill a child. Um, It's, it's totally fine. Adol. Did you see that freaking little punk? I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna murder him. There's some kind of force that's forcing you to not leave this dang hotel. Yeah, and that this time it's in the embodiment of a small child that we're gonna murder. Uh, yes. You could get me maybe a... Ooh. You could get me a maybe... Uh, I'm thinking a revolver. Five billets should do the job. Can I get that stat? Also, Bloody Mary and a Hawaiian t-shirt. I gotta, I gotta teach this punk a lesson. Elder, you see that stinking brat around here? Stinking? 
kid with an annoying little mouth. An annoying little kid with a bad mouth. Forget terrorists. <laughs> Leave this kid and check that who knows what he'll say. The enigmatic veil of secrecy will be torn into pieces. That does sound quite terrible. Mystery is a selling point of this game if this kid keeps it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the kid's gonna tell the twist from, from the end of the game. I have to kill him All that will be left will be a bunch of disjointed inside jokes This game business is tough, isn't it? I'm glad someone understands Edo Well back to the matter at hand you Must be referring to um, Mr. Kai's boy. I believe uh, Mr. Shonet Oh, uh, young Mr. Shaltaro, I believe. That's an anti antiquated name. Who calls that kid Shaltaro nowadays? Anyway, did you see him? I thought he came in ahead of me. I'm very sorry, Mr. Mondo, but I have not been. I've not seen him today. I see. Uh, Sue is on the second floor. Maybe she has seen him. Alaska, thanks. Airport is still a long way off, isn't it? Apparently so. Time for us to go get the child. I love that I come in and almost immediately. <laughs> We're gonna kill, kill a child. Trust me, it makes sense. Just you watch. Once you see this kid, you're gonna also want to kill him. This freaking child. I wish the kid had been the one to make fun of your catchphrase like the other guy did. I bet the kid's gonna find a way to make fun of our catchphrase. Absolutely. These kids are real terrorist. Bloody memory. I got gold rum with mango coconut. Damn fancy. Okay, have you seen the stinking brat? Oh, Mr. Mondo. Sue, did you see a snotty little brat come through here? A snotty brat? Yeah, a midget punk could shout the row. Oh, Mr. Kai's boy. No, I haven't seen him. He's done something wrong. He's just the devil himself. Honestly? A taboo breaking instrument of Satan. Honestly? <laughs> Expansion, welcome in. I'm not I'm not very good with kids. I kind of I might be um I might be on, on Sumio Mondo's uh, side here. I'm really not good with kids. And I I I, I Jetpack, I, I despise I, I've I talked about how much I despise kids in like social situations. Have I talked about how much I just I feel like if you if you have a child you sh you just like I don't know you might have I think maybe you've given up I think you you've given up your ability to be in quiet environments I that there I said it if you've had a child you've given up privileges to be in quiet spaces you just it's it, it depends on the child but like if you if you've got a loud kid Please, please, I'm on all fours, I'm begging, like, you should know. If your child's notoriously loud, do not bring it to a theater. Do not bring them to a gallery. Do not bring them to a library. Like, it's, it's, you should, you should know, you need to know. You need to know. Because I don't like kids on the best of days. Some children are very, very quiet. That's true. Honestly, it does depend on the child. But if you have a loud kid and you know, or like you, you okay. Sometimes kids are more loud than than other times. Let's say your kid's teething. Do not like bring a teething baby into a movie theater. Theater. You should know that as an adult. Like you should know that. Please. I'm already so bad with kids being around, but you're just going to make me incredibly jaded and bitter. I don't want to be jaded and bitter. I don't want to be. But it's definitely contributing to that. Maybe it just is something against me then. Jets, you have to just start crying harder than the kids. Oh no, it's gonna cry. I would die from embarrassment. I'm pretty awkward out in social situations. Like, that's the thing. I'm not very good in social situations, and I'm not really good with things being loud, and I'm not really good with things being intense. And so, like, if I go to an environment to be at peace, and comfortable and quiet and like enjoy the tranquility of maybe touching grass for the like for like the my very limited time I touch grass during the year and I want to be in a quiet environment and then I hear I'm thinking murderous thoughts I'm so sorry like I'm, I'm not proud of it 
I'm not proud of it. But I am thinking of various ways to commit crime. Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I would do it, but I'm thinking it. Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say anything terrible, but it's, I'm considering it. The thought crosses my mind. I'm just like, it makes me, I'm, it's so tense. It's so tense. Uh, uh, have you ever wanted to trip a child? No, I wouldn't want to do that. Like, I wouldn't want to actually hurt a kid. Like, I would, I don't find joy in the, the thing, that's the thing. I don't find joy in kids being upset. It makes me anxious because it's like, like I've been in social situations where there's children who are quiet and happy. I'm like, oh, that's great. But like when a kid's screaming and upset and like it, it doesn't want to be there, I just feel really, really bad for the kid. I just feel really bad for them. I'm like, the kid doesn't want to be here. It doesn't, It it's like, I, ugh. it hits one of the lower parts of your brain. It's like those instinctive, yeah, it's the instinctive sounds of like, ah, oh, that kid's so upset. Like that makes me so upset, you know? It just emphasizes with the kid being, no, I'm not <laughs> emphasizing with the kid. I just feel like, you, like, I don't, I don't get it. I just feel like there's so many places you could take a child, right? Where the child's going to be happy. I just don't think that like polite, quiet environments like galleries and, and, and like, and like museums and, and, and like, and libraries are the places where kids Reload, necessarily always want to be. Uh, social anxiety, just don't think around how everyone is around you is looking at you and thinking about how you're making a scene in public and how and, and now we'll only remember you in that context. And there's no way to change their impressions. What a crew, you son of a bitch, you actual bastard. <laughs> That's like the old adage of kids to be seen, not heard. That's not... That's not true. Like if I went to a, if I went to like a park and like, 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 like if I was if I was walking past a, a park and it had like a playground on it and kids and if I'm walking past and kids are being loud and having fun and that's gonna make me happy I'm like oh great look at them being creative and having imagination and having a fun time that's so great good for them that's where the, the kids thrive but then like I'll see a kid like a parent who's clearly wanted to go to like a um, a, like an emotional movie or go to a moving museum you know exhibition and they decide to bring their like teething toddler there and i'm like bro bro i do, do and anything anything like like you, uh, uh, grandma mom aunt cousin friend babysitter the baby there's there's other places the kids are gonna be happier than here Take your baby to the cinema with THF. <laughs> X, make them deaf. No, no. Morning, Marco, how you doing? Marco Jets has been talking about babies for 20 minutes. Have I really? Oh God. Not, I'm, and unfortunately like not good things. <laughs> I've I've been trying to rationalize my urge to, to, to destroy it, to just, to just, uh, to just, internally scream when a child is upset um baby food i think it's the opposite of that i want to no i'm not justifying wanting to kick babies i might be justifying wanting to kick babies right now he's just a child mr mondo don't take him too seriously i'm not a baby kicker i'm not i'm not i okay i have been told i'm not like the worst person around kids but for like two minutes i got like maybe five minutes ten minutes tops and i'm exhausted like i've i've had i've had like synapse relatives who have like you know nieces and like ne not nieces and nephews, but like i've had like aunts and extended families and stuff who've had like have child and i've like held child i've been like wow that's a small human and like looked at it and went oh, ah, bah, 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 ah, ha, ha. and then I'm like can you take it off me can you take it off me please 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 take it off me like <laughs> you know what I mean like uh, like am I not really one who's like this destroy the child uh you should install Cleo baby kicker I say that's what true doesn't Cleo love the idea of having kids I get it yeah Whoa, it's it's just a lot. 
Like when you see a like a small creature, like a small human in person, you're like, whoa, that's so much. That's like a little thing. That's a little dude. Like I don't know. I just look at this small thing and I'm like, whoa, that's gonna be a big dude one day. Holy shit! It's gonna have music tastes and shit. What the fuck? It's gonna like maybe it's gonna listen to like Skrillex. Cause I don't know. Well, like gardening. I don't know, man. I just look at it. I'm like, what the hell? It's just a lot to take in. It's a fucking little guy. Anyway, let's continue the game. <laughs> it's like everything's miniaturized. It's freaky. <laughs> Why would you call the baby a creature? No, I never called it a creature. I didn't call it a creature. Shut up. It's a human, small human adult. No, small uh, form of the real Gene Famous. I'm wondering. <laughs> <laughs> when the sus imposter will be locked up. <laughs> it will be a long time before Skrillex is interesting to humans again. Maybe there'll be like a Skrillex revival by the time that baby's an adult. I don't know, man. Um, I had a friend who brought his kid to my place. That kid was awesome. I taught him things. And though he was awesome, until he pushed the cone of my speakers in. <sighs> Bro. Bro. I'm too young at heart to appreciate babies. I don't think so. I don't think so. Wait, Skrillex had two new albums last year and sold out venues? Good for him. Good for him. They're gonna be, I don't think they're going to be watching Skibbity Toilet. I think that'll be long gone by the time that a, a baby at uh, this time will be grown up. I'm Arknights in the background, so I'm hearing ultra dramatic music. <laughs> well, just rambles about children. I I just, I don't know. I had to either replace the cone and the sp spider, the speaker. Okay, I, for a period, so I, I moved around a lot growing up and lived at lots of different places. For a period, I was housed at a house where a bunch of other extended synapse relatives were staying, including a silence rem relative with a like young baby and she would force she wouldn't force me but she would like ask me to take care of baby it wasn't like baby they were like what's that one where like they, they're going to like kindergarten and stuff like they can read books like you can read books to them and they know what you're, what you're talking about but they're still a bit too incompetent to know anything more than that like a toddler a bit older than a toddler yeah and she would be like oh jets could you take care of the toddler and i'd be like yes but i i could do it I, I could do it but honestly it would be for like max it would be for like max maybe like an hour and then I'm like I'm, I'm I was done I was done I was done I couldn't I couldn't it was just too much here we go but Mr. Cat Crusher was on the floor above this one okay I'll check with him next year we're gonna talk to Mr. Crusher sweet let's go talk to Mr. Crusher I'm gonna stop talking about my <laughs> my, my <laughs> like I can be I can probably be like an aunt that's about it You think Skibby Toilet will be gone, but you still remember Nyan Cat all these years later? Do you think Skibby Toilet will have staying power? I don't think so. Like, that boy is forgotten. I feel like Skibby Toilet's gonna have as much staying power as that boy. And, um. I just. I. Maybe. Like, I guess if there's merchandise made about it, that's when it becomes more of a long staying meme I feel like if, if it, yeah if it gets merchandised then it then it kind of stays in the public zeitgeist for longer than like a throwaway meme uh, okay Mr. Crusher just wait for the stupid no not this give any Netflix series bros what's up Mr. Mondo how's the training going not bad, not bad at all. Just a little more and I'll be in great shape. Did you want something? Hell, did you see a snivering little wretch come through here? No sniveling wretches, I'm afraid, but I did see a cute kid. <laughs> cute. What kind of kid? Uh, it's a busy teeny little kid wearing uh, Bermuda shorts. I knew it. That's the creature I'm after. <laughs> I don't even say itsy bitsy teeny weeny about this kid. It's an itsy, he's an itsy bitsy teeny wiener. <laughs> Mondo, watch it. <gasps> he's not literally 
see me. He's me and Jason, okay? He's me and Jason, there's a difference. I'm sorry. You just had to say it, didn't you? You set me up, Al. You brought it on yourself, don't even try to lay the blame on me. So where'd the kid go? He do something to you? Oh yeah, that kid's trying to destroy my very being. He's the king of destruction. What? The king? Is that true? All too true. He'll annihilate everything. Sounds like a good kid. <laughs> I'll let him have the title of King of Destruction. King of Destruction is a pretty damn cool title. King of Destruction is a pretty cool title. Be too heavy of a burden for me. Now nah, you're ranting. Manda, children are naive. Innocent. Child. Isn't a child without innocent? Yes. You need to be a little more accepting, my friend. Enough, El. So again, where'd this kid go? He said he wanted to meet my master. Uh, you have to ask him. Oh, it's Pirate. Thanks, sorry for interrupting you. No problem, anytime. Okay, crap, so I think we're trying to find Pirate, right? I'm sorry I'm yawning so much. Daylight savings has absolutely screwed me. I feel like so out of it today. We'll see how much of a the game will cruise through today. Maybe we'll do a little short comfy one. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe we'll get crazy. We just won't be able to stop. Shouldn't you have got an extra hour of sleep? Nope. I freaking, I freaking been waking up really early. My like entire body's been like thrown for a loop. Uh, don't save daylight. Kill it. This message is brought to you by vampires. Five hundred steps. X search system has been maxed up. Oh, cool! Got five hundred steps. That's kind of cool. I forgot about the step counter in this game. Okay, can we go into any of these rooms here? Room level four. I forgot what room level L crashes on actually. But let's try and remember. You can press the X button every now and then uh, to ping the area for interactable objects. Gotcha. Gotcha, noted, noted. I do like just kind of like running into the wall and seeing what uh, activates. That's done a pretty good job for me thus far. I think that's my room. My room is 407. We'll double check though. Smashing my face against the wall like I'm goddamn doom, doom guy. Mm, mm, mm. Has worked pretty, pretty, pretty decently. Pretty decently. Honestly, I'm surprised Suda didn't add that as a mechanic. That if you run against the wall, it makes Sumio go. This is not something he would definitely do. Okay. I think there was also like a restaurant on one of these levels here. I cheese the game to max out the step counter over several days when I play. Wait, the game gets is cheesed if you have more steps? No way. What? Wait, there's like a, there's like a meta to the game where if you step more, you can the game's easier. You need to explain that more to me. I'm confused. What? How does that work? Okay, let's try checking these rooms. Not that one, not that one, not that one. No, they cheese the game to max it out. Yeah. But like, does it make the game easier? I'm more confused, like, how does that make the game cheesier? How does having more steps make the game cheesed? There, I think this, I think this one was one where, this room was the one. Oh, some unlockables from Lost and Found can be also unlocked by taking lots of steps. Oh, interesting. So there is like a benefit to it. It's not just like a cool little side screen element. Pirate, are you in here anywhere, buddy? Mr. Pirate. Got 
out here, sir? Hmm. What's this tape here? It's the magazine, right? <gasps> Wait, we're getting the DS feeling? We've got the DS feeling so long. The mysteries concealed within this container. Then hurling into the mysteries, mysteries call out more mysteries. What mysteries out the mystery that precedes them is mystery. Hurling towards the idea of solving all mysteries. Open up, Cassie. Take care of this lost item. Okay, this is a lost item mystery. Let's pull up the images. We have makeup. You cut and black suit. Let's jack on in. Number two, which would be Jukata. Let's turn upside down. What does it say, boys? Ass Island? Wait, what? Oh, Pass Island. I'm sorry. Um, question mark, question mark, question mark. Pass Island. Enter the missing letters and send it off. Low Pass L. O S. That would be I O and S would be five. Loss pass. Final answer. Yes. No. I oh my background's breaking. I just thought that certainly would be the answer. Unless it's... Is it going to be backwards because it's upside down? Is it going to be... Oh no, is it going to be upside down? Oh, it might be... Well then what way is it? If it's upside down then it would be... Two? Oh... Seven? No? Mm, I thought I had this. What is it? What could it be? Cause it can't be like 702, could it be? Seven. Oh, that wouldn't be the right way. <sighs> the trick here is it one or is it seven? Write it out. Because is it up, upside down? Because the answer is upside down, so I'm trying to work out if it's upside down, how would it be? So if it's upside down, L O S, that would be 501. getting it wrong. Wouldn't that be the answer? Though what's confusing me is it being upside down. Do you guys get what I'm trying to do here? Do you guys get what I'm trying to do here? It's confusing me is because it's meant to be upside down. I'm trying to work out if I put in the correct answer. L-O-S 
Wouldn't a capital L look like a seven? That's what I'm thinking. So if it's L O S, then it would be two o seven. I think I did two o seven already. I I think I did two o seven already. Five oh seven. Five oh seven. <gasps> okay, so we were on the right path. Okay, okay, we did it. Whoa, okay, that was tricky. That was fun one though. That was a tricky, fun one. We're currently looking for Mr. Pirate. He's not in his room. Can we call his phone line? No? Hmm. Where's Mr. Pirate? Maybe Mr. Pirate's in the bar? We haven't checked the bar yet. Not in the bathroom? No? Okay. Ooh, ooh, we're flipping between walls here. Flippy flopping. Flippity flopping. Let's see. Was the bar over this way? I'm trying to remember the, where the bar is. The bar was on one of these levels. Maybe it was level two? I think it was level two. Let's see if we can go check out the bar. I can see Mr. Pirate having a little uh, sips of rum at the bar. I could see it. I could see it. Do, do, do. The music's changed again. We no longer got jammy up here, it's a lot more upbeat. Okay, let's check out the bar. No, we can't go in this room? Damn. Mm, wait, no, is it this room? Yeah, 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 this one. No, we can't go in the bar, damn it. Hi, the Beyond, thank you for following, bro, but you're stay here. Welcome in. Happy Monday, or maybe it's a... Uh, Sunday for you? Gosh, day. Sunday. What a way to wrap up the weekend, being absolutely bemused by Suda's absurdism. If we can work out where we're meant to go here. Maybe we would have to talk to the lady again? Nothing on this level for us to interact with. We couldn't go into the bar. We're just looking for Mr. Pirate. It's about to be Tuesday? No, it's not. Where in the world are you? Sorry, that was a bit loud. Where in the world are you? You're in New Zealand? How are you? How far ahead of you from me? Um, um, Mr. Monday. You really don't know where the hell sport has gone to? Sorry, I've told you everything I know. I understand. East Coast. I'm sorry, I couldn't be more help. Don't worry about it. Thank you. Okay, let's go check downstairs. Maybe Ado knows something he hasn't told us. East Coast. It's not Monday for the East Coast, is it? Maybe it is. I'm so bad with time zones. I believe you. You could lie to me right now, Jetpack. You guys would be like, actually, uh, it's a it's a Wednesday right now. I'd be like, wait, it's Wednesday right now? No way. You could you could totally totally gaslight me to believe it any time. My brain's been fuzzled, fuzzled. It's Friday. What? It's already Friday. Rebecca Black Friday. Okay, let's talk about let's talk to this bastard. Oh gosh. Still Sunday in America. You're in the future. Classic. Classic Australia. A weirdly fuzzled jet's brain. Yeah, this game fuzz fuzzles you. Yeah. Anything to do for you, Mr. Mondo? Where's the freaking child? Nope, nothing. Damn it. But, excuse me then. Hmm. Where's the child? We were up on the roof, we went all the way down the layers. The child's not here. Let's just leave. Let's just leave. The child's not here, let's just get out of here. <laughs> He's back! What do you do about it, suit face? I'm gonna expose more! 
No! Catch me if you can. Hold it, you brat! What the fuck? Is this whole chapter gonna be us just chasing after the child? Edo, have you seen the freaking child? It is, isn't it? How are we gonna stop the child? How do we attract a child, Jetpack? Don't take that out of context. I mean like how, cage? I don't know, how do, we, how do we trap a child? How do we stop it? What do we do? Candy, what works? A van, a van, a van. We need, we need, we need, we need, we need, we need, how do we trap him? What do we do? Destroy the child. How do we, games on your phone. Oh, that's a good idea. Games on my phone. Roblox. We need Skibbity Toilet. We need Robux. We need Fortnite $12 gift card. Well, iPad. We need iPad. Eldo, do you have iPad? Because I'm be hanging around here. Pirate isn't far from when Crash took you. Oh gosh, okay. Gotta find Pirate. We're gonna get Fortnite V-Bucks stat. We need, that's the thing, like, giving candy to kids, it's not gonna work. We need Fortnite cards. We, we have to evolve. We have to become more powerful. Throw an iPad at them, they have weak legs. I'm not condoning throwing iPod, iPads at children. Okay. We're going to... <laughs> no! <laughs> Do not take this out of context, you bastards. This is the point of the game right now. Sumio literally needs to stop this child from telling secrets. We have to... We have to... <laughs> no, I don't know how to word this any better. I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna shut up. Speaking of time zones, I'm going to get bed. I'm gonna just tie, shut up before Chris Hansen asked me to take a seat. We're gonna, this is the opposite of late. Yeah, instead of working with freaking Luke. I, okay, let's, where is Pirate? He's been here the whole time. There is no way to word it. Yeah, there's literally no way to word this, so it sounds normal. How are the high seas treating you? Oh, that's me speaking. How are the high seas treating you? Yar, har, har. Are you be trying to copy me, yar, ye? High times on the high seas, me laddie. So ye ready to train to sweat it out? No, 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 not right now. If not right now, when, eh? Yar, har, har. Methinks. Some deeper needs bring ye here to see me. Yeah, have you seen a child? I need to give them Fortnite V-Bucks. <laughs> but to find out exactly what you be wanting. To get a clear answer, there's only one thing I need to say. What do ye want? There's this annoying little fucking brat. I wanted to ask if you've seen him. Out here in the seas. So, uh, any word from the crow's nest? Yar, har, har. If I said I ain't, then that would make me a liar. Then get to the point, please. Really? Please, Mr. Pirate, tell me. He had a kind of gleam in his eye, that lad. Asked me for an autograph, he did. A rare sight for a boy of today. I hope he's raised big and strong. To a bold, dynamic, hearty voice. Buccaneer! <laughs> this is such an EBDB type game. You know what, Aardvark? I don't get what you mean by that. But I also completely get what you mean by that. I was going to ask, is this Suda51? Yes, this is Suda51. And God, none of us have any idea what's going on. <laughs> Such a man as weak to the allure of a woman at the best of times. Wait, what do you mean? The little... What do you mean? What do you mean by this? But at such a young age... At sea, a short on the pheromones. 
is especially high, son. The young knows. What do you mean by this? The kid is with the bikini woman? A man must live straight and true, Milado. He's reaffirmed that affirming yourself is vital. <laughs> Thank you. Sometimes I forget if it, if it uh, exists or not. It's a good confirmation. Punk art, but yes. Yeah, this game is... This game does kind of uh, evoke that kind of... Was that game real or a fever dream? Did I actually play that game? Did I actually play that game? Kind of sensation. Where can I find her? Back to her room. Be changing her garments, I believe. Are we going to be doing Peepston? I don't want to be doing Peepston, okay? In the last freaking episode, there was day drugs, and now there was a kid, and it's all been... This whole episode's been weird. And the youth didn't make after her most readily. Hey, Killer 7, yeah, Killer 7 was so good. Killer 7 was so good. Ah, uh, Tomotra sees all youth, but I could sail those waters again. Uh, thank you, Mr. Pirate. Yada heard her. Okay, so we now have to go to the lady's room and where she's changing to take a peepsters. Alright. Whatever you say, Suda51. Whatever you say. We're gonna kill the child and to peeps at the lady. What level is the lady's room on, actually? I don't know. I don't remember. Last time we saw her sleeping, she was in Stephen Carboni's room, but I don't believe she's in Stephen Carboni's room like, room permanently, is she? Yeah, no, no, our, our, our motives are pure. We're doing this so we can beat up the child. It makes complete sense. She's not going to be in our room, is she? Because ours is 402. No, she won't be in our room. That makes no sense. Madam, you sleeping nude in our room? Of course not. No ladies in our room, jetpack. <laughs> okay, let's keep on going downstairs. I don't remember what level her room was on. I guess we should like, keep knocking on every door until we find out which one it is. Just go around to every... Uh, yeah, dude, this is weird. Imagine going around to every hotel room and being like, do not knock, knock. have you seen a child? Have you seen this child? Why do you need to see this child? I'm going to kill him. You, they're going to call the authorities. They're going to call the authorities. I need to give him Fortnite V-Bucks. Have you seen this child? I'm getting... I'm getting taken to the to the police station. I'm not getting out of this fine. It's not happening. I'm not getting out of this scot-free. What does scot-free mean? Why is scot-free? What does it mean to get out of something scot-free? Is it scotch-free or is it scot-free? What does it mean? Free of Scots. How is Scot free? Yeah, yeah, how is Scot free? Like free is in Scottish as in freedom! Is in like, they will not take our freedom. Like that kind of free? Like what does that mean? Is it like free Scotland? The Scottish were free of English rule. Well, I guess so. Well, now we're just in a random person's room. The kid is not here, and neither is the naked lady. Oh, we're back in Doctor. We're in the pirates' room. Uh, Jets, you're English. You shouldn't like Free Scotland. What do you mean? I'm Australian. Fuck the Queen. I mean, what? <laughs> I can see it. I mean, um, wait, Jets is British, bro. I'm very not British. I'm mean, even my family isn't British. She's dead, Jets. <laughs> That makes it better, right? For me to say that, not worse. Um, she's Aussie, AKA British light. I'm not even British in any capacity. So I'm an old Norse party from a French colony. Which former colony hates England the most? I don't think Australia's, I don't think we would win by hating the most. Um, 
I think I don't know actually I I've, I've no idea probably not Australia I wouldn't I wouldn't put us as like the top maybe India maybe I don't know I don't know much actually I wouldn't I wouldn't find myself smart enough to make the a, a witty observation you're asking the wrong person here clear is the one who'd be like ha 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 it's clearly in this place and then um and then everyone laughed because her her, her British uh, Deprecation was so witty, but I, I don't know honestly. Oh, lady! That sure is an outfit. That sure is an outfit. Feeling bold today, are we? Like the gloves with the thigh highs is a lot. You know what it means to visit a woman in her room? Well, it most definitely depends on the context. Lara Croft looking outfit. You're just saying that because of polygon titties. That's all you- that's <laughs> You can't hide them. Just hand them over. Oh. Whatever are you talking about? A mischief machine. He's in there, right? M mischief machine? Sounds interesting. Don't play dumb. The kid. You need to find him before he ruins everything! I really don't have a clue what you mean. I hope this chapter ends with us kicking the child into the plane and therefore us ourselves causing the domestic terrorism. But if you insist, please come on in. A, a lady in inviting us into her bedroom? Jetpack, hum and hum and hum and hum and hum and hum and hum. Yes, please, let us search. Go on. Hinged <laughs> out of context, Jets of course. It makes total sense in the context of the game, I promise. Stay cool. Oh my god, she's hitting us with my eyes. Bros. She's given us those eyes. And he's not here. I bet he's in the closet. I bet he's peeps in the closet, like it's a goddamn pulp song. Why'd that little punk run off to? It's so sweet getting up worked up over a child. You don't know what he's capable of. He's a devil, a demon. The flesh incarnation of evil itself. <laughs> We're going a little far, maybe. He is? Well, if you say so. He's a falsehood, a pretender! Oh, forget it. Sorry for disturbing you. Thanks. First, you come into her room, and now you're just going to leave? Whoa, the rendering on her face right now is so intense. <laughs> She's got a little bit of, like, the filler. She's got a little bit of the Botox. It's a bit, it's a bit much. <laughs> it's a bit much. Stop toying with me! Oh, oh, wait, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. 822, welcome and thank you for following. This dialogue is a bit much, um... That's right. I'll see you around, handsome. Yeah. See you. Oh, that boy. I think he likes you, you know. That's one way kids display affection playing games. It is. So. He's waiting for you. I think you can work out the rest yourself. Waiting for me. Where it is that you'll definitely go sooner or later. Uh, 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 what, uh, lady, uh, it was so nice t t to talk, but I best be going. I best be going. I, I best be leaving. <clears throat> Uh, not a shot. Thank you so much for following. I hope you enjoy your stay here. I like the motto is much more to store about this, <laughs> this than the lady getting poisoned in the last chapter. True. I'm thinking she means the, the entranceway, right? 
I'm gonna go down to the entranceway, and if it's not in the entranceway, then breakfast. If it's not breakfast, then a uh, bedroom? Pervert. What? What did I do? I just, I, what, what? She, she came on to me. I've done, I'm, I'm innocent. I've done nothing. I am, I am, I am a Millicent bystander. I didn't, I did nothing. I'm, I, I, hey, uh, I think this is, I think this is, I think this is an unfair observation on my behalf. I wish a girl would call me handsome. You're handsome, I'm not a girl. You're handsome, I am a girl. Tomboy, I hope that a tomboy calling you handsome is just as good as a regular girl calling you handsome. You handsome jetpack. I mean, look at that little purple face. Look at that little purple face. God damn, god damn. <laughs> hey, shoot face! Why are you drinking coffee every day then, huh? Because I like it. Same, same bro. Mondo is just like me for real, for real. Moron! What do we do? I don't get what we do to do. We can't capture the child. Yeah, how do we kill the child? Do we, do we just keep going out the front? Do we just have to like activate the child's path trees? Quintessential, hi, welcome, and how are you doing? Will this like activate dialogue maybe? Hey, soup face! Why are you drinking coffee every day then, huh? Because I like it, moron. Okay. It's the same dialogue. Gosh, what do we do now? I guess we go talk to. Edo uh, again, maybe he has a new dialogue for us? Edo? I think I have you with Mondo, yeah. I've lost the dumb kid. Mr. Mondo, please. This is only a child we're talking about. Don't you think you could cool off a little? Head back to your room, sip some coffee perhaps? Back to our room, back to our room, back to our room. So we'll sip some coffee. Also, what are they putting in the coffee? Now I'm concerned. What the hell are they putting in the coffee, Jetpack? Freaking Soylent Green? Uh, what's our level? I think our level's level four? Yeah, let's go back up to level four. I think that's where our room is. Mm, okay. Don't read the coffee. They're putting something in that makes you forget. That feels like where this is going, right? Whatever it means, I'm I'm not I'm not confident anymore. Everything is everything has become more and more confusing. We should have expected this though. Like it was expected when it started, but I'm just quite shocked by the extent this game has gotten, you know, uh, gone off the rails. <sighs> it's quite impressive. Well, good night, Asgard. Thank you for hanging out. Sleep well, dude. So, we're back in our room. Where's our coffee? Hmm. No coffee. Hmm. Curious. Curious. Nothing in the... Huh? 
The... I didn't realize we could go into the bathroom, into the... I did not realize we could go into the, the bathroom. That's kind of interesting. I didn't realize that. Nothing in here though, but that's interesting. Oh, I hate it. He actually might be the devil. He might be the devil. He might actually be the devil. He's the devil. He's the devil. Not a mistake. Thank you for yourself to negative, bro. I really appreciate that. That's so so nice of you. Dude, negative and dream emotes, dude. Catch me if you can, soup face. What the fuck? Get the child. 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 Kill him. Kill him. Murder. 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 Get him. Kill him. Kill him. Strangle him! End of Evangelion style! It can't get away from me now! Give it up, brat! <laughs> that was fun. You're so easy to push around. That's why! What?! You're such a moron! What are you, are you bashing with that on, huh? You played with me, didn't you? Makes you pretty stupid. Huh? I was lonely. Dad won't play with me. So you decided to screw with me? Stop making excuses. You'll grow up to be a crook. Fine. Like I want to grow up anyways. I knew it. I hate you. You and your suit. Come on. Let's be friends, okay? Gotcha! So stupid. So quick to trust. Why, you little? Thanks, suit face. Let's play again sometimes. Yeah, that's fine with me. But no more unsettling comments, understand? I can live with that. I feel better now, but that's off my chest. But just one more. Just what does flowers, sun, and rain mean anyway? This freaking kid! This freaking kid! Doesn't really mean anything, does it? Huh? Oh no. That's the worst possible thing you could have said. It's just what everyone's thinking. I mean, I considered it. What does it mean, Suda? That's it. It's the end. The chapter is finished. Come on, Jumbo Jet, let's get going! You can't just call the plane, hey! Crazy. This game is crazy. What do we learn? You just noticed? I'm just impressed that Atsuda's ability to keep making each chapter more deranged than the last. We learned nothing. We didn't learn a lot that chapter, to be fair. We didn't learn that much. I don't think. I mean, we still established that, like, maybe something's in the coffee. We kind of learned that maybe something's in the coffee. Also, Sumi is a massive pushover, hates kids. Um... Crazy! Come on out! You think you know what to expect, but no, yeah, absolutely. Have, I've, I've got no expectations. I'm expecting the unexpected, frankly. What? Yo, 
she uses a sick flip. What a woman. Oh, you're a sweet looking fella. Hey, you can't be much older than me. You're looking for a fight. You wish for it, but then don't blame me if you end up crying. Have you seen Chris? The pink thing? Why is it pink? Because it's cute. Real. Good for her. Right. Not the good one. Have you seen Chris? You all remember this. I'm not through with you. <laughs> I like her outfit, I'll be honest. I do like it. It's like it's I know it's just in the polygon, so I have no idea what it actually looks like when it's properly rendered, but I like the like little like A-line dress with the turtleneck. It's a good vibe. It's a good vibe. Welcome back, children are so innocent, isn't that kind of so sweet about them? I just think you wanted someone to play with. You really did chase did you you really did chase them all over the place, didn't you? Must have been a good workout. You should work out more. I should be waiting for the smile at the front desk. Scandrippy. God damn it. Okay, should we do lunch break now, maybe? Maybe I'll do, maybe not for lunch break, but I might go get like another coffee or something. It could be a good call for coffee time. Uh, and then we'll do another maybe chapter or two. I think we can do another chapter to do today. I just need more caffeine because it is, it is the, the um, sleepy's catching up with me. So I'm gonna get a little tomboy coffee. Well, well, I guess it's, it's not really tomboy coffee, but it's kind of tomboy coffee because I'm drinking it. So I'm gonna do a little, uh, a uh, snack break, uh, and then we'll come back and we'll continue playing the game. We'll just continue uh, exploring how bizarre this game is. Uh, enjoy the Be Right Back tunes. Oh, wait. Sorry, it was turned down. Double, double music, sorry, let me see. Do, 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 do. Oh, they should fix it. Sorry, my bad.
it is officially and officially lunchtime. I got myself leftover pasta. Iridium, thank you so much for supporting for five five months. Holy crap! Thank you so kindly. Oh my goodness! Thank thank you so much for putting the stream. I, I really appreciate. So many jetpacks uh, choosing to support today, and I really appreciate that, dudes. Thank you. Ew, leftover. What do you mean, ill leftovers? Who has ever said ill to leftovers in their them's entire life? Wait, what are you talking about? Sorry, that is. That is blowing my mind right now. That is, what do you mean you don't want the day old pizza? We need to make freshly made or it's not good. That, that one, I'm, I'm not gonna like, like, now my brain's like, I'm like, I shouldn't assume your economic situation, but that sounds like some fancy boy bullshit. That sounds like some fancy boy bullshit. Get out of my stream chat with <laughs> Okay. <laughs> this depends on how old I left. Yeah, I'm not gonna eat food that's like seven days old. I'm not gonna eat food that's like seven days old. But it's like, it's fine to have like the day old pizza, day old pasta heat up in the microwave, okay? That's, that's completely valid. Food prepping, meal prepping. Meal, meal prepping's fine. Leftover Chinese food the day after because you got the, because you couldn't eat it all in one sitting. Bro, that's. That's a that's a joy of life. That's a little treat. That's a little treat of life. So I'm trying to look for my um, I'm trying to look for. Where is it? What am I trying to look for? What am I trying to look for? I'm trying to look for the thing. Yeah, this thing. This thing. It's this thing. This thing right here. This bad boy right there on my forehead. Hi, men. Welcome in. Hi. I'm just eating. A, I'm just quickly chomping down some leftover pasta. Danny Burger. Thank you so much. Welcome in. Good morning. How you doing? Hello. Lunchador. I'm a lunchador. Hi, welcome in, welcome, welcome. I'm eating some leftovers. I'm eating, I'm eating, I'm eating, I'm eating like, leftovers for you. Uh. Hot pizza is better than hot pizza. That's a, that's a valid opinion, if you're into that. I hope your husband is dead. Oh my goodness, my condolences. I, I hope it's nothing too serious. And even if it is something serious, I hope that things can get better or that people are comfortable. Stay, stay, stay strong, bro. Whatever's going on, I hope it's not too much, and that if it is, like, you can get through it. Um, I imagine that's a cheese square instead of lunch. You can do that. You're totally allowed to do that. <laughs> Leftovers eat takeovers. Food's better when acquired by force. That's interesting. That's that's interesting. I mean, it's like one of those things. It's like food's food tastes better when it's like made for you or like but like that which might be lack of culinary skills food's better when hungry mm, that's true that is true i think i think i think leftovers is very very i don't know i've always i've always had leftovers growing up you're right give me your food jets okay here comes the airplane jetpack Jetpack. <laughs> Jetpack. <laughs> Why are you de dotting me? You don't want to. <laughs> Why are you guys, you guys asked for it? I'm sorry. You're opening your mouth. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Open mouth. I see it. I see it now. I can visualize it. Mm. Uh, 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 uh. Mm -mm. This is the first time I've ever encountered a person who has like some kind of aggressive predisposition about leftover food. It's so strange to me. It's just like there's like full culinary meals that are constructed under the idea of leftovers. Like there's like it's a it's a thing that pervades multiple different cuisines and cultures of the idea of of taking food that's left over and turning it into a different meal like bubble and squeak in british culture people use get, lose leftovers and stuff to be put into like stocks and casseroles and other meals you know what i mean um a starving art student knows i mean that's what i'm saying bro that's what like that sounds like some fancy boy bullshit you don't get to make those kinds of uh complaints if you if, if it's your only option yeah, fried rice is meant to be made with leftover rice. Yeah, exactly. There's so many meals that are designed and constructed around the item, the idea that a lot of people, and like a lot of times when cooking, you're not always going to be, um, 
Dalwin, I'm so sorry, bro, but you're so wrong right now. I'm not really one to draw a hard line in the sand, but I think your take might just be wrong, bro. I'm so I'm sorry. Like, yeah, like, like, things like fried rice are literally constructed around the idea of leftover rice, like day-old rice. Then food wastage is terrible. Yeah, food wastage is absolutely devastating. Specifically when a lot of it can be used in other meals. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's an impressively wrong take. That is a good point. I'm not normally so uh, aggressive with, with saying that. If you leave enough for leftovers, it means it wasn't good enough to eat in the first place. But, like... You can't know that. You can't know that, like, if that you're gonna have the exact amount of like dietary space. And also, sometimes things are are made to with the intention to have leftovers. What about like Christmas lunch or Christmas dinner or Thanksgiving? Like Thanksgiving, this whole like Thanksgiving pies, which are like made to 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 to, to use the food food from Thanksgiving. This is an insanely wrong take. I can't believe this. This is crazy, bro. You, what the hell? <laughs> You've completely derailed the chat box. I'm sorry we're all coming for your throat. Let me really calling you out here. I'm very sorry about that. I'm just quite, I'm quite, I'm quite taken about. What the hell? <laughs> I, you, dude, I've never, I've never heard of somebody so aggressive about this specific thing. He's fighting for his life over here. No, it's not Coffee's balls. It's fine. Uh, Twitch chatter hates leftovers. I respect your choice. I do think you are quite insanely wrong. <laughs> mm. on. Thank you so much for following, bro. Been See this now. This now this feels like you're actually you're not. You don't believe what you're saying. I'm gonna begin to think that you're actually just you're you're trolling. Um. I feel like you might, you might, you might be goofing on us. I cannot actually believe that you're, you genuinely believe what you're saying. This is blowing my mind. Mm. I wouldn't dare you left over. That's what I said. I was like, that seems like fancy boy bullshit. That seems like... <laughs> Flat earth is a food. I am so crazy. This is crazy. Like, what do you think about, like, pickled vegetables and stuff? Like, this seems so strange. Like... What do you think about making stock over like off cuts of meat that aren't used for the main meal? I'm so confused about this take here. This is very strange to me. Like, I like pickles. Okay. Like, wh what do you? <laughs> yeah, is pickling leftovers is like using the cuts off of vegetables into make a stock base like leftovers. I kill it, I'm like, you're on the spot, bro. Okay, you're actually trolling. Okay, I've, we've come to the conclusion you're actually trolling. Okay, cool, 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 cool. <laughs> That's good. I mean, I'm glad we came to that conclusion. I'm glad we all came to that conclusion that you're actually, you're actually trolling, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> um, uh... Like uh, we got one pack. We 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 got we got one pack bros. We got literal cavemen in the chat. Ung ung ung. This man might actually be Kirby. <gasps> Hold up, wait, did you bro you actually Kirby? <laughs> no, I'm crazy dude. This crazy. This crazy. <laughs> we got the real Kirby in the chat. Okay. I finished my cons consuming. I didn't know sl slimes could time. Yeah, he's just like consuming everything in his waist. In his wake, leftovers are a crime. All must be eaten now. I'm now he's Pac-Man. Holy shit! This is a freaking. This is a freaking Pac-Man. Pac-Man in the chat. That's crazy. Eating the bones and shit. I'm numb. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I finished my leftovers, dun dun dun, and we're gonna get back in this crazy game. I think we'll do like at least, at least maybe two more chapters. He doesn't know about refrigeration, he's like, bros, you invented a way to put things like in, I oh, yeah, okay, now, okay, jetpack is, is dry aging leftovers. Like, is dry aging leftovers? Do you, are you against like, are you like, what about cheese? Are you against cheese? Are you against like products that have to sit for a while? Like what is the what well, I'm so confused. That's a method of cooking. But like Yeah. Cheese is purposely made so a leftover. But what about the byproducts of cheese? What about like what about like like a like um when you make milk and then there's byproducts that are made because of that? 
Right, and she just says, I can find your food. <laughs> oh my god. Byproducts are not leftovers, but like fried rice is the byproduct of leftover rice. I'm so, um, like, that's the truth. Fried rice is the byproduct of leftover rice. The, so you could say that fried rice is a byproduct of, of leftovers. And and you could say that, um, like, that, uh, what, what do you call it? Um, like, uh, <laughs> leftovers are things you didn't finish eating. Now that's just wrong, Jets. I, not always. You can use fresh rice or fried rice. It's not the same. You ever know it's not the same. Um, that's not how my mom, that's, that's how, that's not how my mom makes fried rice. I'm just, this is blowing my mind. This is blowing my mind, bro. I, your take is so wild. Anyway, we're getting back into the game. We're talking, we're getting back into the game. This is, this is crazy. I can't, it's, it's, um, I'm, I'm, um, what are you talking about now, Jets? I'm talking about so many meals that are made because of leftovers. Uh, Alex, <laughs> thanks so much for following, bro. I hope you're interested. We're gonna play the game. We know that we're good. I, I, my brain's going to literally melt if we don't get into this right now. What? Like bubble and squeak and like and like full like casseroles made from like Thanksgiving and like I'm I'm not no 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 gravy. I'm no we're not getting into no 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 <laughs> Vegemite yeah exactly what the hell I just it's blowing my mind yeah <laughs> Good, Good morning, Jack. Mr. Mondo. Ow. Why, why, why did you say ow? Are you okay, sir? This is an interesting start. It's a little bit different. No, it's just, uh... My muscles are sore. Is it from him running all over the hotel? Wait, so, like, does... Does the things that happened in the previous days genuinely carry it over to his physical body? Is... Is Mondo physically aging? Duh. May I suggest that you relax a bit more during your stay? Hey, you're the one asking me to do all this stuff. And yeah, I have, my apologies. Oh, whatever. Breakfast, please, breakfast. Wonder, I do believe your personality has changed a little. I think so. It may just be my imagination, of course. Anyway, breakfast is ready. Yeah, yeah, I know the drill. He'll be waiting for you. We will be waiting for you. I saw muscles left over from the previous day. <laughs> I'm already sick of this vacation. I'm sick of this vacation. I love that couch. I really do. I just, I want... No. Mm, am I sick of this vacation? I mean, they're doing a pretty damn good job to make it an awful vacation. Is this a real DS? 100% real DS. Oh yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Very real. Uh, now I remember that stupid kid. Well, so Mondo's definitely remembering everything. I can't believe it. So it was all a trick to make me babysit him? He was right, and I am a moron. Mm. It doesn't get him off the hook. There's no right to insult others. Yeah, you can see my hands physically playing it, exactly. Next time I see him, I'm gonna give him a wedgie of his life! <laughs> Mom, no! <laughs> That's just a kid's prank too, though, isn't it? What is folks doing, I wonder? I feel a little sorry for him, actually. Wait, we could... What's his name again? Yatsutaro? Wait a second, we could... Give me a second. Um, give me a second. Do any PNG exist of this? This is the wrong one, though. This is the wrong model. It could work, but it is the wrong model, so it's not perfect bit. It's not a perfect bit, but it might it might get the job done, honestly. 
would want it to be the different model, but it could, it could do, it, it kind of gets the job done. Whoa! Oh! Oh! What'd I do? I break the game? Wait! I think I dragged it into the wrong thing. No! Fuck! Oh shit! Oh no! I was just trying to do this. I was just trying to do this. So it looked like the jetpack was playing a little DS. That's all I was doing. What did I break? No. Hopefully I didn't break it. Oh, I just need to restart it. Oh, thank God. Oh, okay. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. I just wanted to make it look like the jetpack was on a little DS. Okay, 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 okay. Which DS version had the Windows 10 notifications? Oh, the best one. Everyone knows that. Um, but now, I want to make it so you guys have the DS, but like, we need to have the blanket be underneath you guys. This is, let's, <laughs> how do I make the blanket go on top? Wait a second, give me a second. I can make this work, I can make this work, I can make this work. I can make this work. I can make this work. Give me a second. You guys are just sitting on my chest. Yeah, don't say what do you have to sit on. Don't say that. I will ban you. Um, we're gonna just... Um, I don't nosebleed either! <laughs> now... Now... No... No... See, now you guys are on the little DS! <laughs> See, look! Now you guys are on your little DS! Don't worry, we're actually playing on the DS. You guys got your little DS... Nothing to worry... Now we're in the... Wait. Angle it like so. There we go. Oh, the music's really nice and peaceful. The music's so nice and peaceful. Okay, let's do it. Let's play the game. Uh, I'm sorry for getting so distracted by giving you guys a little tiny DS. I just thought it would be pretty cute. <laughs> you guys are playing along. Like a new high score! <laughs> guys are playing along with the game. Anonymous, thank you for getting yourself to the million. That's so nice of you. I wish I could I wish you could thank you properly, but I will thank you kindly. Just as anonymous. Thank you, thank you. No, no, Jetpack can stay up late playing the DS. It's allowed. Ave Maria? I didn't even catch that being the chapter. Okay, we can skip through this part here, because I luckily I screwed up earlier into the thing, not too late into the thing. <laughs> You guys are playing Pokemon Platinum. Hell yeah. In case this game's too too boring. I know that pseudo games aren't for everybody, so if you guys want to play Pokemon Platinum, it's okay. Um, this is a 10 out of 10 decision. You made the right choice. <laughs> Brody! Oh my god, Brody! Yeah. Brody, thank you so much for supporting for a year, dude. I really appreciate that. That's massive. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Holy crap. Thank you so much for supporting for that long. I can't believe so many jetpacks have been around for that long. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. I think this is what we got to. So we got to 12 months chat. Stupid kid, stupid kid, can't believe it. Gonna give that damn kid a wedgie. Hello, cool, welcome, how you doing? Just a prank, what is folks doing? I feel a bit sorry for him. Is that his name again? Yeah, I was like, it's Toro, something weird, it doesn't matter. My coffee's gonna get cold. The kid did say don't drink the coffee and we did drink the coffee, so that's kind of... Maybe we shouldn't have drunk the coffee, I don't know, Jetpack, maybe we shouldn't have. I'm gonna go straight into the lurking blanket. That's all good. Enjoy, enjoy your lurk. This is definitely the kind of game where it's completely fine to sit back and enjoy the music and enjoy me getting absolutely overwhelmed by the puzzle absurdity. Because the puzzles, okay, not only has the game gotten more and more absurd, the puzzles themselves have gotten more and more absurd. Not a miss. What the hell, dude? Thank you so kindly. That's crazy. Thank you uh, for giving yourself to K O O thirty eight. Thank you. Please enjoy your emotes. Okay, you don't. You could do, you don't have to post your comfy packs and chat, but I know you're doing it in spirit. If you want to keep lurking, enjoy your lurk. And thank you so much, Anonymous. That's very, very nice of you. 
I like doing the lost and found save. I'm back. We're still jacking it. We're still jacking it to the stream. You know how it is, boys. I'm best jacker in the business. Good to rain. What the hell? Thank you so much for subscribing one month to one. I please en enjoy your emotes and your ad-free bonkers cast. And you started a goddamn hype train. Hey, this is meant to be comfy suit of time, not hype suit of time. But I appreciate none of none nonetheless. Thank you. Are we kangaroo jets? Uh, are we in your pouch? No, no, you guys just hang hang out in the blanket. I'm not a kangaroo VTuber. There's a really cool kangaroo VTuber. She's a very talented singer. Uh, I don't remember what her user is. It's a. Uh... Oh my goodness, I'm mental blanking right now. She's very cool. We've read her before. There is there is a kangaroo VTuber. She's very cool, very talented singer. Um, so even, thank you for being so, so generous. Holy crap, thank you for supporting five big ones to the community. Thank you for supporting the stream. Thank you for supporting your bros. If you got Nelly, you're right, Edward. It's Nelly Pockets. She's a very, very talented a singer, kangaroo VTuber. Super cool. Thank you, so even. You got Joe, Sizemore. Thank you for supporting the bros. Thank you. Get hype. No, you cannot make me get hype. I'm extra comfy. I will stay comfy. Get back. Stop being hype. Pay attention to your, um, to doing, uh, are you guys doing, um, pick art? Is it, was it pick art? Flip note? You guys are doing little flip notes. You're doing little flip notes on your iPads and you're sending little funny, uh, images to each other on pick chat. Pick chat? Is that the one? Jetpack sending pic chat images to each other of like penises and going <laughs> It's funny <laughs> pick, pick the chat. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm talking about What? You know, like you're sending like boob images like by like drawing bring boobs on pic chat and be like <laughs> On the DS, yeah, yeah And you guys know what I'm talking about You know what I'm talking about Uh it's not what I use picto chat for. <laughs> you can't prove what I'm drawing. Yeah, it's like typing O O like A O O A on the calculator. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Jetpacks would type um A O O A on the calculator and find it how funny. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, A O O A five. I'm drawing a flower. You're too you're too good, Varian. Uh, I had a buddy who got my DMs taken away at church. The exact behavior. See, this is this is the thing. I'm not being weird. I'm making a, I'm making a generalization about kids and being like weird and sus by putting like boobs into the calculator. We didn't do that, Jets. Like some of us aren't pervs like you. No, this is this is normal. Uh, this is just trying to calculate, justify drawing dicks and boobs on a calculator. What else do you use a calculator for? Mathematics? Pfft, cringe. I wasn't cringe like that. I was cool. I was cool and I'd put boobies in the calculator. <laughs> Anonymous, thank you so much for giving us something to Neon Cat. I really, really appreciate it. I, I didn't do this. I didn't do any of this. I'm, I wish I was that cool. I will be honest. I wish I was. Oh, Havoc, thank you for following. Also, Anonymous, thank you for giving us something to Gums. Holy crap, you're going all out today, Anonymous. I really appreciate that. Thank you for supporting the stream. That's incredibly nice of you. Thank you so much. We're going straight to the airport, Anonymous. Uh, yeah, first class ticket, because it's a support to the community. Neon Cat, enjoy your emotes, bro. Before I do that, there's one thing, Endo. Where is this breakfast? Oh! Breakfast! Where is this breakfast I always hear so much about? You stop serving breakfast right You bitch! You bastard! You bastard! Finished already, boy? That was quick. I'm very sorry, Miss Mondo. You should be! You promised me breakfast. Need to get up a little bit faster. Don't pay service as always. Oh, forget it, I'm heading for the airport. Excellent. Get any breakfast leftovers? <laughs> oh, I can't believe we missed breakfast. This is beaten with hammers. <laughs> no. I need to stop saying beaten with hammers. I think it's a funny joke, but I think it's like I'm gonna burn it out. Um. I've still not managed to get breakfast in this game. It's endlessly devastating. Let's hope we can just get over this bridge at the very, very, very least. At the very least, let's hope we can get across this bridge. We went past and under the umbrella. We went down and over the bridge. Nothing is in our way. Nothing stands in our way. We're all powerful. No one can stop us. Actually, honestly, no one can stop us. We're doing so good. Jetpack. Can we go here? What's this? What's down here? What is this? 
I've never been here before. We actually, wow, we have like so much to s explore. This is kind of strange. I'm not used to having this much to explore in the game. What's over here? I've always wanted to know what's over here. This is where breakfast is? What is this? No idea what this is. Wow, I look like, I look like such a little tiny guy. I don't think we can go into any of these rooms. I don't know what they are either. Okay, I guess... Can't really go here, it's just an area. This is A plus ground texture. <laughs> I like it's very blocky, Minecrafter. Um, yeah, I'm actually, I am surprised. I, I feel kind of almost uncomfortable with the fact that we can't explore. What is this, restaurants for giants? Yeah, it, what was it? What was that? We can just walk around. Here's the real question, now that we can walk around, do we even know how to get to the airport? Like, that's the real question. Do we even know how to get to the airport? Who watched the prisoner? I don't think I have, actually. Nah, welcome and hi! Welcome to the stream! The way your model is looking and the fact the jetpack's in your hands, it makes it look like uh, he's playing and you're just watching. Yeah, I'm watching you guys play. You guys are playing the game. I'm, I'm commentating. All this terrible gameplay performance, it's all on you, jetpack. Wait, we actually left the hotel? We actually left the hotel. This is strange. I don't know how to feel about this. We're seeing parts of the game I didn't think it was possible to see. Can we go through these doors? A gate? Oh boy. Can we not just open it? Okay, so of course we can't just o open the gate. That's great. Um, can we go this way? What's what's this way? Yeah, a church? Jesus? What kind of game is is kind of like a mystery game. It's even more bizarre than that. I'll say. Is there a person over there? Hello. Uh, ma'am? What do we have to jack in the church? Oh, <gasps> we might have the jack in the church. Oh no. Thank you guys for the scam train bros. I really appreciate it. Thank you so kindly. Ma'am? Miss, are you okay? Who, who are you? Oh, she's got the Mia Farrow hair. I love it. I'm just a concerned person passing by. You look a little down. I'm down on the ground. What do you... What does she mean by that? I'm a little depressed, actually. Oh, no! Something happened? You really want to know? My ears. Tell me. My entire body's ears. As long as all I have to do is listen. I'm Yuri. Nice to meet you. I'm going to get married. Why is she sad about getting married? Does she not want to get married? <gasps> That's wonderful. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Sumio Mondo. Just Sumio is okay. Thank you, Sumio. So, what's got you so depressed? Shouldn't you be happy? Yeah, shouldn't she be happy? Women aren't that simple for soda! <laughs> well, you women, you know how they be. Ah, oh, women. Oh, oh, man. Wow, you know. 
That's true. They're very sophisticated and complex to understand. Yeah, men can't in understand the level of sophistication that women are functioning on. I'm just, my brain is too powerful, Jetpack. You can't possibly understand. <laughs> well, you say it. Okay. That stance, bro. 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 Your fiance. That's right, I'm sad. He seems very kind. So tomorrow is the big day. I imagine it took him a lot of work to plan the wedding on this island. Himbo <laughs> sitting? What do you mean? Yeah, I'm operating on 12D chess. 12D chess. You guys can't, can't possibly uh, process the ma inner machinations of my mind. <laughs> Because I also can't process the inner machination of my mind. I got no idea what's going up there. It's just freaking monkeys slamming together symbols. Of course, I think you've found a good man to marry. Must be very happy. Really? Yeah. You won't find a man like that again. Take me, for instance. I can't even meet a lady. I want to meet. What do you mean? You can't meet a, la a lady you want to meet? Like, you know the lady? Why not? Oh, never mind. Wait, he, he has a lady he wants to meet? Is he saying there's someone he wants to meet? Were you? It's a long story, isn't it? I can tell. It's not important. But still, I'm worried. <gasps> About what? Ever since we come here, Seiji's been acting strange. Oh, that's not good. He's been so distant. Oh no! Poor lady. Maybe he's stressed though. Maybe he's dealing with his own inner machinations. Please, Julia, would you go talk to him for me? Oh, we're gonna save the wedding? We're gonna save the marriage, boys. Me? I'm not sure I should get involved. Please, Sumio, you're my only hope! Why do people keep saying that to me? Well, very well then. Seiji's in the church. He's in there so he can think alone. I was told that I shouldn't bother him. So I can't do anything. Oh boy! Please sue me here! This is main monitor content! <laughs> true! True! True, like honestly, why, why, why play uh, epic video game classics like um, Portal 2? When we could play Suda try and save this marriage on DS <laughs> This is <laughs> oh, 9 and 1 12. Oh well, wow. thank you for following, bro. Welcome in. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Okay, where's the man of the hour? This is a nicely rendered church, actually. Sir, your wife is having some troubles. Have you got a moment? Who are you? The name's Sumio Mondo. You know what, the way that the polygons are done in this game, it does kind of make everybody look like they're an elf. You guys, like, the ears on every single character end up being pointy. They've all got like kn the knife ears. It's good. <laughs> Is he a wife beater? No. No. Ooh, maybe we should save the lady. I don't know. This is, um, this is not boding well. I become E.T. and the go out of bed. Have a good stream. Remember Jess would keep babies if she could over the increase on a crow. <laughs> no, but also please enjoy your sleep, dude. Thank you so much for staying by. Rest well. Rest well. I get it. It's it's getting late. Time zones have changed. It's gotta be late for a lot of you bros. So take care of yourself. Rest well. You become the sleeper of the, the sleeper of going to bed. Oh bro, welcome, how you doing? Hello. Welcome, welcome. You're Seji, right? That's right. And uh, the little lady outside. He's waiting for you to come back to her. You mean your Yuri? Little lady, huh? Are you getting married tomorrow? Congratulations! Wait, what's wrong with the dude? 
She was just so pretty and lovely and cares about him. What's wrong with this guy? Something wrong. It's finally happening tomorrow. Okay. Is there something wrong with that? Work sucks. Oh, dude, I hope work was not too bad, but I hope you're able to take a break now. Welcome, welcome in. Welcome, welcome. The real flower and sun and rain is the friends we made on the way. You might be right. You might be right, Santa. That's what it's scheduled for. Scheduled? I don't like the sound of that. I think about it too much, I'm getting scared. He's getting cold feet, bros, no! Bros, the big man's getting cold feet! Getting married is a bigger step than I anticipated, you know? <gasps> I got the Bachelor Blues, what? What? That means you're weak! <laughs> Be a man! Marry her! You put that ring on that goddamn finger, brother! You be the man that stepped up! <laughs> Say whatever you like! You're just the one who wanted to get hitched in the church! No balls! <laughs> no balls! Marry her! No balls! <laughs> so that would remember it forever. I was against the idea. Where do you want to get married? Oh? You make a woman out of that lady. You're so homey, brother. Hoorah! <laughs> Live happily with her brother. You won't. No balls. <laughs> I thought you suggested you. I thought you suggested that you hold the ceremony here. That's what Yuri wants to believe. She's pushing her ideals onto me. <gasps> They're not, the, the ideals are not compatible? Bros, what the f- Oh no, what do we do in this situation? Then you just need to live up to them. I can't. <gasps> she doesn't think you can, she, you can live up to her expectations. Oh fuck, oh fuck. Become one flesh, bind yourself in holy matrimony. Do it, you won't. <laughs> This is just how I am now that I think. Oh my goodness. You would just lie about your ideals? Bro, what? I, I'm, I'm, you meant to be like honest and shit because death to your part is a whole part of it? People always say that to me. How do you think exactly? No, you wouldn't understand. Oh, fuck this guy. <laughs> you know what? We're just gonna take this lady. She's ours now. You wouldn't understand me, bro. My mind is so powerful and twisted. You just don't get it. <laughs> what? He's literally me. <laughs> Chat. <laughs> no. You're not helping me out of here. You see? You're getting angry with me. That's what people always say to me. Oh, shut up, bro. <laughs> I can't say I understand. With each passing day, I'm losing my confidence, that's all. Confidence that everything could be okay if we get married. Uh. He thinks it's just gonna fool the shit? Fuck! It's a bit late for that now. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Good point, Simeo. They should have maybe had this conversation years ago or some shit. Look at this. An organ? Yes. I came to look at this. It's not every day you get a chance to see a church organ up this close. What a change of conversation. Well, well, this guy's better ten at tangenting than I am. <laughs> I guess. I love the stance. I love the Sumir stance so much. <laughs> Bro, they don't got churches where you live. <laughs> so it was you I had playing, was it? You're pretty good. You're pretty good. I hate it. What is this face? What is it? Why do you hate being good at the church organ? I'm so confused right now. Now what? Yeah, same Sumio. What the fuck are you talking about? 
That's his fucking face. <laughs> the sound, the music, I hate it. Oh, oh my god, screw this guy. We're just gonna marry the lady instead. This guy sucks. <laughs> really? Sounds pretty good to me. No, it wasn't. I'm staking everything on this piece of music. If I can play it well... If you can play it well? I'll find the confidence to make you... Is this like a self-doubt moment? Oh! oh dudes! Oh, bro's penny in the air, penny just dropped. It's not that he doesn't think he can be with her. It's that he can't- he thinks he can't be with himself. And if he can't be with himself, then maybe he's- he's not able to truly love another person. Deep, bro. Deep. He has some- Whoa. That's- that's what I feel deep inside. Living it up to the organ, huh? Wait, is the organ a metaphor? <gasps> wait, 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 is the organ a metaphor? It's just like a weird, wait, organ? He can't... We're gonna jack into the... No, Suda. Is this about, like, honeymoons and stuff? What is this? Sticks and stones to me, or... That's why I was trying to retune the org organ. I lost my paper with the registration note on it. Registration? For adjusting the tonal pitch. Yo, my goodness, gacha guns! Yo, what's up, readers? How are you guys going? How was your stream? Gacha guns, welcome in. You guys have just entered into a very melodramatic plot. Very melodramatic. I will try and catch you guys up to speed, but first of all, before we get to that, Gacha, bro, what were you guys doing today? Were you cleaning guns? Were you playing some shooters? What were you doing? Jetpack, if you don't get your guns, they do have a pretty cool weapon collection, and they show it off on, uh, on Twitch sometime. You should check out that stuff. Dude died 27 times playing Metal Gear Solid 2. You've been playing Metal Gear Solid 2! Metal Gear Solid 2, Solid 2. Solid 2. Solid 2 is so good! Metal Gear Solid 2 is so good! I hope you've been following Metal Gear Solid 2. We've been raided by two people playing Metal Gear games today. That's brilliant. That's a brilliant... It's a brilliant coincidence. Uh, I hope you had a great time with Metal Gear Solid 2. If you've got to head off, take it easy. No stresses. Don't have to hang around or anything like that. Nice to meet you guys. The Raiders, my name is Jets. I'm Australian Tomboy. We're playing Suda Game. Currently, we are trying to save this guy's marriage. That is, that is legitimately what we're trying to do, and I think what we're trying to do is we're trying to save this guy's marriage by getting his, his uh, organ to work properly because he's afraid that if he can't play his organ, he won't be able to impress his wife-to-be. If you get what I'm saying, readers. There's a panel on the back, and you need to put a number in using that. We're gonna jack into the organ! I've heard that this church has traditional tuning they always use, but I guess the setting has been changed. Oh, I see where this is going. You do? I do. You want to tune the organ to the traditional settings used in this church? Correct. That's right. The freaking face, dude. The freaking face. Chicken tenders. What a name. Welcome in, bro. Hope you're to stay. Thank you for following. But it doesn't matter now. God, he's so edgy. This dude's so edgy. I'll find it for you. The tuning that you seek. Find it? You? It may take a while. You think you can do it? You don't have to do this for me or anything. Hey, don't get me wrong here. I'm not doing this for you. But for your sweet little lady. That's a weird thing to say, Sumio. <laughs> Are they gonna kiss? <laughs> <That's> a... <laughs> I'll help you find your confidence. You're very kind, Sumio. I've heard that before too. So we 
are gonna jack into the organ. I think there was something in the manual about like organ settings, right? A strange pair. There must be something that attracted them here. That, and I need to give this guy the confidence to wed his love. Mysteries concealed within this organ. When hurling into the mystery, mystery calls up more mysteries. What mystery without the mystery when mystery proceeds? Hurdle on towards the ideal of solving all mystery. Open Catherine. Let's take care of this musical returning. Retuning. Retuning. We are. We're, 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 there's only one thing we can do. First of all, we're gonna peruse some literature. So I'm pretty sure there is a article on the organ. I swear. Mm. I swear there's an article on the organ. I'm not crazy, right? Fortune telling. Maybe it was earlier in the book? Okay, we'll go a little bit back. Organ, organ. I'm sorry for the flashing. I'm sorry for the flashing. Yo, here it is. Here it is. Here's the settings, boys. Okay, let's write it down. We're doing, we're doing the puzzles. It is. Oh, oh, four, four, three, two, oh, oh, oh. And let's make sure we are not reading too far. There we are. Perfect. Then we go back. Then we're going to jack into the organ right in front of Jesus. First try. Jesus would be proud. I think Jesus would be proud. Four. Four, three, two, zero, zero, zero. Yes. Do we do it? Do we save the marriage? Thank you, Mr. Mondo. I did it. I played it. <gasps> now, and how blessed is the sound. Now I'm sure. I know. I can see how happy you and the lady are gonna be. Even if you don't mean that. Thanks. Take me to Schnurch. <laughs> I mean everything I say, I promise you. You'll be the first person to say that we'll be happy. Would you please come to the wedding? <gasps> We're gonna be invited to the wedding? Of course, I'd be delighted. That's a promise. That's a promise. That's pretty cool, we got the we're gonna be invited to the wedding. Now we do talk to the lady. I don't know how this is gonna help us stop st stop a terrorism, but I think it was still a good important side quest. Let's talk to the lady. Hey lady! You love your husband now? Or whatever it was we were doing? Hello again, little lady. Ah, oh, Sumio! What did Seiji say? Don't worry. We don't have to worry about him anymore. That sounds like we murdered him. <laughs> lady. Little lady, you don't have to worry about Seji anymore. Wipes blood off of hands. <laughs> Bites lip. That's, 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 that's terrifying. That is a terrifying way of wording it. 
What? Don't talk about him like that. How dare you say that? I hate people that say bad things about others. Hey, 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 calm down. You said you're really okay? It's fine, really, really fine. Really, really, really? As many reallys as you want. Oh, that's good news. Thank you, Sumi. I feel so much better. Me too. Seiji and I, we were raised in an orphanage. Hold on. No, no, I'm, I'm drawing conclusions where there shouldn't be. Orphans. Who? Negative, bro. Am I, am I jumping to conclusions? Let me look at the eyes. Let me look at your eyes. Let me look at your eyes right now. Because, because if they were, because orphans from the orphans program from Silver Case, who are destined to fall in love with each other, in the taking the form of, you know what I mean? Like in Silver, I might might be jumping. All I'm just all I'm saying is Suda has a thing where there's the kid orphans and stuff. I might be jumping to conclusions. But it just seems... I'm going in too deep. It just seems right, right? Let me look at your eyes. Let me look at your eyes. Sounds like a depressing story. Not all those kids got silver eyes, so it doesn't... Doesn't this have really a to quite... Oh, it's true. Not all the orphans got silver eye. But they could still maybe be silver eye orphans. Yeah? Isn't it, it isn't depressing? Not at all. I'm proud of it. We made a promise with each other. That we'd become the happiest people in the world. Well, that's kind of cute. Good for them. Happier than anyone else. Well, that's kind of intense. <laughs> why, why, why are you guys going to be happier than everyone, everyone else? Can't everybody be happy? <laughs> Don't ever be like really cute of like, we're, we're going to be the happiest in the world to be like, Happier than anybody else. Like that's like a lot of pressure. I wouldn't. I wouldn't feel comfortable being like in a dynamic where that's the purpose. No wonder the guy's just feeling apprehensive. Exactly. No, for me to be happy, others must be unhappy. It's like, whoa, all right, lady. I can kind of get where he was coming from. You've really brightened up, haven't you? That's right, you have to live happy or you're wasting your life. That's not true! Who the fuck told you this, lady? You can be depressed all the fuck you want! <laughs> That's still life, baby! What if you shut the fuck up? <laughs> okay, screw this lady. I'm sorry. This little lady, I'm I'm anti her. I'm all against her. Nope, nope, none of this. None of this. I am I'm against this woman. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I'll take my depression somebody else. Now that's something to live by. I don't think that is something to live by. Like you can't like if you if you're like my my happiness and life like my value in life is determined by the fact that I always have to be happy, that's so messed up. That's so nest no negative waves, baby. You have to that's like you to, Th that's a lot of pressure to put yourself to get by to have to be happy. It's all so impossible. Bad things happen, man. It's okay to get upset about them. Also, like, sometimes having a sad sob at, like, some sad media is good. Have you... This lady has never laid on the floor and listened to, like, a really good piece of music. She's missing out, honestly. She is missing out on like the the pleasure that comes from being like, God, this music is so sad. Oh, I'm so sad right now. But it's like good, you know? You know what I mean? She's missing out. Really, really, really. I would like to really, really, really stop talking to you right now, man. Really. Yeah, you can do a little therapeutic while you wallowing. Obviously, it goes both ways. You know, you don't want to be always sad because that can be a bit intense. But like, oh, like 
always happy is actually more terrifying to me. I don't know if that says a lot about who I am as a person, but like being always happy is scarier to me than being like always sad. <laughs> you shouldn't be always sad. Food, like I should make that clear, but it just sounds scarier to always be happy. Um, Gabi, to be invited me to the wedding actually. Hey, he can't do that. She's so intense. Yes, he can. It's his wedding also. I mean, obviously, maybe you should both have talked about it, but he can do that. Like, he can invite people to the wedding, lady. He can? It's just gonna be the two of us. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, no, we gotta save the guy. Yeah, this guy. No, oh, okay. No, weird. Okay, this poor bastard. He had every reason. Forget the girl. We're marrying the man. <laughs> We're getting him out of there. He had every reason to be hesitant. She's insane. She's insane. I can't make an exception. Even for you, Sumia. Oh my god, we fucked up. We fucked up. No one's gonna come between us. This is what people say when they want a Yandere girl until she's like, We're gonna be happy every single day. We're gonna be so happy. You'll be happy when you're with me, right? No! No! Terrifying! Oh, uh, well... But thank you again. I'm sure everyone in the orphanages would bless us too. Are they coming? No, 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 no one's coming. They're all stars. In the night sky now, after all. Oh my god. <laughs> the plot twist! What the hell? Uh, they are? They watch over us. Always. Can I ask you one more thing, little lady? Sure. Just where were you raised? The shelter. See? This is like the shelter from Silver Case. I'm not being crazy. The kids were raised in like shelters and orphanages. And a lot of them died in the Silver Eye process. The shelter? That's right. We're shelter kids. That one. Oh no, I've never been a yandere. I don't know what Chat's talking about. I definitely would not have it cut out to be a yandere. I'm way too chill. I'm not even that chill, but I'm definitely too chill to be a yandere. There's the jet explosion. The jetpack. That's gonna be the jetpack forever. No, because it's like, I like that's the thing. Like the thing about Yandere is like they shoot like, like, like you're only happy with them. I don't believe. I don't believe that. It's just like do whatever feels good to you, bro. Do whatever you play. Hang out. What play whatever game. Watch whatever. It's all groovy, baby. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can be mine or not if you like. It's all good. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm like, it's I, you know, I'm. It's whatever. I'm like, you know, like, <laughs> like I would be sad, but I would. I'm not gonna like go crazy and kill someone. I'd be like, that sucks, but I get it. You know, it's fish in the sea and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> go with the flow, there, right? That's what a secret yandere would say. <laughs> what do you mean? Aha, uh -huh, this way. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, Chris. Crypto shop. <laughs> what are you saying? What do these words even mean? You're just smashing words to get the jetpack. Oh my god, oh lord, you running. Thank you for following bro. Wait, 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 we're gonna get the wedding? What? What 
actually seeing the wedding? Congratulations! Thank you, pretty little girl. Thank you, black-haired little girl. I hope you're both very happy. Huh? So, what are you doing? We have your bl blessing, don't we? We got Chris, I think? Chris is going around in circles? What? Welcome back. <laughs> what a lovely couple. I gave them a helping hand too. I held up the train on Yuri's wedding dress. I'm quite exhausted after all. I had to train very hard. <laughs> I need to get breakfast ready. I shall be waiting for the smile at the front desk. She got to see the wedding and not us. Yeah, great point. What? So it's so like it's he's a kamui and she's an anime. That's what I'm thinking. Negative one. That's exactly what I'm thinking. Is is he like a kamui and she's an anime? Is that what it is? Because it seems like it. It seems like they're implying there's some kind of like Kamui situation going on. I just can't see couples in pseudo games and not think of like Kamui and anime or however you pronounce her name. This music does sound like Tekken. I gotta play Tekken again. I want to play Tekken again, more specifically. And here we are, back. Will we ever get to the airport? Who knows? Will we ever get breakfast? Who knows? Good morning, Mr. Mondo. Your breakfast is ready. I'm sure it is. We'll be waiting for you. Let's go. Go. No coffee. No, no time for coffee. We're going to get breakfast. Duh! Oh, God damn it, Sumio! Our boy looks exhausted. Our boy feels like he's exhausted. No time for coffee, Sumio. You gotta get breakfast. Those two are quite a couple. Living so strong amongst so much sadness. Finding that glimmer of hope. I almost feel jealous of them. You really shouldn't, Sumio. That lady's crazy. <laughs> I'd like to watch over them. That's weird, buddy. Strange. Odd thing to say. He's yeah, he's like me, surviving solely on coffee. And I pray from the bottom of my heart for their happiness. Seiji and Yuri. Hopefully I'll see them again soon. But just what is this shelter kit? I'm thinking it's something weird. It's I'm thinking it's a you should have played the previous game kind of weird situation. Ah, the coffee's bitter today. Oh no, not a good sign. Not a good sign. What's a typical Australian breakfast? And say, please don't say beans and toast. Probably wheat bix with coffee. Typical Australian breakfast? Probably wheat bix. Maybe Vegemite and toast. Wheat bix and toast. <gasps> that, I mean, my God, dude! Twenty-one months. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? Dude, how thank you for supporting for that long. That is insane. That is insane. What the hell? Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Thank you for supporting the stream for that long. I can't believe you bros have been supporting for that long. That's crazy. That means so much. Thank you so much. I hope you continue to enjoy your ad free bongas cast as much as you have been. And of course, I hope you continue to always enjoy your jetpack emotes. Jonah, thank you so much for following, bro. I hope you enjoy this day. Oh yeah, so let me get show what wheat box is. Let me show wheat bix. Wheat wheat bix is Australian cereal. Um, it's like a it's it's a bixed wheat. <laughs> I don't know. I should explain it. Wheat bix is bix wheat. You have like it's like a what do you call them in in America? It's like um bixed wheat. It's like oh, it says uh. Um, like a block, a block of wheat. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. Wheaties, shredded wheats. Yeah, kind of like shredded wheats. 
Shredded Weeks could probably be a good um, comparison. Uh, here we go. This is wait, Wheat Bix. Um, Wheat Bix. Oh, high quality Wheat Bix JPEG jump scare. It's a bot you have it with milk. Um, I'll get an image of the box so you can see. This is probably a very Australian uh, Wheat Bix. It's Aussie made, Aussie owned. Um, save image. Oh, a PNG of Wheat Bix. Very cool. I like that. Nice high quality Wheat Bix PNG. This is Wheat Bix. You're gonna sleep just so it's all good. Take care of yourself. Thank you for hanging out. Rest well, mods. Rest well. Yeah, wheat compre <laughs> compressed wheat particle boy. It's a strongly made known. Uh, this is a very Australian breakfast. So probably like wheat pix. Um, it's pretty bright. Oh, thank you for subs for following. Whoa, thank you for subscribing for tier for three months at tier one. Holy, m holy moly, <laughs> holy moly. Thank you. That's crazy. Please enjoy your emotes. I really appreciate that. I hope you enjoy your stay. It's actually really tasty and it's really good with strawberries. You can have it with strawberries and they have it like strawberries or peaches. It's really good. I actually really like wheat wheat fix. Wheaties uh, in serving proportion size basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's wheat fix. It's not a granola bar. It's not. I like to mash mine up. I'd normally do two wow. and a half or maybe two wheat fixes. Maybe not two and a half nowadays. I do two wheat fixes and I mash them up but I eat them fast so it's like still a little crunchy. It's a cereal, it's a cereal, yeah, 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 yeah. So this is, um, this is a uh, one American boy. Thank you for following Broby Chess. This is a wheat mix. I really like it. This is an Australian breakfast. Probably that, and then obviously, of course, you got veggie, my on toast. And then obviously, it depends on your, oh, with avocado. That's very Australian. Veggie, my on toast with avocado is very, very, very Australian. Um, so yeah, it could be like veggie, my on toast with maybe an egg, or veggie, my on toast with avocado. Um, they save this image. This is a very Aussie breakfast. I'm trying to find one that will save properly. Please save. That's a JPEG. Yeah, buddy. That's a JPEG. Maybe the orange juice or a coffee. That's a very Australian breakfast. Bloody hope my that's an Australian breakfast. You gave yourself some uh, Vegemite toast, wheat bix, uh, maybe uh, an orange juice and a coffee. That's a, a JPEG, baby. Wheat Bix sounds so funny to me as an American. Really? Wheat Bix? I guess it does sound very uh, British almost. It's almost British. Oh, and if you really want to have a, uh, a, a, if you want to go full Australian, like you're a, an adult, not a kid, and you're like, maybe you're a brickie, you have the Farmers Union iced coffee. Yeah. So let's say, let's say you're like, you want the Lunch of Kings jetpack? Jetpack. You don't know what the Lunch of Kings are? Why is an AFIF file? No one even knows what an AFIF file is. Give me, give me a, give me a freaking JPEG. I swear to God. Give me a PNG or so help me, so help me. I'll end you. I don't need lactose free. I literally just need an image of an iced coffee. You're killing me here, man. You're killing me. <laughs> just give me an image. I don't want an AFIF file. What's, what even is an AFIF file? It's a farmer junior coffee or nothing else. Give me a save, please, please. <laughs> why, why, why do <laughs> none of these files work? I need one of them, <laughs> please. I need this, this is like the baby version. I need the full size version. <laughs> ah, they're all AFIF files. What is an app? Okay. Give me. Okay, this will work. This is the best I can do right now. That's a GIF. Why is this a GIF? <laughs> Out of all the file types it could be, why is it a GIF? Screw it, we're just gonna snip it. I'm done. I'm done messing with these file types. <laughs> uh, so this is the true... What's worse, Afif or Webin? They're all awful. I all hate them. <laughs> I hate every single one of them. Uh, download a converter extension. It probably is about time. Uh... So, Jetpack, so you have seen the infamous Australian breakfast. This is an Australian breakfast. Now, may I present to you, Jetpack, the Australian, um, the Australian lunch of kings. You got yourself a Farmer's Union iced coffee. You got yourself an Aussie meat pie with tomato sauce. <laughs> This here is the lunch of champions. <laughs> this, 
Yeah, mate. If you're working on a on a work site, you're going on Smoko. Yeah, buddy. That's good stuff. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> this is Australian lunch. Australian lunch. Anyway, we have gotten sidetracked. Let's keep going. Let's go back to whatever the hell we were doing previous. What's my Australian breakfast? I don't really eat a lot of breakfast. I'm not really a breakfast person. I like toast. Gas station breakfast. I'm hungry now. <laughs> I like toast. I'm a big enjoyer of breads. Maybe cereal. I have, I have like cereal at midnight. I have toast for breakfast and then I have like cereal at midnight. I love cornflakes at 12 a.m. Wait, 12 p.m.? I love cornflakes at like 1 in the morning. <laughs> I usually eat my first meal later in the afternoon. Mm. Uh, oh yeah, you guys, I, we won't get into talking about the how we refer to the the, the tomato s s uh, relish or whatever we want to call it. The red sauce. We won't get into that disparity. Um, my breakfast is pretty much just lunch. And we're not going to get into it. <laughs> we're not going to get into it. We can't get into it. It's it's too much of a mess. We can't do it, Jetpack. Uh, American sauce. Yeah, we'll just call it American sauce. It's too controversial. It's it's too controversial for a Suda 51 stream. We're not getting into it. <clears throat> the American sauce is ranch. Actually, I like ranch. I think it's really good with carrot slices and celery. So to keep you waiting, it's where's my breakfast? Give me my toast. Erdo, did I make it in time for breakfast? Mr. Mondo. Just how long do you intend to hang around here? The bomb is not to wait for you. Hey, calm down and formulate your sentences properly. If you don't move quickly, the terrible will be an explosion. Why is he talking like Yoda right now? If don't move quickly, terrible explosion there will be. What is he talking like that for? Okay, okay, calm down. You really don't want me to eat breakfast, do you? I'll get going then. God damn it! Now he's gaslighting us out of a breakfast? He's like, <laughs> well, if you, if you, if you really wanted, uh, breakfast, then you would, you would, uh, you would care about the fact that some other people aren't gonna get breakfast because they're gonna die in an explosion. It's pretty rough, man. It's pretty rough. Yeah, at least grab like an energy bar or something. It's the most important meal of the day. I, this game has a complex of not letting me enjoy breakfast. It's terrible. I just want eggs on toast. Maybe hollandaise sauce. Ooh, tzatziki is a great sauce. Tzatziki is up there when they were like the best sauces. So good. Tzatziki. It's also fun to say. Today we will get to the airport. A little bit of ranch and horseradish. Ooh, I like that with the spice. I can see that being real good. Added the like little kick from the horseradish. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <gasps> Is the doors open? Yes. We are so back, boys. We're actually doing it. We're actually gonna save the day. Finally. After all this. It's gonna be easy. Nothing's gonna stand in our way. It couldn't possibly have anything stand in our way. Huh? What? Oh, come on. Oh, no. Oh, there's been a car accident. Um, is everybody safe? Hello? Oh, nice try. So many other people could be injured. Don't make a sarcastic remark. I wonder if the drive's okay. Well, he kind of saved it by, you know, kind of saved it by the following comment. I gotta tell someone about this. Yeah, cool tripler. I guess we have to go back and tell Edo. 
I guess that's what it's saying to do. Go all the way back and tell Ido. We sh we should. I don't know. It feels like. It feels like we we I don't know should check if the people are okay, but apparently running all the way back to the hotel is a better idea. It doesn't feel like it. Maybe we should go to the church. Ask Jesus. I don't know, man. Uh, in Australia, it's prawns, not shrimp. Like yes, exactly. In Australia, it, we call it prawn paste, not shrimp paste. Shrimp paste. No, yeah, we don't call it um, shrimps. Shrimps are a thing, but we call them prawns. I'm not really a fan of shrimps or prawns or most kind of shellfish. I'm not really a fan of seafood in general. I like seeing food and eat it. <laughs> no, but I'm not really good. Uh, like, I'm not really big on seafood. Like, the most I'll eat is, like, salmon. I think salmon's pretty good. But even then, these days, I could take or leave it. I could take or leave salmon. And I don't really like raw salmon. I, am like, prefer... Like a decently cooked salmon. Do you have a favorite game studio or director? I'm so new to video games, I wouldn't be able to choose yet. I mean, obviously, the standouts are like the cliches, right? Like, I really loved love all the Kojima games I played. I've really loved all the FromSoft games I've played. I really loved all the Valve games I've played, apart from Dota 2 Who. Um, like, I, I, I think, like, I don't know, I, I've not played enough games to properly have, like, a cool take there. Like, I love Suda. Like, I've loved Silver Case. I love Killer7. Um, but I gotta play so many more games. I gotta play more games. Like, there's a reason they're so beloved. Um, I gotta play a lot more games before I can give a really good take there. Uh, is Love House happening on a real location? It's kind of like a fake uh, island, yeah. Uh, anything can help you, Miss Mona? There's been a car crash! People are dying! We need you to call an ambulance! Stat! No, nothing. What?! Did I... Huh? What? Oh, Sikron, thank you so much. Uh, Raiders, welcome in. Hi. Uh, you're being raided by a supercomputer. You're being raided by a supercomputer. Oh, hell yeah. What kind of supercomputer? Contemporary supercomputer? Super We're talking like retro supercomputer. Like the like Alan Turing level of supercomputer. Uh, whatever it be. I hope you had a great stream. Thank you so much for reading. Uh, welcome, welcome in. My name is Jets. Uh, Australian Tomboy. I hope it was good. If you do have to head off supercomputer, uh, don't feel like any pressure to hang around. You gotta, you gotta take care of yourself. That's all good. Get a rest. Have a snooze. It's all good. I would say humanoid retro with uh, lots of tape drives. That's awesome, dude. That's sick. That's so cool. Thank you so much for the raid. Have a good one, whatever you need to do. And uh, if you're new and you're joining us for this game, it's okay, it's not gonna make any sense, but this game doesn't make any sense to all of us who've been watching it for the entire stream. So you're, you're, all, you're all good, just uh, enjoy the ride. You're in for the ride. We apparently, we're tra currently trying to alert people of an accident that's happened. And uh, I think I must have not up activated the flag properly for some reason. Um, uh, this looks like, oh, it's, it's very interesting. This game uh, is interesting is the right way to describe it. Uh, we could give Jets an honorary American. I do want to play Metal Wolf Chaos. Yes, I absolutely want to play Metal Wolf Chaos. Also, someone was like, uh, are you new to games? Yes, I am relatively new to games. I've really only been playing games uh, a lot as much as I've been streaming. I wasn't really able to play games growing up at all. So, um, I've used my, uh, you know, me streaming as like a brilliantly, geniusly constructed ruse to allow myself uh, uh, the best excuse of all time to play all the games I wanted to as a kid. <laughs> and games I didn't even know existed as a kid. Um, you know, it's like a, it's like the ultimate ploy to play so, 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 so many games. It's working pretty well too. Um, you've been playing games for years. By years, you mean three years at this point? God, it's been three years. No way, no way, no way. Okay, maybe we have to click on the car again. Maybe we didn't activate it enough. 
I know, that's the same thing. Oh, do we actually have to talk to jo Jesus? Is that what we have to do? Do we actually have to talk to Jesus? Oh, maybe we're meant to go run up the road? Oh! A whole new area? Oh, do the bike! Do the bike! Do the bike! Oh! What the hell? We have a whole new area to explore with new music. What's up, friend? Why are you in the middle of the road? What does it look like? My bike is busted! Tough break. It's quite the bicycle you have there. It's a bike. Okay. Not a bicycle. It's a bike, okay? Not a bicycle. The term bicycle is mostly suited to a machine of this caliber. Uh, well, well, good luck fixing it. Hey, I know who you are. Uh, he does? You're that handyman out of cooled in. I need your help then. Fix my bike. Oh god, are we going like on a bike fixing quest? I'm not a handyman, okay? I just find stuff. Works for me too. Come on, without my machine, I'm finished. Are you a bike messenger? You're a bike messenger, are you? That's right, I'm the lifeblood of this island. Oh god, we need to fix a bike so we can light. Oh, now I see. You got no idea how many people are relying on my wills, man. Yeah, there's people about to die relying on your wills, dude. It's an important job you've got there, I'll give you that. I'm Ken, what's your name? <gasps> He's Ken! He's Ken enough. Uh, Mondo, Sumi Mondo. This is Mondo it is. I'm counting on you, pal. I'll take a look at it. I'm not... I'm... Uh, not that I'm a mechanic or anything like that. <sighs> sorry. Oh, sorry. Thanks. There's something wrong with the gears. I just need them fixed. This should be fine. We should be able to fix some gears, right? We should be able to fix some gears on a bike. It shouldn't be too tough. What a fine young man. Men who are passionate about their work shine at any place or time. I guess I'm one of them too. But hold on. People say that you usually suck at what they do. Ah, well, whatever. I'm just brimming with the desire to help this kid out. I need to read up on these gears then. Mystery can sit within these gears. When hurling into the mysteries, mystery calls up more mystery. What's a mystery without mystery? Mystery proceeds. Hurling towards the idea of solving all mysteries. Open Catherine. Take care of this bicycle. Uh, bike. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we have to read up on bikes? God, what is in the guidebook about bikes? I don't even remember there being pages in the guidebook about bikes. What? Mm. It seems kind of wrong to jack into a bike. You are correct, jetpack. Bikes. I don't remember seeing a page on bikes. Stephen Carboni. Engineer. That's gears. Oh. <gasps> Oh shit! The rear gear is 15 teeth and the front gear is 48 teeth. Is it this what it is? 1548? Is this what it is? We'll just double check there isn't anything else with the bike. That might be it, right? So let's jack, jack into the bike. Nope, not a type A jack. Not a type B jack. Not a type C jack. Not a type D jack. Not a type E jack. Not a type F jack. Type C, C jack. H, okay. Also, does that say gear ratio? This gear is getting ratioed. You're off your game, Jets. We're absolutely... Wait, 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 wait. It's only two numbers, so it's either 15 or 48. Crap. I guess it's the rear one, so it might be 15. If it's not 15, then it's definitely got to be for 48. It's 
What's the ratio? Wait, wait, what? I have to work out the ratio? Oh no. Do I have to work out the ratio between 15 and 48? What's that mean? I actually don't know how ratio works. Get your calculator. Oh no. Gear ratios. Bros, I don't know. I don't know how ratios work. I genuinely have no idea how ratios work at all. This is way above my mathematical education. I can I can barely times n plus things together. I can definitely not do ratios. I'm gonna need your help, Jetpack. The ratio is 15 at the at the rear and 48 at the front. What is one number as a proportion of another? What does that mean? Can you divide? No, I can't do division. I'm sorry, I can't do division. It's just division jets. I, I can't do division. I actually don't know how to do division. It means divide? Is it divide? Wait, what the hell is 15 divided by 48? How do you divide? But a calculator can. But that's cheating. Divide and find the common denominator. 15 divided by 45. Just, it's just divide over. I don't know what that means, I'm sorry. Nah, I'm not doing maths on Twitch, fine. Fair, 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 fair. Okay, calculator. Calculator. Okay, so. 15 divided by 48 equals 0 0.31? 3.2.1? One one of the same. Three times the three left over. No, you want to divide 48 by 15. Oh! 48 divided by 15 equals 3.2. So is it... Oh gosh. Three... Final I'm not confident about this one, but I'm trusting you, Jetpack. You guys are so good. You guys are too good. I, I, you guys, I would not have been able to do that without you, bros. I would have had to look that up. <laughs> good job, Mr. Mondo. You got some real skills. That's all the Twitch chat. That's all the Twitch chat. There, then shouldn't you get going to take off? I love to, but Matai isn't here yet. Surely comes around now. You mean Matai the maid in the hotel? Why would she come here? When she finishes her cleaning the hotel, she helps out for dinner. It's her daily schedule. She's a hard working lady, isn't she? I help out at the dinner too, actually. You do? That's all you got to say? How about a little praise for me too? Oh, of course, you're a fine young man, Ken. A, re a real hard worker. Yeah, I do work hard. <laughs> this fucking guy. I'll keep working hard so I can become a messenger in the big city. That's what I'm saving all my money for. Oh, good for him. He's saving his money. That's a fine goal. I'm quite jealous of you, Ken. Mr. Mondo. You have a skill that's... That's why you've been called here to work, isn't it? That's right. That, that, that's being a man right there. <laughs> believing in your skills and doing a job, good job by using them. Yeah, that's right. Only men can believe in their skills and do a good job using them. I, I as, <laughs> as a lady, um, I, do, I, I refuse. I, I, I refuse as, as a woman. Nah, catch me never believing in my skills and doing a good job of using them. <laughs> oh, sooner. <laughs> I would never, as a lady, as, as a representative for all lady, I like to say I would never believe in my skills and do a good job using them. You're a good messenger though, aren't you, Ken, on your bicycle? <laughs> quite right, Jess, quite right, quite right. Uh, it's a bike, okay? Jeez. I guess, but sometimes I think, you know, all I do is ride up and down. It doesn't really inspire confidence. Not at all, Ken. 
if you if you ride your bicycle with confidence, then it becomes one of your skills. It's all about having confidence. You have to believe in yourself, don't you? You just at the Blair and sit there looking pretty, young lady. We'll take care of it. <laughs> Honestly, oh my god, Suda's great. He's, he's ridiculous. I'm a dark knight. Welcome and how you doing, bro? Welcome, welcome. I'm never making deliveries on this island or out among the skyscrapers. Among us? Uh, both the jobs that help other people. It's work you can be proud of. This is a nice little, little like a prep speech, speech from Sumio. I like it. Galen, dude, welcome and how you doing? How can you not be confident in that? You're right. That's exactly right, Mr. Mondo. You're giving me the wake-up call I need. I like that he has the freaking YouTuber dyed green hair. It's very good. Uh, I've always lived on this island. So I was too fixated on getting away from here. Thank you, Mr. Mondo. I need to repay you for this somehow. The deer is just about, just up ahead. So how about I treat you? <gasps> Are we going to finally eat? No, Mondo, please accept. Mondo, please accept. We, we have not ate any food this entire trip. Please accept it. No, I won't hear it. Go ahead. I'll be right behind you. <gasps> Dudes. Food, 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 food. Look at that kid go! Thanks for your help. Let's go. Food, 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 food. Yeah, we got priorities right. Who cares about the crack? Can we go? Can we go over here? What is this? Wow, dude, there's so much to explore. What is this? It's like a pier and stuff. We meant to be able to go over here. Can we go to the pier? Am I? Am I getting ahead of myself? Oh, it doesn't look like we can. Oh no, we can. Look at the little pixel guy. Maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. I don't think I'm meant to be going here yet. And I'm like, I can't believe we can actually just explore parts of the map here. Beach episode! <gasps> Jetpack, can you put your one piece on? Jetpack and the one piece is real. Jetpack, are you, uh, do you think the jetpack would be a more of like a two piece or a one piece kind of deal? You guys a little bikini? Or speedo? <laughs> yeah, true. Well, that was a fun little depot. Speedo. So I second this. <laughs> speedo, yeah, I can see the speedo. My mind will shut up there's a random fishing game. God, now you're making me sad there's not a random fishing game. Suda would do that too. Suda, come on, man. Budgie mm. smugglers. Now I'm dreaming of random fishing games. I could really go for a random fishing game. Is, is that just like, a, is that like the human condition to appreciate fishing games in like mini fishing games and other video games? That's like human instinct, right? The human condition. Yeah, who cares about terrorism? We got fish to catch. No, that's your boom assault. It's not. Fishing's relaxing, okay? If I can turn a game into a fishing game, I will. <laughs> and I'm right for that. I'm, I'm right for that. Tom Boomer, oi! Okay, Tom Boomer, <laughs> whatever you say, Tom Boomer. Okay, Boomer, okay. What, 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 uh, one day the briefcase handcuffed him, because now that's a go. Wouldn't surprise me, sued on his damn briefcases, I swear. I swear. Are we meant to be going in here? Yes! Oh! <gasps> Interaction point. Who cares about the car crash? We got foods to eat. Hello, what is this game about? Kraken, I really wish I could explain it to you. But um this game is more about just kind of Experiencing it than understanding it. <laughs> Welcome in. Hey, dude! I made it! Okay. 
is a nice place. A slice of, I don't know if I'd call it slice of life, but may, maybe. It depends on how your, if your life is like this. It's not very accurate to most people's lives, I don't think. Mr. Mondo. Matthias still isn't here. She's normally here by now. Do you think that maybe she was in the accident? A bit worried about her, actually. A bit worrying, isn't it? You know, Matthias is kind of... But special to you? Oh boy. I need to open the place up. So please, Mr. Mondo. Me again? Go to the hotel. It's pretty far away, you know. I'm counting on you, Mr. Mondo. What about the free meal you promised me? We're never gonna eat. We're never going to eat in this game. <laughs> I also do like he's like, yeah, the other accident we were freaking out about. Uh now I just want a meal. Okay, let's go. Free, free meal will maybe happen after we save Matai. Ma Matai? I know idea this game is, but watching you without knowing is kind of fun. It, it, I think that's genuinely true about this game. Because here's the thing, if you're just joining us now, or you've been with us since the start of the gameplay experience, you're not getting any more context about this game than, it, than someone who's been here since the start. I'm being sincere. It's a, this game doesn't, <laughs> it's consistently confusing. I'm gonna like falling asleep hard, long day. That's all good, Jana. Enjoy your sleep, dude. Enjoy your sleep. Hope you rest well. I get it being a long day. I feel the same. Uh, daylight savings have changed, kind of messed up my rhythm a little bit, but um, so I understand. And this game kind of is a little bit of like a lurking game. It's a bit of a schnoozing game, so I understand it. It's the great equalizer. We get no more context. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, the only pre only the premise is lost because every chapter is self-contained. Yeah, 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 exactly. Uh, the premise is like we're trying to stop us terrorism. That's like all you need to know. We're trying to stop terrorism and weird things keep happening. It's it's like Twin Peaks, right? You could jump into any season of any episode of season one or two of Twin Peaks and be like, all you need to know is you're trying to solve a murder. You don't, like, the weird things are happening constantly. You don't need to know any more than it's weird and, and Dale Cooper is trying to solve a murder. Yeah, some things are just a vibe and you want to go for long for the ride. Exactly. Exactly. I like these pseudo games. I like, once again, I get that they're not everybody's cup and tea. And it sometimes, like, it makes me sad when we play games like this and not a lot of people, you know, uh, willing to give them a chance. But I don't like. I I love these kinds of games. It's not gonna, you know. I, I just no matter what. I want to. I want to. Like oh, X Files is like that too. Yeah, I've I never watched the later seasons of X Files. But I'm gonna be honest. I don't think I want to. <laughs> like I watched like season one of X Files and like a bit of season two and then clips of other episodes. I don't know if I want to experience the later seasons of X Files. I think I'm okay with just like enjoying. Like this, the first season and so. Did you play No More Heroes on stream? I have not played No More Heroes yet, being the key term. I do want to play No More Heroes eventually. I would like to play all of Suda's work actually. Uh, Suda, so, uh, like, I would love to play all of Suda's work and also I would love to, um, yeah, Suda. And then there's another game author that you guys, uh, oh, Matai, she's fine. Even the wrestling games? Hell yeah. Uh, what? <gasps> what? Why do these things keep happening? I thought that it was going to kill her. I genuinely thought it was going to kill her. I think someone is having a bit of fun with me. My tie? Just, wait, we, need, we can't get back into the hotel now. My tie, are you okay? Oh, Mr. Mondo. Don't worry about me. What are you, Mr. Mondo? I'm fine. You're not hurt? Oh no, I'm still one piece, sorry to have worried you. But there's no way to pass the sign now. Yeah, that's the problem. G g just go around. No, it's fine. I won't I won't question it. I'm not no. We're not questioning it. 
uh, if we touch the grass, we are disobeying the little sign that says don't step in the grass. We couldn't possibly do that. We couldn't possibly do that. We have to stay on the road, which means we unfortunately can't go past the sign. It makes total sense. Just what is going on here? What are the chances of this sign falling and falling here? Anyway, Matai, Kem was looking for you. But you aren't going to make it to dinner anytime soon, are you? I fixed a problem with the electrical supply at the hotel. I don't know what to do about it, honestly. Come on then, details! We don't know the cause, but... The manager believes... To be the work of the terrorist? Wait, the terrorists are now messing with the electricity? What the hell? Edo does love to exaggerate things. We don't have concrete proof. The problem is most likely over on Ikai Island? If that's the case, then this could be a real problem. I see. And I can take care of this, I'm guessing, from the pattern right here. I'm sure that you can solve the problem, Mr. Mondo. I see. So I need to visit Elki Island? That seems to be the only way. What the hell? We're visiting an island now? I was not expecting this plot development. Yeah, how would I go about doing that? Follow the road from the diner. Back there again? I'm very sorry, Mr. Mondo. Oh, don't worry about it. There's a sign on the way to the diner. It reads... Power Beach. Okay, okay. Follow the coast and you'll come to a jetty. Oh, yeah. The boat there can be used to cross to Elki Island. It's a small desolate island, but all of Lost Pass's electricity comes from there. Sounds like quite a boring place. Oh, yeah, there's nothing fun to do there at all. <laughs> Great. No, not even any, like, topless volleyball like we're doing Top Gun. Nope. Nothing? Okay. They could at least build a casino or something. Yeah, or a casino could work as well. That's right, you're very right. You wait here until the hotel's fixed up then, Matai. Thank you. Okay, see you later. Well, here's the long run back jetpack. We're on a road to nowhere. Coming inside. Taking a ride to nowhere. We'll take a ride. Okay, let's 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 go in here. I really thought this whole game was gonna be confined to the hotel. How long is this game? I think we last I checked we'd only completed like 16% of the game. I'm assuming surely we're at like 20 or 30% mark now, right? Like surely. Actually, we could do like a midi of that song. Wait, is there a, is there a, um, is there a, this game is huge. I, last time I checked, we were like only like 15%. So I'm, I'm assuming it's gotta be like 13%. Uh, road to nowhere. Come on, it's gotta be. Um... No, there's no Super Mario 64 Road to Nowhere. No, I was hoping I was hoping there would be um a cover of the song by the Talking Heads. Maybe it's a MIDI version. Galen, double month EP. Galen, thank you so much for um subscribing for two months, bro. I hope you continue to enjoy your every broadcast and your uh jetpack emotes. Thank you so kindly, dude. We wait, what? Crash, Crash Bandicoot. Is it? Oh, there's a song in Crash Bandicoot called Road to Nowhere? What? Sorry, I'm now just getting really distracted. <laughs> I'm getting so distracted. <laughs> oh, God. That's a level? <laughs> this sounds so crunchy. This sounds like it could be in the game. Oh, 
the music came back! Damn it. Damn it, the music came back. Um, do listen to podcasts. I'm not really a podcast person, I'm gonna be honest. I've had like, I've had like, uh, bouts of listening to podcasts in my time. But there tends to be, and it has been in the past, always like, um, visual podcasts on YouTube. So it was, it, it's more like I'm listening to some kind of video essay. Um, rather than like a podcast, like it's something I can put in the background on YouTube. I don't really listen to just audio podcasts. For some reason I find having even just like a vague visual in the corner of like people just sitting there and talking helps my brain. I don't, I don't know why. Just doing audio, if it's just audio, like I'm listening to it on Spotify, I'm so tempted to just mute it and, and forget about it and not come back to it. Whereas if it's a, it's a video, yeah, it helps me with my retention uh, a little bit. But I'm more likely to go for an audio book of a podcast, I think, definitely. I don't currently have any podcasts that um, I connect with or really want to check out on a regular basis. And I, I can't even say the ones I've listened to in the past, like, I even can recall or think were even that good. Yeah, hmm, I don't know. If you guys have some good podcasts, I'd be considered checking them out, genuinely. Um, Cause yeah, I, I can't really think of podcasts that's like worth my while. I don't know. Like maybe if it was about a very specific topic, like I'd rather just go and watch like the art assignment. I'd rather rewatch the art assignment or like something like that. The Joe Rogan experience, true brother. So real brother. No, I'm not gonna listen to Joe Rogan experience, Jetpack. I'm not gonna listen. <laughs> Uh, only podcast I listen to is Please Stop Talking uh, and Pondering Spooky Tapes. There's like a lot of spooky podcasts, right? I'm not really into like spooky podcasts. Zephrenic, I have not. I'm the opposite. If I'm watching something, I can't look at something else. Every content is the main monitor content. Really? Interesting. I, I, I like to multi-content, specifically because I do art. So I'll listen to music or audio books or, or video essays if I'm working on art. Um, if it's guys shooting news or topics, it's better in video for me. Uh, listening to D and D roleplay than eat audio is cool. Am I meant to be going in here? I'm getting that Diaz feeling. A mystery is contained within this container. When hurling into the mystery, mystery calls up more mysteries. What's a mystery without mystery? Mystery proceeds. Hurdle was the idol of solving the mystery. Open, Catherine. Let's take care of this. Oh, we found a lost item by accident. Oh, shit. We found a lost item. Uh, It's number two. Did I save the ones this time? I think I did. Was this it? Highway receipt. What year were the two highway crossing Lost Pass Island Past highway and lost highway completed. Oh crap, I've not been paying attention to this. I guess it's in the guidebook? Oh crap, we have to find about Lost Pass Island. Okay, big highway runs into Lost Pass Island. Does it say when it was completed? Does it say when it was completed? Mm, gateway to Paradise, Lost Pass Airport, Fly into Tomorrow, Power Beach, Shopping Center. This is a side quest, we don't have to complete these. Church, Church Organ, Garden, Navigator. I mean, we don't have to. Light tower, stranded ship. Oh, roads, here we go. Let's see, when did they get completed? There's gotta be a number here. Um, roads at least lost paths. These two highways used when visiting lost paths surrounding. It doesn't say when they were completed. Oh, 15 years ago. 15 years. It did, it did, it did, it did. Uh, uh, 15 years ago? Damage the island's environment? 
It's gonna be, yeah, so 15 years ago. Let's see, let's see, hopefully it's two. Is it two? Yes, okay, nice. Okay, 15, one, five. Yes. Oh, thank you so kindly. <gasps> Yo, that's a Yozo emote. Bro, hell yeah, hell yeah, Yozo love. Hell yeah, my, well, th my model's not cute, but I appreciate your kind words. I made the art myself. Hell yeah. Okay, so now we have to go to the the bridge. Something about we have to find the... Was it all the way back to the jetty? Oh my gosh, let me guess. It's all the way back at the jetty. Yes, don't lie. My, my model is super cool. What are you talking about? My model is the coolest. What do you mean cute, Jetpack? My model is the toughest, coolest model on Twitch.tv. Uh, and they're merely referring to the cute little purple fella in my arms who's a little cute little guy. Okay? That's what they're talking about. I'm talking about you, Jetpack. You. Okay. God, I am getting a workout. We might get to 10,000, 100,000? Are we gonna get to 100,000 steps today? We are, we are, we are. Sumiru Mondo is doing more steps in this one day than I've done in my entire life. Definitely in the, my entire last few years of my life, that's for sure. <laughs> We're really sitting there going, oh well. All this running around has just been one chapter. Yeah, this is quite an intense chapter. Okay, it's gotta be... The jetty? I ran right past, past the jetty. I messed up, bros. He's doing all this walking in a suit, in a tropical area. You raised such a good point, Jetpack. Playing through elevator music, playing the headphones. I do like to imagine that the jetpacks are listening to like really, really aggressive, like heavy metal music. It's quite funny. Just like sitting there, head empty, but inside the headphones is like, Ooh, like you. <laughs> I think that'd be quite good. And he hasn't eaten in a week. Yeah, poor Sumi Mondo, man. Just let the men have a have a snack, have a grape. They're listening to intelligent dance music. Hell yeah, Jetpack. Hell yeah. Jetpack listen to the IDM. Nice. Also, Shindings, bro, how you doing? How you doing? Welcome in, Shindings. Hope you're doing well today, dude. The most aggressive metal music. Surely it's gotta be the edge of this bridge. They said something about the jetty and we have not encountered any other jetty. Unless we have to talk to the guy. If we have to talk to the dude, no. We might have to talk to the dude first. I might have messed up. I probably messed up. So much running. We are going to hit like 10,000 steps. <gasps> yes! We did it! Wait, that's not like a boat. What is that? That's like a, st that's like a plank of wood with an engine. That does not look like a boat. Why are we standing on it like that? <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> All the music there. Okay, the music. Alright, Suda, I see you. I hear you. Okay, he's very stanced up. Oh my god, it's the music. Why, what, like, this choice of, like, the score for, like, Standing on a boat. He's got the Captain Jack Starris dance. I wonder if that's what Suda's referencing. I've got no idea. Maybe it is. Okay. Oh, no. Not okay. Music terrifying. Very much not okay, boys. Yeah, very much uncomfortable right now. Mmm. Not feeling secure. A 
Eliki Island, is it? I certainly have a way with words in these parts. LP, as in electric guitar, perhaps? <laughs> uh huh. Still, going this far out of my way, I really am a nice guy. A pushover, but nice. It's just like that dumb kid said. Yeah, we really shouldn't be doing all this. We, uh. The music, though. I really like this music. It's probably my, fav my favorite music so far. What the. What the hell? We just. Ooh! That's so good. Take care of yourself, bro. Take care of yourself. I'm just, I'm afraid of going to the next room and then like, the music not working. I want to hear these tunes. Or the music changing. Oh no! I wanted to hear the tunes. A sight to soothe the heart of any power crazed electricity freak freaks. Uh, any power crazed electricity freak freaks in the chat? Uh, jetpack plus one if you're a power crazed electricity freak. <laughs> I'm so power crazed, bro. I'm an absolute electricity freak. Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> Look at the force of that discharge. I guess that's what sent the sign into orbit? Oh. Jenny Hunter, welcome in. Thank you for filling for Open Dreams Day. Psychological warfare? What, wait, whoa, 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 hold on. Psychological warfare? When, how do we get psychological warfare from all this? Also, we should definitely walk into the active electricity zone. What's the worst that can happen? Oh yeah, nice. We just click, click on some panels. We're qualified to do so. Oh god, decipher psychology? What my power maps are? Hell yeah, bro. What could possibly go wrong? A mystery concealed within this electrical pipe. When hurling into the mystery, a mystery calls up more mysteries. What's a mystery without mystery when mystery proceeds? Hurling, hurtled on towards the idea of solving more mysteries. Open, Catherine. Take care of this pylon! <laughs> this game's so good. Take care of this pylon! Okay, okay, I don't know. Okay, well, let's first of all, let's check what the jack is. We're jacking into this pylon. Very normal. Very normal thing to do. Just, uh, just a classic, you know, uh, electricity peeled bro jacking into the pylon. How many numbers is it? It's two? Okay, cool. It's two numbers. Let's go back. Check out the guidebook. There was something about electricity in the guidebook. 100,000%. Business tower, lighthouse, lost culture, forest navigator, garden, church, spice shop, power beach? It's maybe it wasn't power beach, was it? Mm, fly in tomorrow, airport. Okay, what do we need here? We need business tower, spice shop, gardens, Iki Island, Desi deserted island, number 12. Page 12. Page 12 is Iki Island. 11, 12. Is that where it was? 
No. Wasn't 12? 17. Oh? Sorry. Lost. All roads lead to lost paths. We did that. Where is the one about the power? <laughs> Sorry. There was one about power, right? Uh, I swear there was one about Iki Island. Don't mind me sneezing everywhere, so impolite. Welcome to Lost Pass Island. Airport, Power Beach, Donor, Flower Sun, Jetty Spice Shop, The Garden, The Ruins, The... Then it says number 12. It says number 12 is in deserted island that receives very few visitors. Page 17. Maybe it was page 17? Jetty. Hmm. Round 43, I saw something. 43. Here? 43. What's the cleaning service? Psycho. Oh! That looks like the power thing, right? I said something about psychology, right? Oh shit! Hold up, that looks like the power thing! It said something about psychology. Um. It's a two number thing. You pick up two shells every three steps and toss one into the sea every five steps. They're walking 50 steps to look down. Oh no, the power ones are always really confusing. The psychology of the pylon. It's the psychology of the pylon. What the hell's the psychology of a pylon? Named after the Elking electrical pylons that dominate Elkin Island. Psychological quiz named after the electrical pylons. Um. Are we. Do we have to do one for every single one? Are we at number two, maybe? you to make you a special drink. Here are the three he has offered you. We went to the middle pylon, so but one, two, three, four, but how are they arranged? How do we, if this is the second pylon, how do we know what order they're in? One, two, three, like that? Is it meant to be like that? Guys, I'm so confused. Are they marked at all? That's a good question. Wait, no, it looks like they were. Looks like there was a number. I can't read it though. It looks like there was a number on the top of it. What was that number? Oh, it's five? Did that say five? <gasps> no way. Did that say five? That says five. That's his five, bros. Oh shit. That's his five. Go, 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 go. We wiped it out. We wiped it out. Holy crap. Holy crap. We're cooking. Okay, so now we go back here. Catherine, guide me my book. It was like 35 or something. Uh, Pylon mystery. Number five. Okay, four, five. It's 
two numbers. Because let me hear. Six people have ordered a cheesecake. We only have one 20 centimeter of diamond cake left. Can you help me work out the exact angle to cut in order to give me each person the same size piece? We need to find out the exact angle. So it, is it six divided by 20? Is that the angle? How do angles work? Ah, how do angles work? This is the worst enemy mask. So we, 20 centimeter diameter, we have to serve six people. We need to find out the angle to cut it at. We need to find out the angle to cut the slice at. Just knock a handful of cake at each person and call it good. Honestly, I would. I'm more like that. I'm more likely to do that. Let's do bass. So, Rose, I need your help, Jetpack. Jetpack, your mathematical skills are my only hope. Six divided by 20? 20 divided by six. Three point three three three. Three point three recurring. That doesn't ma make sense, does it? Is it three point three recur recurring? Three sixty divided by the amount of slices. Divided by sixty is 60 is it 60 it's 60 what i'm gonna we're gonna give it a go so the circle is 360 so it's 60. Guys are so big brain. Yeah. You guys are so big brain. Please, do, do we have to do this for every single pylon? So many pylons. What's number is that one? Four? I can't even see the number of that one. Is it four? I think it's four. He's gonna he's gonna melt our minds, jetpack. Four. He's gonna melt our minds. We have to do six of these. Okay. It was like 39 or something. This is the worst mind break ever. This is crazy. So number four. Scrolling a, a beach the dust, you find beautiful shells, take it back to a plant and a distant homeland. You pick up two shells every three steps. Toss one into the sea every five steps. After walking 50 steps, you look down at the collection of cells in your hands. What's the first thing you see? That is fucked up. It's fucked up. This is fucked up. I, I can't believe we're doing Professor Layton. I did not think that the pseudo game, was, a pseudo game was gonna turn into Professor Layton. I cannot believe this. Gantz, thank you so much for following my man. I hope you enjoy your stay here. I cannot believe we're freaking playing freaking 12 match steak. Um. 
two shells every three steps. Well, you can see every five steps. You're working 50 steps. You look down at the collection of shells in your hands and what do you see? Shells. Can I answer the question, shells? We're throwing 10 shells. So we can like minus 10 shells. So we have to work out two every three. So it's like 50 divided by three. Wait, wait. 50 d divided by three equals 16. Then we do 16 times two. 32. Take 10. 22. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. I don't know. It's twenty-two, right? Try it. Oh, brother. Twenty-three. Do you feel lucky? No. I hate maths. This is fucked up. This is so fucked up. Suter is so messed up for this right now. He's doing so much permanent damage to my mind. Quite lately, that's all good out of joke. Take care of yourself. I get that it's very late for you, bros. Don't, once we finish this chapter, we might call it anyway. I just. We've got to get past these freaking pylons. Maybe we'll finally get breakfast. What an insane... Insane quiz. Okay, now we need six. What's six gonna be? Okay, let's look up at the journal. Guidebook. Uh, somewhere around here. Six is... <gasps> Other day, Lost Pass Island, you are in your bed. or make the most of tomorrow. Okay. There are three buttons. From the left hour. Minutes, one minute. It's set to 7.50 from this morning. You press the left button three times, the middle button four times, and the right button twice. Hour, 10 minutes, and one minute. Oh no! <laughs> Seven plus three, eight, nine, ten. 10. Oh god, I've screwed myself so big time for choosing to play this game. This is... Why have I willingly put myself in a situation to do mathematics? We could just Google this. I'm an adult. We don't have to do this, bros. We don't. We don't. We just straight dub don't have to. 4 hours and 42 minutes, add that to 750. But I, what if I didn't? What if we just Googled it? But we're robbing Shooter. Shooter's robbing us of our precious time. <laughs> and sanity. And sanity. Okay. It's 42 on top of 50. That would be... 42. That would be... 92? 92 isn't time. That's not how that works. 11.32. I believe you. I believe it's 11.32. I don't have the brain power to do this. <gasps> no? It's not? What? Jetpack, no! Oh no!
Can we see the pump again? Yeah, we can. You're robbing yourself. You chose the game. I know, and I'm beginning to regret my choice. I did not think this game was going to have maths in it. I will be genuinely honest. None of the other studio games have a maths in it. Math, maths have had maths in it. This is a drastic shift from the previous two pseudo games we've played. Those previous games had like sex and drugs and rock and roll. This game's like, hey, wanna do some maths? <laughs> okay, let's do this. So. Sex and drug and maths. So. One hour, 10 minutes, and then a one minute button. Still set to 750. You press the left button three times. The middle button of course time. Uh, the right button twice. When the alarm comes on in the morning, what's the f first thing you hear? It might be minus. Maybe. That's a thought. So then, yeah, so 42. Try 408. That's an interesting idea. But I think it was four slots, not three slots. That'd be 0408. Oh. Okay, let's give it a go. Oh. oh, or it's using 24 hour time. Final answer. It might be 24 hour time. Oh my god, it's probably 24 hour time. God damn it. So if it's 24 hour time, then it would be, what's 11.32 in 24 hour time? Um, four, 11.32 should be the time either way. For AM 24 hour, it's, n it's not 11.32. Why is it an 11.32? I'm over my head jetpack. I'm, I'm gonna start googling the answers very soon. What if it's radio? Setting an alarm at a clock, there's no PM. I don't even understand time. Full stop. <laughs> this is so not designed for my brain, unfortunately. This is so oppositely designed for my brain. I'm so sorry. Two, three, three, two would be the military time for 11.32 AM. Then it's 23. You think it's 23? If it's PM, so you guys think it's two, three, three, two. Okay, we're doing, if it's PM and it's military time. Two, three, uh, three, three. Final answer. I think we Google it. <laughs> I think we Google it. Fuck this. Uh, flower, flower, sun, and rain. Electric pylon answers. 
It's 10.32. It's 10.32? Okay, we'll put your test. We're going to put your test, your answer to the test, McAngram. I believe, I have faith. We can do this. We can freaking do this. Open Catherine. No, just, I just, I can't believe I'm doing this much mass in a pseudo game. It's blowing my mind. And by blowing my mind, I mean melting my mind. Suda, please have pity. One, zero, three, two, Final yes! Big brain! You did it. I'm so proud of you, Jetpack. But three more. Three more left. Then, then it'll be over, right? GG. Surely this, it will be easy, this pseudo game. Surely we'll have fun on our beach adventure. Surely our beach adventure, our be beach Bahamas holiday will be fun. Okay, let's, so there's only three left. Easy. Easy, easy. Okay. So, three. Scrolling all the way down to the bottom. Okay. You work out, you kind of can. He tells you about the work he's got. I've been mean, busy since this morning. First, I got eight messages from, from Eldo, two were for the diner. Where I also picked up four more, then collected seven more for the post box. Then I returned hotel, gave me and gave five messages to Edo. That's where you found me. Here's one for you. So I bet you're wondering how many messages I have left here. Okay. Okay. I got eight messages for Edo, two for the diner where I also picked up four more, then I collected seven more for the post box by shot. So actually he got eight minus two, eight minus two, six. Where I picked up four more, ten. Then I collected seven more from the Sam post box by the spice shop, seventeen. Gave five to the hotel, one, two, three, four, five, twelve. And I gave one to you. Eleven? Eleven? I'm so... I don't know. I'm so bad at this stuff, man. You guys are getting 16 to 18? How did I get... How do I get 11? And how was it right? What? Sorry. Two more. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. We're almost out of this purgatory state of doing mathematics that we're stuck in. Holy moly. Two more. Then I'm free, Suda. Come on, come on, baby. Jetpack is pr if I'm sorry, but if I got that before you, I'm sorry. My condolences. <laughs> my condolences. If I worked out that math thing and you didn't, I'm very sorry. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> I'm very sorry. Um, okay, here we go. Lock the bar and to offer to make a special drink. Here are the three, there are three he's offered, which, uh, three, right? Special drink. Here are the three he's offered you. It's gotta be, oh wait, seven flowers, twin suns, and an umbrella. Seven flowers, two suns, umbrella would be like, one? Or eight? What's, how many spokes on an umbrella? I've got no idea. I don't, mm. 
I don't like the way this question is formatted. Yep, it was three, wasn't it? Seven, two, what's umbrella? What's umbrella? Seven. Two. Yeah, what would be an umbrella? One? Because un being one? <laughs> that sounds insane. That sounds insane. What? Wait. What? What's umbrella mean? I'm gonna go with one. Yeah. Wow, well, does that make sense? Suda, why why is this working? Why is this working? This shouldn't be working. Why is my why is my logic working? What the hell? Thank you, Monster Mike. What the hell? Umbrellas look like one more That's what I was thinking, but that's true. That logic is insane. Oh god, bros, we're into the last one. Ah, we're into the last one. We can do this. The final one. It's all gonna be worth it. We'll finally get food. They'll finally feed us. It's gotta be, it's gotta be, it's gotta be. Easy, easy. First try. I'm a genius. I'm on fire right now. Okay, here we go. Number one. You arrive in a room, flowers and rain, beautiful scenery. From the window, it takes your breath away. You see three prominent things around you. You see two birds, five palm trees, and a clock pointing to seven. That can't be too hard, right? Is it just two, five, seven? break stay tuned and find out in the next episode of pack and ball z i see it martino still what a bewitching island terribly bewitching island fearfully so i have to think carefully about how this makes me feel wait that was for nothing No. Suntan. You're gonna turn bright red. Pink Chris. Gonna get burned. Oh, the bike guy. Hello. Hello. Have you seen Chris? He's a pink crocodile. Nope. Sorry, kid. Hey, I know. My work takes me all over the island. If I spot her anywhere, I'll come and tell you right away. You will? I will. With my bike, I can find you in a flash. Thank you. Hope you find us soon then. Bye! Uh, one thing. Where will I be able to find you? Uh... Ominous. Ominous. Ominous! Well. What a... Chapter, boys. I don't know if that... I think that might be my least favourite chapter so far. <laughs> Too much math. Too much math for that on that chapter, honestly. 
Honestly, I was, uh, I've been enjoying the chapters, but far too much mathematics in that one. <clears throat> Welcome back. Go on an adventure in Elky Island. You look worn out. There's no way to get around on this island apart from running around, after all. You'll be running a lot more in the upcoming chapters, too. Oh, by the way, those pylons are called Elkings. It's short for Electronic Kingdom. Not what you're thinking it is. I shall be waiting for you a smile at the front desk. Oh, boy. I think we've got to call it here, boys. I think we've got to call it here. I think it will show us the percentage we've completed. Let's double check this. I want to see the percentage of the game we've completed because I feel like we've cons uh, we've only completed a very, very, very small percentage. And I, I, I'm pretty certain it's like shockingly small amount of the game we've played so far. Didn't have it. It's like it will show the percentage. Yep, thirty-two percent complete. What? <laughs> this game is massive. What the hell? Only thirty-two percent, bro. Crazy. That's crazy. Okay, let's put some vacuum chaps on, and we'll jump over to the chatting screen. So, Jetpack, do you, want me, do you want me to keep your DS on you while we go to the chatting screen? I think you guys do. I'll keep it on. We're gonna be stuck in pseudo mathematics hell forever. I mean, I like the game a lot. As long as it doesn't hit me with too many math questions, I'm genuinely having a really good time with it. It's just, I, me and maps don't go hand in hand. I don't know how I keep on doing this to myself. Like, I keep, keep on accidentally choosing games that have a lot of maths in them. So we get stuck in Professor Layton puzzles. I mean, Professor Layton has the incredible story that's like easy to get through. And the game's kind of designed to have like children friendliness to it which I could not imagine trying to play Flowers on Rain as like a kid. Like imagine being 12, 11 and, and like playing Flowers on a Rain. That would have, that would have been a choice. That would have been a choice. Um, yeah, that also includes all the Lost and Found. Oh, true. Okay, if that's including the Lost and Found we missed, we might have made a little bit more progress in that because I have missed a few days of lost and found that is that is correct that is correct yep i have done that so it might be a little bit it might be a little bit uh less than we thought well bros thank you for hanging out today i know today was uh more of a chill relaxed day you know it's it's a suited day it's a suited monday we're just taking it easy you know how it be but i will be back with uh gumpla on wednesday uh now i was saying earlier today and i guess we could chat for it a little bit now we didn't really get to get into it properly because we got raided by the incredible berry bug so we kind of got distracted by it oh fuzzy look <laughs> just not saying we didn't get to get into it because we got raided hi fuzzy welcome and how you doing raiders hi 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 welcome let me shut you up fuzzy how uh so crimson wait what am i i'm confused i saw fuzz what am i talking about my brain is sludge right now crimson Hi, welcome, welcome. How you doing? Bro, my white clint is almost here. Oh, dude, hell yeah. Wrong fuzzy. I'm reading too many names in chat. No, there's, wait, you, you're fuzzy crimson. There's the other crimson. Oh my God. There was a reason why my brain did that. Stream my brain. I'm sorry. The crimson, dude. Ha hope you had a great stream. You gotta head off. Take care of yourself. That's all good. Dual crimson, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Take care of yourself. No pressure to hang around. No pressure at all. Uh, I'm basically wrapping up stream anyway, so it's all okay. If you're if you're if you're scuttling off, that's all good. Um, we're gonna raid probably jams. I'm guessing. Well, yeah, we'll raid jams today. Yeah, I'm gonna raid jams. We um, jams is pretty damn cool. We should give them uh, some uh, some some super cool support. Uh, what were they talking about? Yeah, so less streams this week. I got a lot of stuff I have to freaking deal with, but I will be back next week in full capacity. So this week chill streams but thank you so much still for stopping by for this week's streams and for stream today even though it was a lot more chill and wacky and suda i really appreciate it let's um let's go raid a uh, virtual uh jams virtual jams why am i spelling this incorrectly oh it's jams virtual ah silly brain jams virtual there we go Hope you guys have an amazing, amazing, wonderful, wonderful, brilliant, brilliant, lovely, lovely, and uh, brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> Sorry, don't mind my brain. Uh, Hanya, we read Hanya the other day, but please do go give some support to Hanya if you would like to. Hanya is amazing. Please go give Hanya a bunch of support. Thank you guys for hanging out today. You guys are great. Back with White Glint, more chaos comfy. Because I keep saying that this, like, the White Glint, like, um, Gunplast stream is going to be comfy, but the goddamn White Glint 
kit is driving me up the freaking wall. It's it's a great kit. I'm so excited for being done, but God, God, I don't know what Kabuki were thinking. Kind of book you were thinking. So we might also do like as to have like a little bit of a mm, you know like a breather, a little bit of a balancing for the kit. We might also do like a little bit like a showcase. I'll see if I have some art books stuff around. We can probably look through some art books. Might as well, I can even get out some of the Gunpla um, books I got when I traveled across the ocean. I'm not saying where, as to avoid being called out by certain jetpacks. Um, but I can just grab some, we can do some like book flicking through, maybe do some stuff like that. Instead of uh, all white glint, we have a little bit of a uh, Reprise. We'll have a little bit of a reprise in between the building to kind of take some breathers, you know. We'll take it. Uh, we'll take it easy if possible. Thank you for the stream. Thank you for hanging out today, bros. Have an awesome one. To have a great uh, rest of your day. And if it's getting warm, uh, get us a nice cold beverage. Okay. Bye, everybody. Jetpack, jetting out. Bye, bye, bros. Bye. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out, dudes. I really appreciate it. Now, now, jetpack, stop playing on your DS. It is dinner time, okay? No, D no DS is at the BRB screen. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Have a really good one. Um, I'm gonna take by myself. I will do updates in the Discord if I decide to do any kind of gorilla streams this week, which might happen. Might happen. Who knows? <gasps> Bye. Wait, wrong screen. This one. Bye. This has been a synapse sync broadcast. Sign up, sync, linking you with a safer tomorrow.